All right. Uh, well then, hi everybody. Welcome to Flagship Friday, and specifically welcome to Bad Rolls. This is a live play D and D show, and this is the very first thing that I've ever done uh, with it on stream. So I hope that it doesn't go terribly, and they don't want to like cry in the shower later. Uh, with I me, with me is the wonderful Flagship, our stream team, uh, including uh, DJ Knight. Oh hi, Smashly. Oh hello, Daniel the Demon. What up? And Disco Lando. He's not on our stream team. He just kind of showed nope. up. Um, and we just let him it's in. It's been so long We're since I've played sure D&D. Got... We're not even sure how he got in this Discord. Like, yeah. How... Well, he just, I feel like just relaxing I feel like I've been like an unofficial mascot just kind of sitting in the back, just like watching Flagship for a while. Going, Please, I, I can do something. I want to yeah. do something. Um. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of fun today playing a D and D one shot. I don't know if you guys are super familiar with Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, by the end of this game, you should be. It's not too hard. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, and this is a one shot that's called a Wild Sheep Chase. It is special in a way that it is easy for newer DMs like myself to run, and also it's easy for uh, new players. So if you ever thinking about uh, doing like a dungeon master kind of thing, get your game, your friends involved in a D and D game. This is a good one to start with, and I think that you'll see why. It should be lots and lots of fun. Uh, normally on Flagship Friday, we have ways that you can interact uh, via tips to change the outcourse of games. That's a word I just made. Uh, the outcourse. Um, we've got one. It's sort of a secret menu right now. It's a $45 tip to give inspiration to somebody. I'm that could be good right inspiration now. or bad inspiration. And what that means is you can give advantage or disadvantage to somebody on their next roll. No. Uh, if you give them if you give them advantage, oh, then no. they can hang on to that and use it when they want. If it's disadvantage, it's the next thing they try to do. They're going to have to roll twice. Whatever's the lower value, they have to take that one. Uh, you okay. might get a good effect out of it. You might not. Um, no, sir, I don't like for, it. For, first, can I say hi, Cypher, in the chat? <laughs> And and two, yes. can I say? Can, can we call it bad spiration? Bad spiration. Yes. It's uh, it's branding here in the channel. Also, oh God, uh, I hate it already. A uh, hundred dollars will be a critical bad spiration. <gasps> is what we're going to call oh, it no. now, uh, and it will be an automatic twenty or one on their next why roll. Why would you say that? Uh, which does what? What? have why? Why? automatic. Why? I don't know if I signed up for that. Extra why, good or extra bad things that happen usually in a that comical way. Sounds but also, why though? Like, well, yeah, I'm all for it. Uh, we're, we're running this game in something called Foundry. Again, is my first live streamed game. It's only the second game I've ever DM'd before, so uh, go a little bit easy on me. We've made a couple of alterations to the rules, uh, specifically in regards to positional advantage and the critical thing, which is uh, I think a pretty a pretty common rule flub at this point, where you're like, okay, if it's a twenty or if it's a run or one on a uh, on an attack roll, or if it's a, an ability roll, then extra special things happen. Uh, positional advantage, if they get on the opposite side of an enemy, then they get advantages. Uh, anybody within five feet gets advantage on that enemy. Uh, same thing can happen to them. If an enemy gets on both sides of them, then they're going to have uh, advantage on their characters. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. <sighs> Anything you guys want to say before you start? <laughs> I have been in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. But please remind me a lot. I have been in seven days. <clears throat> I know. I like DJ. Actually, I'm not going to lie, DJ. I was watching VOD of you guys D&D yeah. &D, and to like honestly like get in the right mindset i was like mm -hmm. yeah let me go i was like who who's been D, &D? oh yeah dj's oh, yeah. been D &D DJ's like matt mir uh-huh he just like mlg uh -huh. pro D, &D right i'm now. not at mark level yet <sighs> i do D, D a lot though uh and I, I for this campaign i went back and went kind of to my roots of uh one of my favorite classes because oh yeah we should do characters Speaking of the characters, let's go ahead and go through them. We've got sort of a strange uh, character light up. I think every D&D party is going to be a little bit weird, but this definitely has uh, a why. Why are they together feeling? So we're going to go through that together as well. Uh, DJ, would you go ahead and tell us about your character, please? Uh, man, I was not expecting to be the first person to talk about their character, <laughs> but uh, you're the pro. Okay. Uh, my, name's, my character's name is Ware. Black Mane Reed. He is a pirate of the Forgotten Coasts. And uh, he just loves 
you know, pirating things. If it's available to be taken, he wants it. And he is very sneaky. I'll say it that way. I should give away my class pretty easily. Smashly. <laughs> I am playing a very tiny high elf uh, called Iriel Yasa, or Iris for short. Uh, Thank you. Who was actually raised in a uh, in a family of mages that wanted her to honestly just like like hurt and abuse people for power and she didn't like that so she's she ran away to the church <laughs> and she's a bit um clueless at times and and clumsy she's very clumsy and clueless and um and just wants to to help people and heal people instead of hurt people it's gonna be it's gonna be a thing uh smashly emphasized that she would be schmoll uh, in small. fact, four foot tall for an elf, four foot tall which elf. is smaller than a lot of dwarves. Uh, so by D&D &D rules, by the way, you've got a movement speed of 25 instead of 30. Yep. So you, you move those tiny little feet wherever you want to go. Uh, Daniel the Demon. Hello. My name's Daniel the Demon, and my character's name is Zogar. Zorgar is a Wanti, or Yanti, for those who don't know, is a basically a serpent person he is very 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 mysterious very how would i say chaotic neutral <laughs> almost maybe chaotic evil he lurks in the shadows he oh intimidates he deceit or causes a lot of deception and so much more i can't wait for you all to see uh <laughs> Some of you who, who may be more familiar with it, with D&D &D might be going, wait, isn't Young T a totally evil race? Mm -hmm. Yes. Racist. And when I brought this up to uh, Daniel, he said, yes. <laughs> snake man. Magical talking <laughs> snake man. You, um, so I'm we're going to go with it. It's so on-brand for you. It's right? so like, on-brand for you, Daniel. D Daniel, I hope you break free from the racial stereotypes and <laughs> become your own snake person. <laughs> I, I have just, no idea how excited uh, I am oh to do my God. voice and everything. I feel like Daniel's going to be the worst of the snake. I'm just really I'm hoping for Daniel. like a king shark situation with him. Uh, <laughs> Disco. Bird. <laughs> Bird. Uh, hi, Bird. my name is. <laughs> hi, my name is Disco, and for one shots, I tend to just make movie characters that I wish I could play sometimes. So I am uh, uh, the lone gunslinger. The man with no name, angel eyes. He's even more mysterious than Daniel the Demon because I didn't come up with a backstory. So you can't get more <laughs> mysterious than that. He just he, he, he just wanders from town to town looking for people to shoot and, 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 and things that need shooting. And uh, uh, yeah, he's, he, he's going to talk with a gravelly voice like this. And uh, we'll go from there. That's the sum total of my character. Because I'm awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to say bird at some point. <laughs> bird. <laughs> I'm writing notes here real quick. The prophecy bird. has been fulfilled. <laughs> How are we doing it for the shenanigans? Uh, Nuriam, do we have a link in chat? Pretty please. Uh, we should, the main for it? We should have one. It's not going to be my tip link. Don't use my tip link. What? Uh, for messages like to you, each other, etc. What's going to be the best way if we need to like like send you stuff on like the DL or not say stuff out loud. Uh, just ping me on Discord and then let me know. Okay. Okay. All right, Baron. Does that accurately reflect the menu that you want? Uh, forty-five dollars for good or bad inspiration. Bad inspiration. Yes. A hundred dollars for critical good or bad inspiration. Yes. Uh, and and again, that will be for a uh critical will be automatic success twenty or one on their uh next roll. And um, good inspiration will just be an advantage, and bad inspiration will be disadvantage. So let's, let's roll twice and choose the better or the worse option. Um, Matt, okay, let's Matt, get down I, to I, it. What? I sent you a time sensitive on the DL message on Discord. I'm supposed to let you know about it. It just says hi. 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 That is very important. Hi, Disco. Hi. We're, we're on a time limit here. We've only got also, so, much, so um, much time to run this game. Let's go. Let's go. Can, I, can I also uh, sprinkle something in there? Yeah. Uh, you said bad inspiration. I believe the branded trademark 
phrasing is bad inspiration. Just want to throw that out there. Yeah, right. Yeah. Our branding is going to be so tight. It's going to be so tight. Bad inspiration. Bad inspiration. Okay. Bad inspiration. Yeah. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the bad inspiration right now. Okay. Well. Uh, right. Without. Hey. Hey. Phrasing. Okay. All right, then, then uh, that's good inspiration for uh, for DJ and for Disco. Oh, you can God. use that whenever you want. Go ahead and mark it on your character sheets that you've got Wait, inspiration. Somebody, somebody already put in good inspiration? Yep, I, Cypher I of Tear. Uh, thank which, you, thank Cypher. you very much for that. Hey, we Cypher. really appreciate it. Appreciate you. She gave that to Disco and DJ. And and to DJ. Yep, so it's not, it's not the critical. It's just the regular because that was 45 each. And then just a little extra tip in there because love. Because um, Cypher threw love in there. So Thank whenever you, you, whenever you guys want, you can use advantage on a uh, ability or an attack roll. Dang! What it... All right. Coffee you with a hundred dollars. You get a good. Oh crisp. no! Oh no! You we haven't even started playing yet. Nice. Uh, wow. And you get an auto automatic success on something. Lego. Whatever, whatever, whatever you want. I hope that you use it on something stupid. All right. Who, who, who's that? Who got that? Coffee. You did. Oh, I did. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, I get an, I, I get an automatic set. I'm gonna have to make notes. Okay. Is this how D and D shows go? Like, like do they normally spend like 30 minutes and not not play? Pretty much, yes. yes. Okay. All right. Uh, yes. Yes. That's why, like, we we, we like for Black Dice, started? we start like 45 minutes early, so we like get all the <laughs> shenanigans out of the way. <laughs> On my professional D and D stream, we start 45 minutes early. Oh, professional. All right. But we don't actually start. We just like sit in the room and talk. Uh, sounds very right. <laughs> 40 minutes. You Russian? All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's get let's get into the game. Oh, oh, oh! We're Ooh, jumping right exciting. in. Exciting! We're getting right into it. So everybody's got their character sheets open. You've all done test rolls. Everything is coming through oh. except for DJ's, which will will just get his rolls manually. Um, let's test that again. Let's see here. Let me let me change the scene. To see if this works. Whoa! Lower it does. Whoa. Fancy. Oh Welcome God. everybody. Extra so fancy. Cool. To the Shining Dragon in the town of Brightwood. Your little adventuring party has been making your way down the coast from Neverwinter, doing little adventures on your way to uh, Waterdeep. You've been trying to get there because you know there's good work there. And like any adventuring party, you've gone totally broke along the way. <laughs> so your first task is going to be try to find some money around this little town that you've wandered into. It's a small farming village. It's not too far from the coast. It's not within walking distance, but you still get a little bit of sea air and cool breeze every once in a while. It's a nice place. It's very idyllic. It's near farming season. Um, everything seems great while you're in here. You're in a slightly crowded tavern. There's some people All in the right. back playing. Love you, DJ. You get a crit failure. Enjoy. <gasps> DJ gets a critical failure. On whatever your next roll is. Oh God! A critical failure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's some we'll people. In... Thanks to coffee. <laughs> That's coffee. coffee just donated Why? <laughs> no one the defeat and DJ's voice right now. Why? Because. Just because. There, there's some people in the back playing darts. Uh, there's some people around tables talking up at the bar as well. There's a dwarven bartender sitting, uh, trying to convince some people to finally order. They've been sitting there for way too long. And there's a job board on the wall. What are you guys doing right now? Mm, I'm hungry. Zorgar, give me some food. Mm, Zorgar has no food for you, little How do you lady. Have food? Mm, we have no money, you little wit. Mm, I'm hungry. Well, how about you go get some money? Come with me. Okay. I want to go and I would love to walk towards this lad all by himself on the top left. Okay. Is that cool? Just just click on your little person and uh, wander yourself over there. Iris is going to follow Zorgar uh, like way too closely for any reasonable person. <laughs> Do we uh, have any so, information on this dude? Yeah, it looks like you just sat right down next to him. Um, this is, uh, you see you see a halfling sitting at the table. He's eating a lavish fish dinner uh, with his cat, which Smashley just sat on. Uh, oh, did me, I sit on the cat? You just sat on the cat. No, the cat's actually on the I table. I need, to, I need to move it. It's fine. It's fine. The cat to... is not sat on. The cat is on the table eating a delicious fish dinner that the uh, halfling is feeding it. He's uh, He looks like a little bit of a, of a farmer. He's not super... Uh, well dressed or anything, but he spent a good amount of Wait. deal on this nice fish here. 
I have a very serious question. Yes. Is the halfling taller than me? No. <laughs> but he's not <laughs> shorter than you either. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Continue. Uh, the halfling looks at you both, sit down, and just goes, well, What? What's going What's happening? Hi, me size people. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm George. I'm Ariel Yasa, but my friends just call me Iris. Hi, Iris. Hi. Uh, I'm just having dinner with my wife. Your, your wife. He's he's holding his cat on the table Iris and letting the cat. Around. I, I, uh, I feel like the next booth over, Angel Eyes just kind of looks over and is just like, ugh, and looks back at, at Black Mane is just like, don't, let's not get involved. This is Daisy. Uh, this is my wife, is Daisy. Did he just say his cat was Your wife? wife and he just kind of so leans into Angel Eyes and just like, that's Angel his cat, right? Angel Eyes uh, is just waving you off. Non-verbally, just don't, don't. He said cat, though. Yeah, don't. Daisy, we like to give a fish okay. now because it keeps her coat okay. nice and shiny. Zorgar, is he saying his wife is his cat? Zorgar has had enough of this. Listen here, you little earthling. You're going to give me your food and your little wife's food, and if not, I would like to do something naughty. Zorgar, no, that's can I roll for intimidation, please? Pay on this fish. If you're gonna roll a what? No, 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 no. no. Intimidation. <laughs> roll intimidation. Thank you. As all of this is happening, Black Mane just waves for the barkeep. I uh, needed another uh, with ale. <laughs> With an Angel eleven, is... uh, he's not super scared of you. He he kind of clutches the food and cat closer to him and and thinks you're just kind of weird. Uh, maybe because you've got a snake head and he's never seen that before. What's what's up with your eczema? Who do you do me eczema? This is my skills, you little tits. I'm going to make sure you regret that. Yeah, I've got some cream in the back if you want some cream. That's not my oh, cream. Good. They've got the cream, I mean. We the use it for the cats sometimes. Uh, anyway, there you go. You got some food. Now talk to this man and get your cream. Um, what was happening up at the bar? <laughs> I think... Uh, uh, no, DJ, did I you mean, say something? Oh, I had earlier said, like, while the shenanigan restarted, like, Black Man just raised his hand and said, Barkeep, I need another ale. And just leans over to Angel Eyes. Would you do you need another one? Because I feel like by the end of this, I'm gonna need three. Uh, Angel Eyes listening to this because they're, they're only just like one fireplace over. He just pulls pulls his two hand crossbows and sticks them on the table and starts loading bolts in and just polishing them and getting them ready for whatever shit Zorgar's about to get us into. Okay, okay. Can, so can barkeep, make I... that three ales. The bartender leads over and says, We'll walk your happy ass over here and get it yourself then. I pay you well. You don't pay me, me to hop around the room. I don't look like a waitress, do I? Then I'll pay you to hop around the room. Bring me the ales. He just sits in place. Uh, Iris says a little too loudly. He kind of does look like a waitress, though. Uh, George <laughs> looks over at Iris and says, You know, she doesn't really like people, but she seems to like you. She wasn't always this way, you know. She was a person. She was a halfling like me. Oh, she was us sized? Yeah. Mm. Her name's Daisy. Mm. So a wizard turned her into a cat. Let me go in stealth. Mm. <laughs> Angel Eyes just rolls his eyes. Like, as he sees Black Mane like, start to sneak in, he's just like, oh, fuck again. All right, hang on. Give me one second, DJ. What, what's your stealth modifier? Uh, plus seven expertise. Wait, what is DJ's character oh, doing? Holy crap. Oh, wait, going Iris in the stealth. Probably, Iris has no idea. Okay. He's All beginning right. to skulk. Shut up. I got this. <laughs> Andrew is just like, whatever. <laughs> Tell me when someone needs killing. Okay, so Iris Black me moves behind the barkeep. In... Oh, okay. Continue. There you go. 
It's okay. Are you, are you guys good? Should we continue the conversation while you're sneaking? Oh, yeah. Go for it. Yeah. 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 Like, go ahead. Okay. Black Ninja right. sneaks up behind the bartender just for funsies. Like, go by all means. Continue the conversation. <laughs> uh, Iris is extremely intrigued about an evil wizard because she honestly doesn't like wizards. She grew up in a family of wizards and, and ran away from home because of their like excessive use of wizardry in bad ways. So, Did Iris she say is, all this to George? No, no. She's okay. like, did you say an evil wizard? Well, I, I mean, he's grumpy a bit. You know, to my oh, wife and your cat. I haven't figured that one out. I haven't seen him. Most people like him. He does things for the town. But he turned your wife into a cat. Yeah, but at least she's a good cat. We argue less. She's a cat. Yeah. I have a question. What is the one? performance of taking a bite? What is what is the what? The performance of taking a bite. What action is that? You want to bite him. Just say what you want to do, Daniel. I want to eat the cat. God damn it. Hey, Baron, does DJ need to take a crit fail on that on that stealth check? Thanks to coffee. He doesn't know that. Doesn't know what? Okay. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Um... <laughs> What action would that You want to eat the cat? Yes. I prepared for a lot of things. I over-prepared for <laughs> lots of this, okay? I'm hours trying, and hours. I'm Wait, to follow okay, you. then I did not know. I don't know, know okay, how to eat I'm the cat. Here. So I will not do eating the cat. Uh, I'll figure out something else. What kind of role would that be? Would that be a nature check? Would that be a survival check? No. So, so, so. Right, Animal so handling? Been we've been adventuring together for a while. I feel like, I feel like I've got to know Zorgar pretty well. Like, I know the noises he's gonna make right before he decides to eat like, and, and Angel Eyes, just without looking back, is just gonna yell out, he goes, Zorgar! Don't eat the cat! Uh, at, at, at this point, you have successfully intimidated George, and he, he grabs his wife, and they start running. Uh, no, George, tell me, tell me about the wizard. Ah! Iris, Iris literally, like, as fast as her tiny little legs move. Why are you going, Iris? Your food is here they're, waiting they're for are, you. They're already gone. <laughs> they're, they're already gone. Uh, okay. The bartender uh, turns around and looks at uh, Black Mane and goes, So, getting that beer, are you? <laughs> I was coming to bring you the gold yeah. so that I could have my ales. I asked for three of them. Here's the gold. Well, help yourself, as they said. He, take, he, take, he takes the gold and he grabs three ale mugs and he gives them to you and just points at the uh, the cask. Perfect. Black Man just takes one of them, walks over to it, just pours an ale. So like while staring at the bartender, just puts it down and just pours another one. Okay. Puts it down. Pours a third. Stops halfway. Finishes it. And then pours it again. Uh, at this point, you hear a very loud commotion coming from outside. Uh, it sounds like there might be some people yelling, not screaming, not not angry. We're not not loud or anything not scared but but people are yelling there's something happening out there not too long after they ran out <laughs> angel eyes just kind of kicks his feet out from the in front of the thing stands up and is like finally something <laughs> happens here iris looks over at angel eyes and like we gotta go <laughs> zogar says if iris is not going to eat her meal well then i will and takes the biggest bite of the food that the dude left over <laughs> Uh, Angel is going to look back like, over one shoulder at Zorgar, over one shoulder at Blackmane, and just be like, guys, commotion means opportunity. Opportunity means money. Let's go. And Zorgar <laughs> looks at him with the full mouth. <laughs> and then gets up with the plate. Blackmane just takes the two ale mugs that he poured first by one hand, just double fists him, takes a third, downs it, and then just like, all right, all right, I'm coming. And just our heads out to meet up with everybody comes, else. This black man comes up. He's like, "Did you get anything?" No, I got the ales. That's all I wanted to do in the first place. And he just hands him one. Right, right. Takes his mug. Takes his mug. 
and then I well I'll leave the group outside. Okay. Mm. Black means right behind. Give me one second. I'll be last. <laughs> As he leaves, just turns back and says, "I'm sure you all had interesting stories." <laughs> we scared the cat people away. So we're going to go see what happened with the cat people. <laughs> this is going so well. Iris is very nervously, like, trying to make sure her, like, her scale mail is, like, on properly. She's like, like, is this, is this on right? Is this? And she, like, taps uh, Black Moon and is like, it, it, is the strap, like, does it go this way or, like, or, like, this way? Uh, uh, since she's in front here with Angel, Angel is just going to be like, again, we've, we've adventured together for some time, you said, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She, right. she Angel, absolutely should know how to put right. on armor. So so literally, without looking, Angel Eyes is just going to reach over, completely blind, grab a buckle, pull it down, strap a thing, hook it around, <laughs> like, and just sec secure her. Oh. And be like, <sighs> thanks. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm Disco Lando, and DJ's Daniel the Demon, and Disco's DJ. We're all playing parts today. Uh, We're all playing parts. I'm Black Mane. We, no. What? <laughs> on the, oh, oh, the are, are you not your person? <laughs> I'm sorry. On the stream. On the stream. It like. Oh, okay. We apparently have moved. Swapped. We 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 have oh, moved. Man, we, you should have seen that we have transitioned so to outside now. Talk like this. No no no. Matt, the, the cameras. <laughs> The cameras. Oh, what happened? I uh, did I set it up that way originally? <laughs> no, Zoom no, kicked no. me out. Zoom kicked me out for a second. Oh, like, kind of oh man. that was hilarious. It's, you should be able to move the Zoom windows around in Zoom, though. So, like, you shouldn't have to worry too much. I've already. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave like, Disco like, like it, that, put though. Back, put that's... it back and then just move the Zoom windows. <laughs> all of that's all that's easy. <laughs> No, I I like I like him down there. I like, I like this guy like way down that there. That makes that makes me so happy actually. <laughs> it's okay because I was Zorga momentarily and I'm oh going to eat the cat. Yes, <laughs> delicious. Oh my gosh, man, that right. even the cat would awesome. fix all the things. I, I just want to say that cat? I don't do voices and I'm so happy that all of you do. You got it. <laughs> I'm trying not. I, and bear with me as I nail down Iris's voice because I'm trying not to make her live. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Liv was fantastic. Liv was fantastic. But I'm so, to make, I'm trying to I eat me. I'm the cat. Please don't eat me. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to. You've That's wandered outside. <laughs> You've wandered outside onto a very busy market street. And there's uh, there's a whole lot of people gathered around various merchants. You can see different stalls selling different things. There's an armorer. There's there's an alchemist. Uh, there's a guy selling street food over on the side. Uh, and they're all parting. The crowds are moving away off in the distance. You can see the swell of, of people, and they're all kind of screaming and yelling. There's something happening, and they're moving towards you, and it's undulating, and it opens up, and you see as the crowd parts this sheep running towards you. <laughs> and he stops uh... right at Iris and just skids to a stop and then looks up, and you see that this is not just any sheep. This is the most beautiful, cute sheep you've ever seen in your goddamn life. It's got a tiny little blue bow. It's It's been very well it? cleaned. Uh, it's it's sheep size, so probably it comes up to, you, you know, your, your waist right here. Iris wants to tackle hug it. You want to tackle hug the sheep? Yeah. Tackle hug the sheep. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, and due to a... Like a... <laughs> so like uh, tackling another one of her like, like, should, should it not be big nice enough for her to ride if she's only four feet tall it 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 would be uh but, but tackle hugging right yeah yes uh, yeah. as you move towards the sheep the sheep uh views you as a threat and Correct. uh backs backs up quite a okay. bit and is looking out is it this this the sheep is distressed it's very very obviously okay. upset and it's looking around the crowd looking for escape I feel, Iris I feel like continues oh. her tackle hug to where the sheep was, <laughs> not where it is now. Give me a strength check. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use this as a grapple. You're grappling a sheep right now. Okay. That's a 12? Yes. Uh, you grip on to the, the woolly <laughs> wool of the sheep, <laughs> and it kind of drags you around in the dirt a little bit. Uh, but, it, but it is fairly restrained. 
<laughs> and it is bleeding uh, mercilessly. Just bah, bah. Uh, I've decided that due to a previously undiscovered Ura! moment in Angel Eyes' backstory Love that I haven't Available fully again, understood, yeah. uh, he's gonna panic at the sight of a sheep and step back up onto like the barrel here and everything, and just draw both crossbows and just aim them at the sheep with a crazy look in his eyes, like he's clearly terrified of a sheep. Does Iris see him do this? Oh yeah, yeah well, yeah. well, I mean, it depends on how focused on the sheep. I feel like yeah, I feel like you're very it. focused on the sheep, so you wouldn't that's have fair. seen it. That's fair. I would not have seen that. Uh, but Blackman and Zorgar, they yes. definitely, they definitely see Angel Eyes freaking out and just like, like, fucking a man. The sh the uh, sheep, the sheep ain't right, man. The sheep pauses and stares at Angel Eyes and then looks over at Zorgar and kind of, kind of turns its head a little bit, like, what the hell is that? Uh, and and Blackmane as well looks and sort of looks Blackmane up and down and sort of nods approvingly and then uh, he stops resisting. He stops moving. He stops. He stops dragging Iris around, uh, and he starts just bleeding furiously at you like. Bah, 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 bah. So, I, <laughs> I I have a now a failed roll from somebody. Yes. And yeah, I would like to do an action. Uh, Zogar still has the plate of food that he got from the man. Uh, he is just finished, and what I would like to do is I would lick it, the plate, and I would like to chuck the plate towards the sheep to hit it in the head. But said it's gonna fail. I no, want no, you. No, it's a disadvantage roll. It's a, di it's a, a, it's a disadvantage roll. So you oh, you roll twice okay. and you take the lesser of the two rolls. Okay, let but me know when I'm, you're ready. I'm gonna Which... I'm gonna let this be uh, an athletics check. Okay, cool. Let I me know forgot. when. Go go ahead. I forgot Daniel's actual voice, and I didn't know who was talking. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> yes. Here we go. So, athletics. So, let me see. I can't do the action yet. Let's see. So, we got a, uh, what is that, a nine? You're discus throwing a plate of fish at a sheep right now. No, no, no. It's eaten. It's all done. I licked the plate clean. Okay. All right. Is there a let fish bone, or did you eat the bone, too? I ate the bone, too. Do I need to do another roll? Uh... Nope. Yeah, nope. he's got to roll disadvantage. If he only rolled go. one. All right. So you rolled a, you rolled a nine and you rolled a ten. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. The <laughs> plate goes careening off and and hits uh, a vendor in the head. Can I can You're I here. act oh! it out in the distance? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I would love <laughs> so Zogar's gonna lick the plate. Gonna... <laughs> Zogar, last. Here you go. <laughs> Throws the thing, hits the vendor, boink. Which which vendor? Uh, the the one up, up north. Uh, this is actually um, oh, a, a general goods goods vendor. You 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 threw it quite away. You're you're a big strong snake person. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You have terrible aim because you're also a snake person. Uh, and it and it goes off and it just hits a vendor in the head. Um, you're also a snake person. The, uh, the 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 sheep stops and starts stomping its its feet a little bit and it kind of turns and it's trying to show you that in the back behind its beautiful blue bow uh, is a scroll. Does Iris see this in the midst of her hugging the fluffy sheep? I'm sure that you would. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna grab me and go, oh look! And run over to uh Zorkar and go, that was a really neat play throw. You really hit that vendor in the head. Here, what's this? Yeah, this is exactly what I was trying to do. <laughs> and he looks around, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh and then he picks up the scroll and then he opens and reads it. And what does he read? Let me show you. Oh, it should appear to everybody. This is a scroll of speak with animals. And uh, anybody who's magically inclined would notice that this has been modified in a way. Uh, but you're not quite sure how until you use it. So uh, my character already has speak with animals and it's uh, with it only with serpents. So will this allow me if I use it to use it on something else as yes. well? Yes. And is it only a one person thing? Nope. It's it's uh, it's on any animals. And, it, and in, in fact, it will let the whole group speak with an animal. Oh! Well, then let's. Uh, do I have to roll or anything? Or nope. Does this nope. You want to use it? Yeah. All right. As you use it, this magical energy comes out of the runes and sort of swirls around and envelops you, and it's all very pretty. 
and then it just sort of bursts. Just the, this loud air burst rings through your ears and leaves you almost with this tinnitus kind of feeling in your ears. Uh, and and as, as your hearing kind of comes back, you hear, I never thought I'd find anything else but grass to eat in this wretched place. It's been terrible. And there's bugs in the grass. Did you even know that? Yeah, oh, no. yeah my, I'm, I'm still here. The, the Zoom is just having trouble for some reason. But I feel like that's got to freak the fuck out of Angel Eyes. And just like, the sheep! It's in my head! And he pulls the hand crossbow and points it at his own temple. <laughs> what is that one doing? He mustn't do that. The, I need him. His hand in the crossbow is like, he's not in your head. We can hear him. Because of whatever Zorgar just did. Why are yeah. you trying to kill the sheep anyway? Right. <clears throat> the the the, sh the sheep kind of rears up and it does its best to clap its little hooves together. Uh, it's not very graceful. He is still a sheep. He goes, <laughs> now listen to me. I am a mighty wizard. Fenethia Shinebright at your service. Please, please hold your applause. I know that you've heard of me. Did, did you, you say wizard? And, uh, and Iris starts fumbling for her mace. She's like, I am. A, he totally, totally doesn't even notice. He goes, I am a wizard and the most accomplished of wizards. Uh, and I know that my reputation has gone around. I know that it's nice that you pretend like you haven't known of me, but you have heard of me, no. right? No, seriously, who are you? I'm fit. I'm fit at, really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. I've been Where are you place. from? I'm, 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 I'm from everywhere. I sail around these parts. All the time. And uh, oh. no idea who you are. And also, <laughs> if you were such a mighty wizard, uh, why are you a sheep right now? Yeah, why are you a sheep? Funny story about that. Uh, mm. As I said, I'm a mighty wizard who does tan transmogrifications. Uh, I, I like to alter things into other things, which is a great hobby of wizards. All wizards like to turn one thing into another thing. Oh, it's very practical, of course. Yes. What? You say a uh, cat became poop? Yeah. Uh, after I went to Zorgar that one time. <laughs> Angel is just gonna interject. Like he goes, it was a wife who became a cat, and you, and you can't you can't trust a a, a band of wizard sheep thing. Yeah. Yeah. What he said. I don't, I don't know anything about any of his wife turning into poop. This is, this is a strange conversation, and I wish that you would no, stop it. It was a, it was a wife into a, into a cat. The cat Wait, might have poop. pooped. We never got that the far. The scared pooped it on away. a cat. Zogar hmm. is wondering where did that kitty go. <laughs> I know where it went. trying to eat that cat. Why? <laughs> Look, it's, it's not important right now. What's important is this. I had an apprentice. I've searched this people in this town for ages now, and they have loved me. I've done incredible things for them. They've never been the same ever since. But my apprentice, Noak, that ungrateful, terrible swine, stole a small a but important... What was that? <laughs> Nothing. I swear, you have the worst manners. You should know better for an elf. Ahem. <clears throat> My apprentice, Nook, stole the source of my power, the a tiny aspect of my power, which is a wand, uh, which can turn things into other things. It was a wand of true polymorph. And um, he turned me into a sheep. He stole my wand. Now I've so, been at his compound. So the wand was your source of power? No, no, it was a small bit of it. You know, it's a very powerful, magical, important artifact, of course, but it's not a great wizard. No, no, no. If you were a great wizard, your apprentice wouldn't have, you know, made well, you a sheep. It's not my that fault that he was, mighty, he was an like, insufferable uh, worker. That was You're a sheep. Look, we can talk about labor rights Maybe later. It doesn't really matter. Like, the fact is, I hired the guy to do a job, and he turned me into a sheep. I'd like to roll insight to see if I believe him. Okay. Uh, that is a 17. You can tell that he's kind of full of crap. Uh, he seems to be generally telling the truth, but he's embellishing a lot. <gasps> Do I believe he was uh. a wizard that's been turned into a sheep and not a natural 
with, with with a 17, it is just enough to convince you that he's not a magical talking sheep, based on your previous reactions. So, right. a wizard seems accurate More. at this point to you. All right, All right. Angel Eyes uh, uh, holsters his weapons and just kind of his whole demeanor returns back to normal. Goes, I believe him. Uh, Iris wanders over and is like, "You, you, you, you believe the sheep?" Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 this isn't this isn't a normal sheep. I've had a lot of experience with sheep. Uh, this this definitely strikes me more as a, a sheep pull kind of situation than a, than a straight sheep. And I am a particularly good sheep, I will say. Of all the people that have been sheep before, I am maybe one of the best. Uh, if you were mighty, you wouldn't sheep. think I felt to it. be a good sheep. You would want to be back being human. Like, you would be the worst sheep. Well, th no, that's why I'm here, of, of, of course. And first of all, why would I ever want to be a human? That's terrible. That's like the worst thing I could ever imagine. No offense. So you weren't human. What no, I'm you? an elf. Mm. Yes. Mm. Can't you tell by my regal beauty? No. Do you see how manicured my hooves are? Do you think this happens on its own? No, no, no. It I does... have to do this myself. Working in the field. He does have nice, ho he does have nice hooves for a sheep. Thank you, but I'm not interested sheep. in you. I'm impressed you. that you even noticed you have, you have to Sogar, know your enemy. You have to know your Sog enemy. Sogar would like to walk right. up to this sheep and uh, do some deception to it. Tell it that it's actually really ugly and it smells uh, and roll, the roll bow doesn't check. even look good. Cool. That's only deception if you don't believe that. I don't. So you actually think it's so, a So you just want to, you don't have to roll a deception check just to insult the sheep. <laughs> is that what yes. you want to you just want to insult the sheep you, you just, yes just insult the sheep then okay. uh oh, just do insult it. the sheep fenethir just yeah. looks at you with with large sheep eyes as you're saying all this very hurtful nonsense to him and he goes you're nothing you think you're beautiful you're nothing but a little normal lamb little sheep i don't even know the difference because that's how normal you are <laughs> Oh my, that is some bad eczema. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> He's a snake person. He's a what? What the person. fuck? He's a snake, snake person. Look, what, 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 I'm, what, I'm an elf that's been turned into a sheep. You can't tell me that, that if, if that man was turned into a snake, someone's done a terrible job. No, 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 no. Is snake person. I don't have to take any of this. Aren't they Are evil? Ready to die? The Yon Yon T. They're from far away and they're very evil, aren't they? He's not that bad. I, I, Angel, I just like, right, hold, 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 hold on, sheeple. Hold on. And I'm just going to, like, group huddle. Group huddle. I'm going okay. okay. to okay. be like, all right, we have been here for all of, like, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And we have encountered a, a, a lady who's been turned into a cat yeah. and a wizard who's been turned into a sheep. Yeah. Now, that's probably not a coincidence. It seems like there's something real fishy going on around here. And uh, uh, there's probably, well, there's, there's fish, there's 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 probably money. I'm not a sailor, uh, uh, that's worries. Is that right? Or is that, yeah. is that the people saying? Right. I have fish, gold! Money. Yeah, yeah, fish, sure. yeah, well, there's fish, there's money. You need yeah, gold? Well, there's fish, there's money. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right, yeah. I have so much gold. I have I have vast amounts of wealth, you actually. How if you help me. How much do you have on you right now, Elf? Where do you keep it? Well, I, it's not on me. It's back at my tower. We have to then go there, of course. Gold. We have to clear out some riffraff. But we'll, but we'll get some Wait. gold and I'll pay you. But you turn me back into a man. And then after that, I'm going to turn this snake man you know. into a man snake. Okay, it will be fascinating like if you a human you know. head with a snake body. It will be incredible. Uh, I'm just gonna okay, look at Zoragar and like, I would like to see that. At this point, not gonna touch me, boy. At this point, I would like to see him try. You notice that the crowd has gone completely silent, and nobody is saying a, a thing. Uh, and the crowd has parted yet again. And if you look down the street, uh, you notice. Oh, that standing at the end of an alley walking towards you, where people are standing clear and watching and keeping their distance, there are three wolves. And behind that wolf is someone who is very clearly at least a little bit orc, and he's this giant brute of a man, mm. followed by this absolute giant in the large cloak. You can't make out any of his features. Aww. And the half-orc yells out, 
Fantasia! Where are you, Fantasia? I sure don't want to be Fantafier. Fant Fantafier? Fant fantasy right now? Fanta Fantafier? Fant Mantafier. Fant I don't want to be Mantafier. Oh, shit. Fantafier! Black Mane leads into the sheep and says, That's your apprentice. No, 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 no. That's Guz. Who's Guz? One of the wolves picks up the scent and, and moves closer. And the rest follow suit. Guz follows as well. They'll be here in seconds. You gotta give us a real good reason to uh, get you out of whatever this is right now. And uh, I, I, like I said, I'll pay you. I will pay you so much if you deal with this man. Whatever you want, it's yours. I've been a wizard for a very long time. I have vast amounts of wealth. I promise you, I will give you the world if you help me. You what have you world. done to this guy? There you are! Like, Black we need the money. We need the money. We need the money. Time to go. You guys, time to go. We do grab the sheep and we just go, right? And we just grab the sheep. I, I can grab the sheep. I'm going to grab the sheep. I'm grabbing the sheep. We're going. It's time uh, to go. Black <laughs> Angel, <laughs> Angel Eyes is going to shoot Wolf too. Oh, okay, we're we're not even going to engage. You're I, I, I that is engage. Uh, okay, I grab the sheep again. Do I need to? All right, grapple? roll initiative. Oh, oh my great. god, here we go. Uh, before initiative, did my stealth? Like, I feel like I should be good to go in stealth before this happens. Uh, yes. He did say it before I started the fight. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Perfect. Oh, do I have to roll for that, or should I just be good to like be in stealth? You'll find out. I feel like I have a good duration, Holy so crap, in, in the backups, initiative. so like yeah, you're you're in stuff. Okay, cool. Appreciate you. Disco, what is that roll, dude? That was initiative. <clears throat> oh God. Uh, I just Mine rolled eleven. Still now for I, you. I, you were nineteen, actually. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I should have a surprise round before combat. Also, Daniel and DJ on their initiative. I, I will. I will let you use your surprise round. Mm. So you're gonna you're gonna take it a shot on Wolf Two. Yeah, w Wolf Two. So uh, I will I will fire uh, I will fire with my uh, main hand crossbow uh, for a does a thirteen hit. A thirteen hits. All right, then I will do damage. Uh, that is seven damage, and then I will fire with my offhand for a thirteen, which hits, and then for an additional one damage, so a total of eight damage. Uh, the wolf takes two arrows straight into its back, uh, and it and it just <laughs> whimpers, uh, and it looks it looks like it's in bad shape at this point. The other wolves sort of go into it in an attack position, and Guz lifts up his sword. And he goes, oh, shouldn't have done that. Uh, and we are uh -huh. now in combat. Angel Eyes, you uh, are turn one. Uh, started the combat. Yep, yep. Awesome. we are starting combat now. Great. Okay. All right, then. Look what then you did. I... Wait, hold on, Baron. Before we do, I think we need initiative rolls from DJ and Daniel. Mine was 11. Uh, oh, no. No, we only need uh, yeah, initiative got... rolls from you at this point. I got 14. Was four. Yeah. Was, uh, click on your person and then roll it again. Oh, uh. <laughs> Hopefully, I get better than four this time. Yep. Nineteen. Good. All right. All right. Uh, so this says combat not started on the tracker. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna fire at Wolf Two again. Main hand shot. Twenty five to hit. That hits. Uh, hit again for eight damage. Is it still alive? Uh, Wolf Two takes it directly between the ears and just crumples. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, the second the second shot, offhand is gonna go uh, right at Wolf One. Uh, for ooh a natural one. Ooh. I got cocky. Ooh. I got cocky. But I'm gonna use my bad um, my, my my bad inspiration ooh, and, make, and make it and make it an advantage. So I'm gonna roll again. <laughs> I mean, uh, rolls, no. yeah, that's that's exactly oh, how inspiration oh works. God. You you can. Did, wait, did you just get a one again? He no, uh, I, 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 I did get that one again. <laughs> oh so that that was meant to be. Like oh, that that, that, that shot is meant to be, be um, however wide it is. 
while you try to pull your your crossbow again and you're reloading, it gets caught in your belt loop and you end up shooting yourself uh, in the foot. Well, go ahead and roll a, uh, a roll, the roll for damage. Roll damage. <laughs> oh, it's five damage. Five damage for five damage to the foot. <laughs> I used to be an adventurer. <laughs> so I got shot in myself. We're gonna say that you have uh, half movement for the rest of this combat. Bear, Bitch. really quick. Does any of the blood get on Iris? We would give it oh, proximity. No. Uh, some some will splatter on. Well, I was gonna say on your leg, but given how short you are, it's gonna just splatter up the side oh. of you. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? And then yeah, okay. <laughs> I was being badass, and I got distracted. You you have a very badass arrow in your foot right now. You're interrupted Ooh. by a loud deep guttural and the hooded figure throws off of its its cloak and you see that underneath the hood oh, no. was a giant brown bear <laughs> and it stands it stands up on its two feet and just goes uh wolf one uh, the bear is out of initiative yeah uh, I, 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 need to, I, need, I need to put it back back in there Mm, it's because it changes the actors. Well, no, that's all right. That's that's fine. Uh, Wolf one. It's been fun. Good game. Go goes ahead and breaks around the side. Come to Papa Wolf. Uh, oh. And he gets a little burst of energy and keeps going. <laughs> concern. I have a. I'm doing a concern. The wolves are doing raptors. They're yep. coming around. For Black men are alive when they begin to eat you. Who's that? Black man. Black man. Ooh, yay. Uh, Black man being in stealth would love to. I think it's only half movement because of stealth. Okay. But let's see. And each, is, each, is each one of these squares five feet? Yes. Right. Let me double check. I think it's like 25 movement per. Yeah, you should be 30. You're a regular size person. Okay, cool. So then Black Man is going to move about here because I think that's about as yeah, three spaces far half. as he can go. Right. Uh, double check my actions. And is Wolf 1 was the wolf that has been... I hit it one damaged. time and I missed the second time. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to swing at it with my rapier. Okay. Mm. That is in my primary hand. And that's going to be great. Uh, 12. It does not hit. Great. It it just barely grazes by the side of the wolf. It sort of uh, ducks as it goes. Ooh. Can I use my good inspiration to roll that again? You can. Perfect. Time rewinds. <laughs> it's you hear... <laughs> It's worse. It's intense. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. uh, yeah, no, that's that is a nothing. But I'm going to use a bonus action to hide again, just in case. Okay. Uh, the the rapier misses the wolf, and as the wolf is uh dodging, it kind of uh it loses track of you. It comes back up, and you can tell that this wolf is very confused and and is looking for you. Patiently, weirdly, intelligently. Um, Iris. Okay. So the blood like splatters on Iris and she's like staring at the sheep going, oh no, we need to, she's thinking we have to save this sheep. <laughs> Even though she hates wizards, the sheep is too fluffy for her to honestly like not save. Uh, but blood just splattered all over her. And she looks down and sees it a crossbow bolt right through, foot. Angle, right through his foot. And she is just like, You're lucky it was just oh, your foot. Like, what did you do? Oh, no, no. We have to stop this. And she's trying to like stop it with her hands because there's just blood spewing out. And she, and it's just getting all over her. And she casts Cure Wounds on him. Did that work? Oh. On who? On you, on your foot. Oh. He heals her four. Here we'll say that's enough to uh, put your movement back to normal. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Okay. And there's just like blood everywhere. Now, uh, 
can I use my movement still? Yes. You can, yeah. If I grabbed the sheep, is the uh, sheep you, a willing participant? You will not be able to grab the sheep. That would take an action. Okay. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. Okay, then in that case, um, I move very, very slowly. Okay, hold on one second. Down. And this is probably, if I move through the sheep square, it's going to take extra. No, it's okay. I'll, I, I'll let you sort of, it's five feet, so they can move aside. Okay. It's probably fine. You can move through friendlies. Want... You can't move through hostiles. Okay. Then I want to move over here and basically just hold my shield in like a position to protect the mm. sheep. Okay. <clears throat> is that it for you? That's it. Go ahead and end your turn on the combat tracker. On the bottom. Where do I do that? What? Oh, it's a fist on the right-hand side. On the menu that's on the right-hand side of, of, of Foundry, one of the icons at the top is a fist. Oh. If you right-click the fist, it'll break it ah. out, so you don't, so you don't have oh, to go. Yep, so now you know everybody, now everybody's like, position in the tracker. Yeah, I now see the 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 order too. Yeah. I didn't see yeah. that. Before. Yeah, if you right-click the fist, if you right-click the fist, it breaks it out, and you can just leave it somewhere else on your screen. All right. Okay, cool. Wolf three growls very deeply at Iris with a shield, and then breaks right. Fucking raptors. <laughs> and gets right up next to. What? Fenethir, using a dash oh, at, action. Uh, and it holds its position. I'm going to look at Zorgar and be like, we're in a tight spot. Guz hefts his large greatsword up on his shoulder and goes, that's a wimpy shield. And moves straight to Iris. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. The little four-foot Iris is, like, hiding behind the shield. This giant eight-foot hulk oh, of a half-orc. Oh, no. Oh. Takes his greatsword and starts whirling it oh, around his oh, head. No. It gets a little bit of, of uh, momentum and then just twirls his entire body with it. Oh no, whirlwind. With his whirling greatsword. Uh... How much range does that have? <laughs> and and uh, he gets a little bit too much, uh, too, too much initiative with that and just <laughs> kind of kind of whiffs it like a helicopter. <laughs> it's slightly, slightly dizzy. Uh, um, and I was just sitting there going. <laughs> but, he, but he plays it off like, yeah, yeah, look at this. <laughs> helicopter orc. That's an ancient wait, technique. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, does... Does Iris... I actually need to know, does Iris believe that it was intentional? Uh, roll insight. Fuck. It's an intimidation oh, display. Okay. You're not sure. Okay. okay you, you're sure. a little bit wary. You like you you kind of suspect that 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 uh, he might not be as good as he's letting on, uh, but it was still a giant, scary, whirling great sword. So that's enough to be cautious about. Does Iris get an attack of opportunity? No. <laughs> good try though, Zorgar. <laughs> Can Black Mane whisper to uh, Angel Eyes without giving his position up to the wolf? Uh, no. Damn. Yeah, that's 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 ten feet away, and it need be on your turn. All right, cool. Zorgar. All right, so I got a couple of questions. I've never played a warlock before, and I don't have an insane spell sheet from what I'm seeing as a, uh, uh you know, from what I have here. Uh, what I do have is a, I guess I can animal friendship which i can look for a, a snake at 30 feet around uh to be able to charm it or i can do a poison spray or i can do a fine familiar which i think that's something that i should save for later i don't know how like i don't know how that works give me a little bit real quick before i go what what what's your uh, attack right now if i what do you mean so i'm look i'm looking at your your spells you have poison hmm. spray as uh hmm. as an attack cantrip yeah, he's, uh, missing spells. he's missing spells. He's missing cantrips. He's level oh. four and he's only got one cantrip. Yeah. He's, mi he's missing cantrips. Oh, that's... You should, you, All right. You should have like Firebolt. You should have like Eldritch Blast. Yeah, you I wish. You, you, no, you, 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 you can have them. You can have them on your character. You just didn't, you didn't pick them. So you, go to you, manage spells, go to add spells and go to get them. But it, which ones do it, I get? Yeah. You see where it says cantrip? <laughs> Does it have a number? How many cantrips you get? Three. 
three. Three. Yeah, you only picked one, so just pick two more. Known, known spells, zero out of five. Cantrips, zero out of three. Uh, so, all right, so go ahead and give yourself Eldritch Blast. That's a pretty safe, like, awesome attack for, for Warlocks. Cool. Yeah. I'll, I added that. What else? Don't uh, worry about it right now. Yeah, you can do, do it when we're not in Yeah, I, I'll just yeah. Blast will carry you. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to make Mind, sure. You can cast cantrips at unlimited times. Yes. Uh, the other ones, if you see on like first level or second level, Daniel, you should see slots. That's basically how many uses of that level of spells you have. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's do this I, battle. Yeah, just okay. stick to uh, cantrips right now. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. So I'm guessing there's this wolf that's right next to us, right? Yes. Wolf three? Okay. Wolf three. Yeah, so wolf three, I'm going to uh, poison spray it. Okay. Cool. I'll do the Eldritch Blast somewhere else, but I wanted to, but you said cantrips you could do as many times as you want. Go, go as ahead, many go times ahead as you want. and read poison spray. What what does that do? Poison spray. You're, you extend your hand toward a creature you can see within range and project a puff of noxious gas from your palm. The creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw and take or or take d one d twelve poison damage. Okay, and your uh, the the saving throw there is Constitution thirteen based on your sheet. Correct. Yeah. So and it's, a, and it's a ten foot range, so he's just within range. Okay. All right, give me one. I give it a little second. <sighs> uh, uh, Maximum Overchill says, "How long has Baron been streaming D anD D? This is his first game. Woo! This is his first stream D anD D game. Of hopefully many. Yes. As a DM. Mm -hmm. Yeah." This is his first stream well DM done. again. Uh, well he, done. the wolf fails. All right, what's yes! the, what's what's the damage? All, All right, let's roll it. Oh, boom, baby! Nice roll. Nice. The so wolf. All right, go describe what happens. <sighs> no, just give it. I just get you describe it. I just made the noise. The uh, the wolf chokes on the on on the poison and cannot breathe at all. It starts coughing and heaving, and it starts to have foam coming up, and then it just collapses and stops moving. So is wolf three dead now? It's dead. Shit! Nice. Anything else you want to do on your turn? You still have movement. If you want to move. Muted? Dana? Hey, he's muted. Hello? Hello? Hi. Sorry yes. about that. Uh, that. Yeah, I don't know why I pressed that. I said, can I step over and pretty much step on Wolf you, 3? You can. Perfect. I'm on top of Wolf 3 now. Like a uh, victorious, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Stepping over it. Uh, And that's it? Oh. All right. Fenethir, the sheep, goes, bah! <laughs> he just starts running, man. He just he wants out of there. He starts booking it. Uh, the bear also lets out a loud and starts moving closer and closer. Uh, it works its way around the side. I got pulled out of the the, the round table. Uh, how did you do that? I don't know. Should I just mm. roll it again? I'm putting you. I'm oh. putting you back at the table. Nice. Uh, you're you're gonna. You already went 19. this turn, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I was 19 before. Yeah. She was after black mane, so if you give her an 18, it'll put her in the right space. Uh, can I? Can I edit the initiative myself? Yeah. If you give her 18, it'll put her in the same space she was. In. I I can't figure out how to actually do that on the sheet right now. You got a 10, so you'll just be below in the next one. Um. Black, the, the brown bear comes right up and gets right next to Black Mane and Iris and is just going to loom there at you. Just claws at the ready. Back up to Angel Eyes. All right. Angel Eyes, uh, Angel Eyes shakes his foot uh, a little bit, like getting his fucking chi back. Uh, takes a shot at Wolf 1. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a 10 uh, to hit. He is going it goes to... Wide. Uh, hold on. There's something I can do to make that. Uh, no, I can't do anything with it. 
Uh, uh, oh no! I can. I'm. I'm going to use a maneuver. I'm going to use a maneuver, uh, which I can use after the roll. After okay. the roll, to to add a superior die to the roll and it can, or the attack. So the superior die is is, is a D8. So okay. I'm going to add a D8 to the attack. Do it. Uh, six. So it's sixteen now. That will hit. All right. So then do damage. Uh, six damage to Wolf One. Uh, Wolf One takes it and is not super happy with it. Ooh. Okay. Uh, then with his offhand, he's going to shoot Wolf One again. Uh, 19 to hit. That hits. For a maximum six damage. Uh, the Wolf goes down immediately. Uh, the crossbow bolt hits it right through the right through the heart. It just it just dies. All right. Uh, and I stays where he's at. Ends his turn. He's doing what he's doing. He's killing people. At this point, what you have left is a very angry uh, brown bear and a very angry half orc. Black man. Yay. Does the. Well, I feel like luckily the bear should not know that I'm here, which I'm all the way for. Uh... Yeah, bear has gone in and is focused on Iris. Perfect. So black mean, uh, does stepping over the corpse cause me issue? No. Of the wolf? No, no. Perfect. So I'm going to go over here. Oh, not right there. So one. Oh, there's boxes right there. So I can't go in the direction I was going to go. So I think we're just going to stay You can go. That's fine. Uh, it's just the, it's the boxes, the, the interacting I with got walls. You. There it is. Yeah. Appreciate you. So I feel like this should put me in a position to be at least somewhat behind this bear, which I'm with. Uh, Let's see, I am going to... Is that putting it in... Uh, if you go up one more, you will have uh, advantage. Uh, does that count as only two yes. spaces? Yeah, yeah. One diagonal, Perfect. then to where you're at, and then three. Yep. Yeah. So we move you right there, right, cool. and now uh, you and Iris and anybody that gets within five feet will have advantage on the brown bear. Perfect, because I'm trying to roll with my rapier for demarrage. Oh, the rapier. Uh, I'm going to get... I'm gonna roll this one more time, and if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna break out real dice, because no thank you. Uh, rolling with that, it is, ooh, a nat 20. And there's a 25 after bonus. Okay, that's a critical hit. Yay. And then, uh, it's 2d8 plus three piercing, but since I am attacking, and since I was in stealth, when I did so, this is a sneak attack, which allows me uh, an additional 1d6 damage to one creature I hit well, with an attack. So much All right, so roll really your crit damage and then roll the your uh, roll your sneak so attack damage. Crit damage is double regular damage. Correct. So that is 2d8 plus 3. And that's going to be a solid woo, 17 for that swing. Then... The additional D6. It's weird because I saw it says plus two D6. No, it's just one for a sneak attack. Yeah, so it's very weird. It says one D6, but like the, the damage to roll is two D6, which is childish. Uh, but unless crit affects the sneak attack damage, maybe yeah. it does. Uh, Actually, I, like crit, I think I think it, I, it might. So yeah, because I clicked yeah. away from the rapier and yeah, yeah. So two D6, it, it does double the sneak okay. attack damage. Roll it. Perfect. So then that's going to come with an additional six damage. So 23 damage from the Lapier with a sneak attack damage. And then I would also like to swing with the short sword in my offhand. Wait, how, how much damage total? 23. 23. Okay. And then swing with the short sword gets me 16. Does that hit? That hits. Perfect. Uh, and that is 1d6 plus 3, which is lovely. It's a 6. So we added 3. That's a 9 more damage. Uh, the bear kind of crumples. Uh, it, it's it's not oh. it's not dead, but it looks like it wants to be at this point. Uh, oh, you, oh, my you, God. You, you have hit a major organ on this bear. It is uh, not doing great, and it is sort of looking around wildly like, what just happened? <laughs> and then with my bonus action, uh, I hide again. Iris. God. 
Is the bear whimpering? Uh, probably. Is it? Is it still a threat to Iris? Yes, it is still a bear. Is it still looking at her? For is lack of another back? target to look at, it's looking at you. Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, like you're a witch, and, and so is and so is Gus, right? Gus. I guess the, yes. The big okay. All right. In that case, uh, I think Iris kind of realizes. She, wait, what happened to the sheep? Oh, it she ran away. Ran. Okay. All right. I don't think Iris notices that she has a bear and a guy with a huge great sword, literally like looking down at her, and she's four feet tall. Um. So she looks down and starts praying, and she goes, "Shield of faith." Did it cast? Okay. Oh, I think I... Okay, yeah. And so that should be going for the next 10 minutes. What, what does that do? Uh, it gives me plus two to my armor class. Okay. Is there anything else you want to do? And then uh, I want to use... I want to... Can I use my movement to just brace? No. Like hold the shield up. Okay. All right. Then she's gonna stay there, and 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 all four feet of her is gonna look at these two and just be like, "Bring it on!" <laughs> uh, Guz is still whirling his great sword around. He hasn't really stopped the entire time. He's not really sure if he can stop at this point, and he's looking a little bit concerned. But he goes in and lowers <laughs> it on the next pass against you. Black man just kind of wonders to himself, I wonder if he's from North Carolina. For a 22, which is going to hit you, I believe. Wait. Does... If you I have 22 AC. No, what? no, no. I, I, no. <laughs> does does Iris recognize that this is going to hit her? Uh, you can use a reaction if you want to use a reaction. Okay. Then Iris is going to scream out, Warning Flare! And which is basically going to make him roll again. Okay. He basically gets disadvantage on this roll. Uh, all right. This is an 18. Still hits. Still hits. Okay. <laughs> Still hits by one. By one. Fuck. All right. Try. So what did, what did the flare do that you just did? Basically uh, makes him roll again. Oh. Uh, what, visually what happens? Then. Uh, so basically she screams out warning flare and then like a glow emanates from her body and it just basically blinds him during that attack. And so he has to basically swing again. Okay. So he's, he's like, but the momentum still carries forward. He's been swinging for quite a while at this point. Uh, and that great whirling great sword comes at you and does 10 damage. Ow. We're in tight spot. Uh, he then. Does let's that see move here. Me? <laughs> Does it move you? No, it's it's yeah. it's not gonna it's not gonna move you, but it is gonna hurt you. That's gonna slice through you. Zorgar. Oh, sorry. I'm going through and picking things that I need for my spells. But uh, yeah. Here we go. Zorgar is here, still over the dead body of the wolf, right? So we have uh. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, there is a uh, the bear, and he's still crippled, right? Um, yes. And then, what about Guz? Has anybody touched Guz? Have you noticed anybody, anybody fighting Guz? No. Out of me. <laughs> Perfect. He's, he's still whirling his winds, doing the whirlwind. Not at the moment. Perfect. Okay. Let me double check to see what I can do here. Hmm. Keep in mind, any anybody who moves within five feet of the bear gets advantage on the attacks on the bear. Anybody that moves five feet of the bear has advantage? So if you move right up next to the bear, you're going to have advantage on the bear. The bear has got people on either side of it. It's, it's a little preoccupied. I see. Yeah, I'm not going for the bear. I would like to... I want. I, what I want to do is basically have Zogar scream over to Guz, but in a snake-ass voice, being like, Guz, I can't... 
and ask him why is he attacking us how do i do that is that a perception check no you can go ahead and, and do that uh guz guz calls back what do you mean you take my dog no 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 before that don't worry about your doggy i wasn't okay, attacking I anybody i just showed up here looking for my sheep who are you looking I for am bleeding what do you mean you're not attacking anyone well, I wasn't going to attack you, but then you came and you killed my dog, so i got to attack you now, don't I? All right, we cannot change what the past is already is, but I need to know, what are you doing here? What do you want with the fluffy sheep? Uh, I just want them for my master, that's all. It's my master's sheep. Oh, okay, that seems reasonable. It's your master's sheep, but what is your master's name? He's the great and glorious and wonderful and very great cook, Noak. Wait. And this is when uh, Zogars uh, remembers what he was talking about. And he's great at about. the guitar. What do you want to say, Iris? Sorry. No, she she didn't want to say anything. She, mm. she thought she recognized the name, but she doesn't. I want to do. <laughs> Can I do a deception? A lie? Yeah. Yes. All right. Let me roll it. Here we go. This is gonna be your action, though. If you do this, is this gonna be my action? If, yeah. if, if you wanna, if you wanta try to deceive him, this is easier. Oh action. yeah. He rolled a nat twenty. Jesus. No, I did. Uh, right. I got All right. an eighteen. I got an eighteen plus five. Wait, what what do you what do you say five? to him? Oh, guys, you said that your master. His name is Noak, huh? Well, <laughs> I heard different. I heard that your man, Noak, is a pansy little wit. All he does is suck the little titty of this wizard named Theo, or whatever his name is. He's the little boots. He does nothing. I remember I was watching on the sidelines. I saw him. He was licking the boots. He was putting his butt he loves it he wants it all he is nothing of a master trust me i'm telling you the truth uh unfortunately an 18 is not going to be enough to convince Damn him it. that the guy that he lives his entire life worshiping uh is 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 a creepy bad guy uh but it does do Angel enough to kind of kind of pause him what Angel Eyes absolutely believes you, Zorgar. He's like, <laughs> like Angel Eyes is wondering why he'd never heard of this before. Like, he's absolutely fucking enthralled with this. Like, where have you been hiding this information before from? <laughs> Guys, calls back. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's not true. I don't know where you heard of that. Um, I know you got receipts. <laughs> Does Iris get an attack of opportunity? Because he's. Like, That's when they move away. No. Uh, away. All right. It, it, anything else you would like to do, Zorgar? <laughs> I lost my action, right? All I can do is move. Right. All right. You know what? I want to go right up to his face to show him that I'm for real. Okay. Not for play play. Uh, that was the longest six seconds that have, has ever occurred. It's true. They talked really fast in that six seconds. Uh, <laughs> Fenethir is going. <laughs> <laughs> and just running around. No. No. Uh, okay. The brown bear uh, now is very, very much convinced that uh, Iris is a witch who has magically attacked her somehow and caused him great damage to the spleen. Um, he's he's gonna oh, yeah, he's gonna DJ attack. Is invisible. <laughs> uh, and actually has a multi attack action. Oh, oh no. Is there a pro proximity so now much. that I'm in there? What about his boss? You're, Does it like go so feral? You, no, this is a single single target attack. Yeah. It's a 10 nope. hit. Nope. She's holding strong, all four feet of her. <laughs> a 23 will probably hit, yeah? Mm. How, how do you do this, Matt? Uh, He's got a D20 plus four plus two. He's a bear. That doesn't <laughs> All right. I'm a bear. Uh, oh. 
uh, hits you for 13 points of damage. Okay. Iris is not doing well, guys. She is... Where does it hit? Because I feel like the greatsword hit her. In the uh, this knocks you right upside the head. Normally, it would be about chest level. Again, there's the height difference going on. You did great making her a four-foot elf. Uh, just kind of swipes you upside the head. Oh, God. There... And, I, and I think it leaves like this... There's just like... You just hear this like... Dong! as it hits like oh. like, like, like <laughs> just right next to her on her head and uh she just kind of like goes down on one knee still trying to hold her shield up uh the bear roars and then moves to get closer to zorgar mm-hmm. you, you can't do double target. attack right no okay. be, be take an attack of opportunity from black Mane. nice because the bear doesn't know that black Mane is there nope so the bear moves. My man. Yeah. Black Mane's attack goes first. Seems good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swing with an RPA once more because, yeah. And then it's going to be a 14 to hit. On the bear. That hits. Perfect. And then it's going to be sneak attack damage as well. So 1d8 plus 3. We got 4 for the first damage. And then... Five for the second damage. So as so the nine. bear charges Zorgar and looks like he's going to skid into Zorgar, it just yelps as the sword pierces through it and he collapses and skids r- down right in front of him, not moving. Oh. Dang. It was one of those scenes, huh? You're welcome, bear. Oh, that was close. <laughs> and you You're welcome, too. All right, at the start of Angel Eyes' turn, he's going to yell out to Iris and Zorgar, you're not tanks, get out of there, as he fires at, uh, what's his name, Guz? Guz. Uh, Guz, uh, with a 25 to hit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's going to do uh, eight damage, plus I'm going to add a superiority dice and no. make make that a Bullshit, goading man. attack. Bullshit. I'm going to make that a goading attack. Uh, which means I'm going to add a D8 for for one damage. All right, so it doesn't do a lot of more damage. So it's nine damage, uh-huh. but he now has to make a wisdom saving throw with a DC of 14. Okay. Nice. I like it. I also, know. What, uh, before the end know. of Black Black Bane's turn, he went back into stealth using this bonus action. He makes it. He makes it. Yeah. Uh, he's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> With your superiority and, dice, come on, you're a dick too. And I, I, and I wasted, I wasted my die, so he just takes nine points of damage. Uh, that's the first attack, and then he's going to do the second offhand attack uh, for twenty-six to hit. Jesus. Uh, nat twenty. Which uh, was, was that a nat twenty? It wasn't a nat twenty. No, no, no. It Why wasn't. is my thing saying? No, oh, that's a one d twenty. It's just yeah. telling you what they're rolling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that does five damage. And then he's going to do another superior die, and fucker has to do another wisdom saving throw. Okay. Oh my god. 13 again? 13 failed. No, he, he, 13 again? He failed the first time then. He no, 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 no. No, I'm saying was is the is the DC 13 no, again. No, it's 14. It's 14. 14, whatever. It was, ne- it was never 13. Okay. Uh, he fails the second one. All right. He now has disadvantage on all attack rolls against anybody that's not me. Okay. Perfect. Oh no, my re- god. So again, Iris Zorgar, get the fuck out of there. End turn. Oh, and add his five damage. Black Mane. Oh, it's my turn again? Yeah. I really like going. Thank you for it being my turn again. This is exciting for me. Uh, Hopefully, (laughs) I can be of use. So you um, you've done this chat. before, by the way. You played a rogue like this and just fucking sneak attack, murder. Yep. And it's just like I remember this. And I'm because like, rogues are my thing. Because go. sneak attack. Why would you not sneak attack? Back in sneak attack, like it's why would you not sneak attack if you got a rogue? Like you just do it. Okay, so since the bear doesn't count anymore, I can move right up next to yep, I'll hide the bear. Sneaky right behind. Uh, Actually, we'll just put his corpse right there so, you, so people can see that there's a giant dead bear. It's more on the side. Uh, it if, you're gonna go, if you're going to get on the side, I'd say go for behind him if you're moving. 
which is great because I'm going to swing with my Rapier once again. And yeah, may not be enough. That is a 14 to hit on Guz. Uh, uh, Disco, remind me, equals on AC. Equals hits. Equals, equals hits. hits. All right. It hits. Uh, then we're going to roll that D8 for damage. That is seven in the sneak attack. Damage is another D6. So we're looking at 10 damage on the guzz that he didn't see coming. Uh, he takes it and is very surprised by this, and it cuts him pretty deep. Anything else? Uh, that should do it. Iris. Okay. Uh, Iris hears Angel Eyes say, get out of there, you're not tanks. And she's like, I'm stronger than I look. And she, <laughs> uh, she heals herself. And she casts Cure Wounds at a higher level. And so this should... Oh, she casts Heal Wounds? Sorry. Hell yeah. So she heals 12 points of yes. damage. Guys goes, magic bullshit. <laughs> um, and then she sees that like, like she just like feels herself, like, like the wound in her side, like just heal up. And she, um, she wants, she realizes like we're all like on like one side and she kind of wants to get to the other side. So she, sees how big he is and how small she is and she wants to like just like slide under his feet to the other side <laughs> the big Lebowski scale okay uh, that's that's going to be a athletics check Acro oh acrobatics boy. let's do acrobatics, acrobatics? Yeah. okay and I guess either either of these which, which one I guess uh... well if you're going through his legs you'd want to yeah yeah I we gotta try to make it first. Yep. Roll, roll all right. acrobatics. All right, all right, acrobatics. Here we go. I appreciate that you could have just walked around them, but you chose to try to go through them. <laughs> and I appreciate that. Of course, yeah. I appreciate uh, that. With an 18, it works. You were able oh to God. slide right through. <laughs> I, feel, I, I feel like she earned some bad inspiration. Uh, she chose the difficult path. She chose the style path. I feel like she deserves some bad inspiration. Fuck you, because you said it. I'm not gonna give it. I'll go down something stupid later. <laughs> You'll get it, just not right now. I, 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 I tried, Iris. I tried. I always go for making fun stuff happen. So, um, I guess put her right here or yeah, right here. You'd be I right there. Know. If you want to move to the side, you, you can. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's where I want to. Uh, Guz tracks you as as you do this, and, and he almost loses balance trying to keep up, but he's very impressed. Uh, Guz, Guz is like, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> uh, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, Guz is so impressed that he decides that he's in great danger now and needs to whirl the sword again. So Dis disadvantage. He is gonna roll with disadvantage. Let's see what we got here. For ten. This is going to go towards Iris, Blackmane, and Zorgard. Does the 10 hit any of you? How do we check again? I forgot. Armor class, it's right? Armor, armor? Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, it does not. Not at all. Okay, then it just whizzes on past, and he looks like a great big idiot, but he's having a great time, man. This is this is what he likes. <laughs> and Iris looks over at Blackmane and goes, I mean, he really took a chunk out of me, but is he for real? This is the second time. I'm really going to beat you all up, you bad people. I don't like you. Okay, watch out. Is he for moving at all? Hit me hard. Uh, he, he's just swirling a sword around. That's okay, as much checking. as he's moving, yeah. Just checking. Almost like he's keeping us at bay. Sounds about right. He's Zorgar. Scared. All right. You ready for this? It seems you're at a little bit of a disadvantage. So, guys, I'm going to ask you one more time. What are you doing? Why are you here? And why are you following that pansy little master of yours that I told you licks the boot of a sheep? Uh, Zorgar 
<laughs> uh, Gus just, just just bellows at you, just, Rawr! and he goes, you need cream on your head. What is wrong with you? Don't talk that way about my master. You have one last time to give up before I destroy. I'm not giving up. Suit yourself. And then I would like to do a Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, to him. So I have to do the. It says plus five. Do I click that button first to see mm. if it hits? No. Well, actually, yeah. I think on your sheet yeah. you just click that. Yeah, Hold you're it. in cool. melee range though, so you have to cast with disadvantage. Oh no. You cast you're again. A ranged, you're, you're a ranged character. That's much better. Yeah, but you want you take you, you take the lesser, so you, so you cast oh. eight. Uh, it does it does not hit the elder. Oh. What color is your magic, by the way? What does what does your blast look like? <laughs> green. Okay, so a giant green blast comes out. Is it like come come a hostile? Uh, it's like flames. Like green flames go shooting past Guz, uh, and kind of singe him a little bit, uh, making him a little bit worried enough to get him to stop talking. But he he grits his teeth again and he's ready to go. Oh. Well. Yeah. Oh, it misses guys. Matt, it misses guys. It it misses guys. It doesn't hit you though. Okay. It 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 goes very close to you, but luckily it goes over your head. He's a very tall snake person. Oh. All right. A little more careful next time. That one singed my hair. So when I said "oh shit," I uh I can move, right? You can. I roll back. Uh, okay. He will attack you if you roll. If you roll. Oh yeah. I'm no, no. oh, sorry. Okay. True. Sorry. True. Yeah. You gotta let me do it. You gotta let me do it. Yep, you gotta yep, learn. Yep. yep. Take your. All right. So I'm going to try and roll back to Angel Eyes. So okay. what what happens with that? Uh, as as you roll back, he sweeps his great sword around one more time. To everybody oh, or what, just with, to me? With disadvantage again, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Just advantage. Yeah. Uh, however, that is a 17. Does a 17 hit? Yes. It does hit me. So as you're moving back, it catches you for 14 damage. Oh! Ah! Iris oh. is freaking out. Uh, Fenethir is still ah! in, the, in the background. He really hasn't stopped running this entire time. Sort of in circles. He's not going anywhere. Uh, and really impressive lung capacity for a sheep. You didn't know sheeps could yell that long. Angel Eyes. All right. Uh, <laughs> Angel Eyes is going to look over uh, Zorgar and went, let me show you how this is done. And he's going to charge up, and he's going to get here uh, in melee range to get uh, uh, advantage. Now, normally, uh, range attacks have disadvantage in five feet, but I am a crossbow expert, so I don't get the disadvantage. So I am going to attack a number of times here. So my first attack with advantage. Oh, is this shit? Uh, does a 25 hit? I'm going to assume so. Uh, <laughs> the nerve of you. I'm going to assume right. so. I'm going to assume that oh just, that just hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, just he's, just he's, give me the total at the end so I don't have to yeah, math. Yeah, he'll, he'll take eight. I'm going to shoot with my offhand. Oh, sorry. With, also with, the, with, with, with advantage. Hold on, let me roll again. Uh, so that's a 19 to hit. Uh, and that's five. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then I'm going to action surge and get another attack oh, after this time. And I'm going to attack again. Uh, oh, hold on. I got the advantage. Uh, so that's a 26 to hit. So again, we're just going to call that red. Uh, you know, and do another damage. So you're six. Not invited next uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 points of damage. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a trip attack on that with my last, uh, with my last Holy superiority shit. die. Uh, so that, uh, how much how much damage was that? Twenty six. That's twenty six. I'm gonna add a D eight to that. Well, uh, that's gonna be another four damage, and he gets to make himself a strength saving throw. <laughs> uh, Matt walked away. <laughs> well, how long did he have that all? What? what, what What's what, your what, total? A four, he's gotta make a fourteen. He's gotta make a fourteen. A fourteen on the strength on the strength saving, saving throw. throw. He didn't make it. He, did he? he, he nat ones. Okay. Oh, so, so so he's gonna he's gonna take twenty seven points of damage, uh, uh, and then he's gonna get knocked on his fucking ass for the trip attack. Yep. 
and uh, oh no, that was, tw that was 26 before the four, so, 20, so 30. He's gonna take 30 points of damage and get knocked on his ass. Uh, um, and and he does. Uh, he is he is now prone. Yeah. He's kind of got his great sword over yeah. his head, but he is hurt. Yep. And then because he can't take an, an attack of opportunity when he's prone, I'm gonna use the last half of my movement and come on back to Zorgar and just look at Zorgar and just be like, like that, and end my turn. Guz yells, "What the shit!" <laughs> oh my god. Blackmane. Uh, oh, hi. Blackmane just is in awe. Just looks back at Angel Eyes. Just nice, well, nicely done. While attacking with Real Rapplier. Ooh, that's a seven to hit. That does not hit. I had that feeling. And then, uh. Oh, no, but he's prone, so he gets advantage. Oh. True. Forgot yeah, about you get that part. You get advantage no matter what because he's yeah. prone. Yeah. And then that one is. A I, bring, I bring the hits for everybody. This is a 15 hit? Yes. Perfect. Uh, so I'm going to roll. Got he's got a what, what? He's got a 14 AC. We mm, figured, found out last round. And oh. then that is 11 damage. And then I'm going to swing with the lovely short sword. Uh, your last attack is going to kill him. Perfect. So you can keep killing his corpse, or you can describe no, no, what, no, no, what happens to him. Is too much. All right, so, is too much. So how do you kill him? What happens? Uh, Black Man takes his rapier and just like kind of like slashes the Achilles on his left leg, <laughs> leg, slashes the Achilles on his right leg, and then just like takes the, the uh, just, just right. stabs it through his spine. God and Iris is standing right next to all this, just uh, like I feel like there's blood everywhere on top. It, of it is. It's spraying out Mortal Kombat style. Uh, Guz kind of gurgles and goes, "But, but our gallery showing was next week." Uh, and there, he, there, there's a palpable pride just radiating off Angel Eyes towards uh, Black King. And, He's like so he proud. Does. He's so proud of him. And that ends combat. Yeah, for you. I would imagine so. I am dying. <laughs> Fuck. Um, well, you've got a whole bunch of dead animals uh, around you and, and a dead half orc and a sheep still running screaming in the background. Uh, the crowds Iris? kind of... Okay, go ahead. They, they just kind of resume at this point. They go, all right, and, and go back about whatever they're doing in the market. And that Iris sees uh, that Zorgar is, is is injured and is midst of freaking out and and covered in blood is literally just like barreling through whatever's in her way to go like literally try and heal Zorgar and blood and everything just on the ground stalls whatever it doesn't matter she's just all four feet of her just barreling through everything it's on my Do chest I need to roll anything uh for heals. Uh, no, just to get over. Just asking. No. Okay. Um, and she actually just kneels down and um, uh, says a prayer for everyone in the party. Holy shit. Everyone in the party wow. heals 12. Wow. What? Holy shit. <laughs> That's OP cleric okay. nonsense. Luckily, no need. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Zogar's wounds heal. Only has a scratch now. Mm. The little tiny elf is useful after all. You You're darn right, I am. This is uh, not new. Fenethir wanders over and stomps on Guz. And goes, yeah, take that, you big bully. Stupid idiot. <laughs> we got him good, didn't we? We? Right, well. Obviously, the teamwork pulled us through, and I think really our spirit is what keeps us together as a group, wouldn't you say? Mm, what did you do? Well, I... <laughs> the fact Could that I... you even have to ask, frankly, offends me, but if, go off. If I, if I may retort, I believe your exact words were... <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I spell is not working correctly. I'm a transmogrification wizard, not as... Uh, Talk to sheep wizard. I'm really but I was giving battle tactics. That somehow we can still understand what you're saying, but all we heard was. 
it, it doesn't make sense to me. Learn magic I think better. Been a sheep too long. Seem awfully scared, very scared, even for like a wizard or sheep. It was a ruse, sheep, sheep of course. It was a ruse. Wizard. Search the body. Search the body. <laughs> uh, he starts. He starts trying to rummage through pockets with his hooves, and really, all he's doing is crushing things. And uh, black man just starts to search the body himself and just back up. Back up, or should I say it in your language? <laughs> God damn it, DJ. Um, you yeah. find uh, on his person a pouch with 20 gold. Uh, you find um, a, a small collection of now snapped colored pencils uh, and a key with flecks of different colors of paint all over it. Uh, you also find a. Uh, you also find a small folded up piece of paper in his pocket. I just kind of like hand over the paper. I was just like, what, I wonder what this is about. Who, who do you hand it to? Uh, oh uh, my! <laughs> um, in the corner of the paper, you see uh, uh, the words. My friend Noke by Guz, age 38. Please. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can't even say the words, but a Angel Eyes is afraid he, we, we might have just killed a very special kind of kind of person. And um, he's, feel, he's, he's feeling a, 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 a pang of guilt for the first time in, 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 in 40 some odd years. What the hell is this? Is this a drawing by a toddler? His art has what always been it? terrible, and it's terrible that he encourages it. That complete baboon that's stolen my beautiful tower. Mm -hmm. We have to go back now, by the way. Oh. Good one. My tower, the wizard tower. We go back there. We kill Noke, obviously, my apprentice. We get back the wand, and then we, uh, you know, hip hop. We turn me back into a wizard. Right when you said that, something intrigues uh, Zorgar, and I want to do like an insight to see if you are talking full of shit. Okay, roll. Because there's something behind. Because you said that DJ said there's something. I know I don't know something, but. My character smells it after you are saying that you want to go yep. back. Roll, roll insight. Oh, I'm going. Oh, I'm going. This is going to be bad. Yep. That's a natural one. Yep. <sighs> uh, <laughs> look. You're pretty sure this sheep is your father. <laughs> At some point during this campaign, if Daniel doesn't accidentally lick someone... <laughs> You you man. you I you think were actually you, you find that something about this sheep is is just profoundly attractive to you. Uh, you were seeing um, Zenithir in a new light uh, with his bravery in the battle. Um, you've never been more impressed with anybody in your life. <laughs> this smell, I know this smell. My father used to smell like this. It was the most delicious smell I've ever smelt until my father left me. It was the last scent I had. But you, you smell just like it. Come to me. Let me smell you some more. And as you know, I'm a snake person. I'm a, I, I, I smell with my tongue. So I am licking the the, the sheep. Uh, Fenithir backs up and goes, I'm not here for your daddy issues, man. Stop moving, stop moving. It'll only Get be a this second. thing off of me. Why is his eczema so bad still? I'm licking his Didn't nose. you heal him? At the, at the angle we're at, can <laughs> Iris just grab Zorgar's tongue while it's out? It's like a snake tongue, right? Is it yeah, like a forked snake tongue? Okay. Yeah, it's a fork mm -hmm. tongue, right? Can I just grab it and hold on to it? You have to do a check because there's no way you can get that at your height. <laughs> um, reach, up, reach up and grab it. Man, I don't know if that's athletics or acrobatics, but let's go. Let's go with acrobatics at that point because you're gonna have to jump to get that tongue. You can't okay, stop me that. from licking. <laughs> She's stopping me. This is Qui Gon and Jar Jar all over again. 
Okay, you got a you got a fourteen. You've jumped up. Now make a strength check. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Really weak, chat. All right, here we go. Oh, what? You've now what grabbed a very slippery snake tongue. I actually don't know what the texture of a snake tongue feels no, like. I no, think it's like, sandy. No. It's a very sandpapery tongue. Stop licking. Stop licking the sheep and uh, people and the cards. Stop. At this point, yeah, by the way, because of the height difference, you are now dangling from the snake man. While all this is happening... While all this is happening, Angel Eyes took the, the, the painting from Black Mane when he handed it off. And Angel Eyes just kind of gingerly folds the, the painting up and puts it under his hat. And it's just and it's just sitting very solemnly. That worked. Stop licking. Stop licking. At the end of her hand, you just see my tongue going up and down like this, trying to get it. <laughs> <laughs> you fan Benethir says, you fantastic tiny elf. Thank you. I will be even more in your service. But can we please get a move on at this point? All right. All right. All right. At this, Angel is going to stand up and be like, all right, look, this guy already had 20 gold on him. There's probably more gold where they came from. I, I, I feel like we're into this shit now. It's too late to go back. Let's rest up and uh, let's follow the sheep back to his back to his house or his tower. Or I don't I don't remember where. It's a really good point. Right. So you, do, you, do you want to take a, a short really rest as a, as a group? Uh, yeah. Back at the tavern and get some food because I think uh, Iris is very hungry. She didn't get to eat. No, it'd be more like more like a long rest kind of thing. Uh, I, I'm fine with a short rest. Okay. All right. Um, then, then you do, then you sort of wait around here for for like ten minutes. You all get a short rest and give yourself a short rest on the character sheets. Um, uh, in the meantime, you if you are interested in the different wares that are around here, there are different uh, merchants scattered around the, the market area. They each have different menus of the wares that they sell. Um, there is a general goods store. There is a blacksmith. There's a Fletcher who sells arrows and shit. Uh, an apothecary and a food cart. Okay. Um, <clears throat> first thing I want to ask is, uh, I'll be right back. I have to use the bath, and then I'm gonna look. <laughs> Should we take a quick break? DJ looks like he took a quick break, and this might be a good. Oh, it's two hours in. <laughs> he he just went. <laughs> he just went. Take a quick break, maybe. Yeah. And, and... Yep. All right. Go go ahead. Let's let's All take right. a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, can I, can I, it's can intermission. Can I stay and talk to your crowd? Hi, everybody. How are you? Are you enjoying the show? Uh, I've seen several questions in the chat during the show about what it is that you're watching, like physically. Uh, uh, we are playing in a, in a software called Foundry VTT. VTT stands for Virtual Tabletop. Uh, Foundry VTT is a software that lets you play uh, remotely with your friends from locations all over the world. You set up a server and you load up maps and everything like that. Um, that's that's the, that's the mechanism that brings everybody together. Uh, it is linked up to uh, uh, an actual uh, Wizards of the Coast service called uh, D and D Beyond. That's where our character sheets stay digitally. Uh, we access our character sheets on D and D Beyond and roll on D and D Beyond, and those rolls get transferred over to Foundry VTT, uh, which we use to move around the maps. And that's the, that that's that's the whole tech thing that we're doing. Uh, you may notice this magnificent map that Baron has going on. Uh, this th this is separate from Foundry and, and, and stuff like that. This is a map created in Unity, a very popular uh, 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 free to access game engine. Uh, basically, it's it's you, you can download all of these various 3D assets that are available for free from different marketplaces and create the map basically in 3D and then stick your camera you know, above, look down and then record. And what you're seeing is an MP3 that loop, or an MP4 rather, that loops uh, a 3D map created in, in, in Unity and makes for a fantastic, uh, uh, innovative, and immersive uh, game world. How oh, very concise. Well played. Let's see. And uh, uh, what I do for a living is explain how games work. <laughs> He's not wrong. I'm not, uh, it literally is my job. <laughs> I, I, I was like, well, like hmm, that does sound about right. <laughs> I didn't realize that until I got, I got about halfway through and I went, oh, God, am I fucking working? <laughs> uh, 
this is this is the first streamed game of Bad Rules, which is going to be something that we're going to do regularly on the Twitch channel. I I, uh, I I was streaming video games full time. I took a break for a while, and I'm coming back, and I'm focusing more on Dungeons and Dragons because that's what gets me really excited these days. So I'm going to try to do games every two weeks, and then hopefully every week as I get more comfortable with it. This is the the second game I've ever DM'd. This is the first one we've streamed. Uh, lots more coming. The next one is going to be on the 27th. Um, which is a Saturday. We're going to have a, a lovely crew there, of which Verity in chat is going to be a part of. It's going to be a hey. whole bunch of fun. And I'll be back for that one. Um, and Toxic Pig has a link that I just gave him to join the Bad Rolls Discord server. Uh, so if you ever want to chat about the games, uh, that's the place to do it. Um, also, if you're interested in, in future games, we might have uh, public signups and, and things there later for ones that are that are not streamed. Because I'm going to do ones that are just sort of practice games for me to go through. And that one, I'm, I'll probably just have open invites and things. So it's all going to be there. I'm going to try really hard to be like the Charles Nelson, Nelson Riley of, of Bad Rolls. That's a really old reference for people who grew up watching TV in the 70s. Uh, he was this guy that showed up on every game show uh, ever, ever aired for like 10 years. When I, I just, die, this guy's going to host it. No, no, no. I don't want to host I got my own guy. I, I just, I, I miss playing. I miss playing a lot. I like, like, I like playing. What happened to the fist bowl? It's still going. Uh, it's, it's still going. It's on, it's on, it's on hiatus right now. We're, uh, we're, we're approaching the very, very busy work time for a very, very busy work event. And it's just, it's just, you know how much work it is to DM versus, uh, versus playing, how much prep uh, yes. it is. I've I mean, never made a D and D game as a DM, and I am terrified at the concept of it because of the well, amount of work that goes in. Well, the first thing you have to learn about being a DM is you have to check all your character sheets before you play the game to make sure everybody has all the spells and everything that they're supposed to have. I I trusted I trusted too much. Also, the second thing you have to learn as a DM is what to do when someone wants to eat the cat immediately. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. Daniel though. Like like yeah, are we I should have. That, 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 that was that was my bad. I didn't prepare for a Daniel. D Daniel's D Dan Daniel's uh, Yon T voice is so good that I I I'm glad I'm wearing sunglasses because I get confused when he turns back to his regular voice. Like I think there's some that's been in the game the whole time and I forget they're here. Like, like Fair. it's genuinely confusing. That makes he's, sense. He's really good at his voice. Yeah. Hey, thank you for that sub. We appreciate that. It's Prime sub right there. Glad to see you back. Hey. Um, but good to be back. Very happy to I be would on Prime stream. sub, but it's impossible for me. Yeah, I've got like 80 months or something like that. Not just Jesus, it's so long. It's so long. Time. Yeah, well, I, it just hit me 69 months because nice. like over the, over I mean, the course fair, of the... Nice. Yeah, but it's only 69 months because it. over the course of the seven years we've been doing this, uh, it, this thing keeps unsubscribing me. Like every like 15 months, <laughs> it unsubscribes me from DJ. It unsubscribes me to, uh, from Baron. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? The old days. I, I, messing with you is what it's doing. Yay, old days. Yeah. It's been, been many, many years. Also, I, I, I have aged. We have all grown up on stream. We've all aged significantly. I was I was youthful and in my 20s. Now I'm in my mid-30s. I'm so old. If you're not careful, this is what awaits you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, like that's, that's... Don't don't taunt me with a good time. Like, that seems like boss mode. Like, you're sitting here with the shades... You got the thick beard that is just gives off like a respect me kind of vibe. The long, luxurious hair. Come on now. And you explain video games for a living. I feel like most of the chat right now would love any combination of those things. Badam bam. I'm loving it. <clears throat> That's it. All right. There's right Daniel there. back waiting on Smushy. I feel like I started the the departure. Sorry about that. Um, while while you guys are or here, uh, Daniel or in DJ, we can go ahead and is, if there, is there anything you want? There's Smash. Uh, is there anything that you want to do in the market before we leave this area? Uh, I was just hand, make, making sure to hand out everything that dude had in his pocket. Just sorry if I didn't say that okay. before I had to go. Okay. I had to step away. I Anybody uh, want to go I around? I really want to see what's up with the dragon that has a booth over there. What? I was very okay. curious to what that dragon is selling. So you, you wander you wander over to uh, this food cart, which has a, an array of amazing uh grilled food out in front there is um like a like a little teppanyaki kind of thing going out up up front and there's this dragonborn just sort of puffing flames controlling the controlling the meat 
Uh, off to the side, there's some baked goods as well that seem to have been there in this display case for a little bit longer than they should have, but these meats are fresh. And he goes, Ah, you look hungry. Always. I... My menu is right there if you'd like to peruse. There's many great things I have in store for you. The carrot surprise is very surprising. I made sure to make it that way when I named it that. That's why I named it Carrot Surprise. Mm. He goes back to puff, puffing on his meat. What? Surprises, there's no carrots. <laughs> <laughs> How many silver pieces does it take to get to make a gold piece? Uh, yeah. I thought so. Uh, did we distribute his gold? Nope. Guz's gold, because it was there's 20 gold in it. I got that gold, and then I hand out five gold to each of the team, because I feel like they're all surrounding okay. this dude with the the meats because how do you not gravitate toward a smoked meat uh, uh, angel angel eyes is gonna defer the five because he was so impressed with 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 your kill at the end and be like nice. i'll get mine i'll get mine from the wizard thanks um did you see that bear though you're, you're asking him if he saw the bear yeah it was like yeah, he, the bear. he was he, he he gave me the compliment for guz but like the bear is what black man is most excited about there was good so uh and iris is like yeah well i distracted them you did and i couldn't have done what i did without your assistance thank you very much darn right um so sir i'm gonna go with the uh the beef ribs i'm also gonna go with a good berry tart i don't know how it is but i imagine it's amazing um and the beef skewer and you know what i'll take a carrot surprise just for funsies uh, the dragonborn is very, very excited. And he said, coming up right now. And he he uh, goes below his cooking top and, and he's got this sort of warming area that has coals in it. And he takes out uh, a, a wrecked um, small package for you. It, and it has the beef ribs inside. There's two fully cooked beef ribs in there. Uh, off the grill that he's been working on, he's been sort of uh, experimenting with different styles of doing the kebabs, and he pulls one off and gives it to you and says, let me know what you think about that. And the other one he looks dissatisfied with, and he uh, puts it aside to do something else with. Um, then he pulls out the good berry tart, uh, and he, 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 you want to <laughs> grab the good berry tart? No, the thing he said, the one he set aside that he didn't really like that much. Iris is really hungry. Um, roll me a slide of hand. I just did. 15. 15, you take it. Speak. Right. Angel Eyes looks like, it. Angel Eyes looks at what they're doing or whatever and just is like kind of disgust, disappointed. He walks up to the bear, steps up, one foot up on the bear, pulls out a dagger and goes, y'all are paying for, paying for shit. We got good meat right here. And he's going to jab the, 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 the knife into the bear and try to cut off a flank. Um, smart. Okay, give me survival. I while while this ready. is happening, the <laughs> dragonborn gives you the tart, very gingerly wrapped up, and he says, "Save it for when you're not feeling great. It's made with good berries." Mm. Oh, uh, that, that 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 that's nine. That's a nine. Uh, you you step down. You start carving off a bit of what you think is a thigh and you come up with what might be part of a human hand. Uh, mm. It's very, <laughs> it's very, <laughs> it's very uh, grisly. Uh, it's very hairy and it's sort of contorting and, and it's got some exposed wounds and things on it. Um, give me a perception check. <laughs> She's An fucking angel, angel eyes takes off his sunglasses. <laughs> 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 and uh, perception. Uh, uh, 15. Uh, you notice that what was a bear is very quickly becoming man bear. Um, it is, it is morphing back oh, and contorting no. shape right. and sort of, uh, shrinking in on itself in a very so, gory mess. So very, very carefully, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 he starts taking the, whatever the chunk of, mangled hand is and just trying to put it back where it was like as it's transforming back into a man he's trying to stick it in there so that it like like it reattaches and just like like he was never there and failing successfully and just leaves it there and turns around and wipes wipes his bloody hands on the the, the wolf that's next wow. to him 
Uh, While Angel Eyes does that, Zogar is going to slither super fast as he can to the man bear, and he says, mm, wasted meat then, and takes the biggest bite of the head. Of the person? Of the man bear, yes. Uh, give me a strength check. Yes. Well, he I has a bite him. attack. Don't you have a bite attack? I don't know. I don't have a bite attack. I don't, I don't just, want to just, a bite just give me the, uh, the strength <laughs> check. A strength check, gotcha. Fucking damn it. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, what did I do? I, oh, I clicked the wrong button again. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Chad. 13. 13. Uh, you bite down and your jaw kind of gets caught uh, around this head, which is quickly becoming the crown of a human skull. Uh, and and the patches of fur are starting to fall off of it. Uh, Fenethir mm -hmm. looks at you and goes, "Why are you doing that to Steve?" And <laughs> <laughs> on my mouth is going. <laughs> Iris tries to uh, apparently with a twelve unsuccessfully pull Zogar off of the man bear thing. <laughs> So, so Angel, uh, Angel, I, I said that he tried to wipe his hands, his bloody hands on the wolf, and the wolf has begun to transform back into a person now, if I understood what you said. Yep. And he just, like, stops. <laughs> and he looks at his hands, and he's going to turn around to Finethir and, like, try to wipe Finethir. <laughs> like, maybe he's got this magic touch. I don't know what's going on. And see if Finethir turns back into a person. Uh... Fenethir is, is absolutely disgusted. Goes, no, no, absolutely not. Uh, and, and then he stumbles over and he, and he looks at, at the wolf and goes, oh, was that one Kevin? Oh, I wondered what <laughs> happened to him. <laughs> one Kevin. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. We're, we're going back to the tower now, are we? Is there anything else you want to do here? So are you just calmly realizing that they parted wrecking a bunch of people that you know? No, I just didn't know which one's which. The wolves, aren't they? Hmm. Concerned. Can't, I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> but, so, wait, was Kevin not a person or another? Oh, one? Kevin was a person. He was a gardener. So, you're okay with us having taken out that wolf? Yeah. That was or, Kevin. That was uh, a gardener. So I think I owed him money anyway from a while ago, back when the tower was mine. But he was a great gardener anyway, so, you know, no loss. Besides, so humans, gonna, such short lifespans anyway. Who knows forward. stats? But Go ahead. who's going to handle the garden now when you take back the tower? That's a good question. Do you know gardening? Yeah. I pay very well. I'm not going to be your He's gardener. a snake. He can probably do it. Mm, I'm and I'm no. While Iris does that, you guys find that Zogar is now halfway eating the person, but like in his body, because like a <laughs> snake, you know, it's like that. But he doesn't oh, pay man. you. Never mind. It's just completely Shit. still trying to eat this person slowly while yeah, it's I'm going through. Your jaw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I make uh, another? How, however, I want to notice that your your character. Is pretty is pretty much a, a per, human like a, like humanoid yeah. from from the from the neck down. So you've just got this really swollen head, unhinged <laughs> jaw, and then that's as far as it'll go. Like it's not going any further than that. So maybe like a few inches. It's decomposing slowly uh, inside my throat. Oh god, no, that definitely does not pull him. <laughs> you tickle me. Fenethir just starts starts walking. Uh, and this this is we're gonna say this is your last chance to do anything in this yep. area with any of the vendors before we move on. Yeah, A Angel Eyes is just like I should have let him eat the cat. <laughs> and uh, Black Man just hands the stall owner the three gold of value of worth of the stuff that we just got and says thanks. I um. Looking forward to this good berry tart. All right, I regurgitate the body, all getting as much nutrients as I can, and I'm following. Ew. All right. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, wait. Hold on. I, I might also just out there. Ashley, was there something you wanted to do here? Um. Yeah. Uh, let me buy. Let me buy the two-person tent. Okay. Are we dealing with inventory weight, by the way? No. Okay. Um, 
It's a one shot. The two person tent, the. Uh, <laughs> Go camping a in the garden? Porch and a water skin. All right, now just add it to your inventory and, and subtract it from whatever. Oh, wait, gold I have you a water have. skin. So just the tent and the. Uh, and the torch. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do all the math. Okay. All right. Uh, then you wander along for quite a ways following Fenethir as he trots quite happily, explaining the entire time how uh, much of an absolute son of a bitch Noke is. Um, he had this, this student for a very long time, and he really trusted him, and he was going to train him up to be just as good as a wizard as he was. Uh, but Noke, for some reason, just started getting angrier and angrier at him, and he could not figure out why for the life of him. And then one day, he stole his wand, and uh, he looked up and saw him standing over him with a wand, and he tried to ask him what he was doing, but he was just bleating. Um, around that time, they come to a, uh, a fork in the road. Ooh, I'm going to have to move this. Uh, and Fenethir says, right, now, it's just off the path this way into the woods. So we'll just go that way, and everything should be good. Um, I don't want to know. What do you mean, that way? Which what's, is that way? It's, it's over. Oh, oh, actually, yeah, that's the landmark right over there. And he, and he points with a hoof, because he's a sheep, chat. He's a, he's a sheep. He's got a hoof. Um... Would you please point and, to and, and you notice there's just a no, large he's a shape. Got a hoof. Sorry. <laughs> he's just got a large blast area uh, off, in, off in the distance. It looks like there's been an explosion. He's like, yeah, it's, it's past that. Off to the, what is this, east? Up to the east. Uh, I, um, I don't know. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go look. Why not? Iris is gonna trot as fast as her little legs can go behind. Um, as as you go, there's a large explosion right behind you. What? And the tree to your to your right, Iris, that's right next to the path, catches what? fire in, in a giant blaze, <gasps> and a hooded figure steps out from the trees and says, "I hear you're looking for me." Give him a stealth. Oh, dear. <laughs> Just immediate stealth. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Uh, do we hear that from that far away, Black Man? Yeah, he ca Black he Man? calls it out. He goes, I hear you're looking for me. Gotcha, gotcha, cool. Oh, dear, is that you? Is that you, Sun God? Oh, and Iris literally goes up and kneels in front of him. Uh, Kind of <laughs> wobbles backward a little bit and goes, no. Yes. Oh. Wait. Wait. What? Yes, <laughs> son. Is that yours? What? What is that? What is happening you right? What, what is happening are, right now? Are you? I am a great and mighty wizard. Oh, not again. Noak. And I rule these lands. And if you want to pass here, you must give me an offering of gold. Wait a second. And she turns back to look at Zokra and she's like. Wasn't that like the sheep, like apprentice, no person friend thing? If they're like, are you guys related? Is he your brother? If, am I my brother? <laughs> what? There's only one Noak. Do you know the sheep? I am the Noak. Do I know the what sheep? Yes, yeah, the, I know the, all sheep and all uh, animals uh, everywhere. Oh. For I am Noak. Uh, and he goes like this, and there's a giant thunder crash off off to the west, uh, uh, crashing oh. over the, the countryside. Uh, I would like to walk up to Fenethir and be like, is this the Wizard of Paws? The wizard, see the wizard you. turns people in the <laughs> See, we're uh, off to kill the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Paws. I hate it. I hate you so much right now. Fenethir looks up at you and goes, the wonderful I, I do not understand your references at all. Uh, okay, I, I'd like to roll an insight to see if this is the guy. Okay. I hope I believe this is the guy. Uh, insight. So, Iris slowly starts standing back up as she just trusts this guy more and more. 
13. Is this the Wizard of Paws? You're not sure. It really could go either way. He goes, if you don't pay me now, I will bring out my large bear servant. Ah, uh, well, I think we just killed one back there, honestly. And bear! And he's just goes, waves his hand in the air. Uh, and and this, this. Wait, can Iris jump up and give him a high five? <laughs> While he's waving his hand in the air. Give, give me acrobatics. This whole time he's been talking, Black Man has just been kind of flanking around him and stuff. No, you cannot. You you just sort of jump up and down. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> while while he's going bear and waving uh, part of his cloak in the air, uh, this this bugbear kind of wanders up from the woods, just kind of picking its nose. <clears throat> Behold my mighty bear, who I have who was a servant man that I turned into a bear. Now he's a bear. Hi. Is he, is he okay I'm Iris. Being a bear? I'm like, I'm just gonna be like, Iris, we're, uh -huh. we're, we're, on, we're on a mission to kill the wizard who turns people into animals. Wait, Why are you wait, talking wait, to him? Wait, wait, Can we just like seriously maim him or like- What's up? Or we, like we, anger? Do we have to kill him? Yo, you, you guys are trying <laughs> to trying to kill, kill me right now? Look, look, I'm not a maimer. The thing that happened with the bear man notwithstanding, maiming is not what I do. I kill people. You, but like, you, look, you he killed looks that fine. guy that one time, fine. and then you used his leg to, 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 like, to, to choke him. You used his own leg. I mean, that's kind of... Silence! Yes, and he waves his arm, as, and, and there's a giant thunder crash off the ridge. Again. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, uh, and, and he I'm goes, sure. just oh, I, once. You're trying to kill no, me. Trying to kill me. Don't do that. I don't want that. Look, you give me the gold. Like, this whole thing depends on you giving me the gold, and you put it in the road, and then we go. But I'm I look back at Fenethir. I really don't want to do that. Like Fenethir, is this the guy? He, he seems to just want gold. This doesn't seem like the guy. Is this the guy? Yeah, is this uh, the guy? Fenethir is going. I I don't. What's his name? What's the bear's name? Hey, what's your and, name? And um, and uh, Note goes, Gorbash. And Venethir goes, No, I don't think we had any Gorbashes on staff. No. Oh, no I don't remember him uh, sounding I, like I that either. I don't think this is him. I don't know where Black Man is because he's hiding. I'm just going to look uh, like this. Black Man apparently was just jumping up and down waving because. No, that was me. No, that, that was him. That was Iris. Oh, was perfect. Iris. So Black Man is just kind of like walks up behind the bear then and then just... Uh, this may be a misunderstanding. I was going to look back at Zorgon and goes, I goes, I don't think this is the guy. Should we kill him so, anyway? Nobody's so going to kill me today. And there's a thunder crash and he's like, wait. Hold on. We're, he just, just kind of like moves behind him. Like Black Man just moves behind him and just like... No killing! No, and every time he waves, there's a thunder crash off to the side. Well, since, well, like since the, he doesn't know that uh, Black Mane's back here, Black Mane just kind of like sneaks up behind him instead of the bear because the bear doesn't really care. And he's just like, hey, um, we're supposed to kill some uh, apprentice that uh, turned a, a guy into a, a sheep. You know anything about that? Uh, I'd like to talk to the bug bear? A... No, to yeah, so the, the. No. Okay. No, yeah. The, like, is it. Is it I, I, we're confused uh, as to whether or not this is the dude. So, like, give, give me a like perception check. Go. He's asking for money. That's really right. suspicious. Give, give me a perception check. Perception check incoming. <laughs> so that one, uh, three overall. So I was like, doesn't look like anything. So that one, doesn't look like anything yeah. to me. Uh, you you are amazed at the size and strength of Noak and his extremely muscular body underneath those robes. Clearly, this is uh, a magically enhanced individual. Yeah, so obviously we're supposed to be here. This is a uh... yeah, you're you're a good dude. I I I am a great. Why are you behind me? How did you even do that? That's so weird. That. Don't worry about that part. We, we're we're supposed to kill a guy who turned. Into Look, I want my personal space, man. And and there's another thunder crash. It goes. 
And meanwhile, Iris, like, leans around, like, just ignoring the wizard guy to lean around him to talk to Black Maid and be like, is this the guy? Are we, is this the guy that, like, they said we were gonna, like, they were gonna pay us money to, like, seriously maim or injure this guy, right? No, 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 no. Oh, look, look. <laughs> uh, he, he, he kind of eyes Angel Eyes off in the distance, and then the, uh, he sees Sorgar past that, and he goes, is, is that a snake? Yeah. Oh man, I was literally gonna cast something. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll a d20 and see to see if I do something dumb. Okay. Uh, that's oh, high, nice. so it's something dumb. Uh, I'm just, at this point, I'm kind of fed up. I don't understand what's going on. This that thing doesn't seem right. I'm gonna walk up to the dude and I'm just gonna punch him. I'm just gonna punch him in the face and try to knock him on his ass. Not com, not not combat unless you think that initiates combat, but just haul out and deck him. So like I'm I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna do a check for that. Uh it works. You you deck him. Um he the the wizard tumbles down and, and the bugbear actually goes, Wah! and he's oh very upset God. by the combat and he and he runs away. Um Angel, well, what did you do? The 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 wizard is sort of a crumpled pile of clothes at this point, and uh, you hear, Oh, oh my god, god, don't let me move away. Move your Iris. feet, move your head. Man, I don't want to get away. Iris immediately has to check them to see if they're injured. Uh, okay, as, as you reach down, uh, a green hand sort of pushes you away. He goes, Get off me, and uh. Uh, what crawls out from the wizard's robes are three small goblins. Oh, God. Uh, and they're going, oh, I told you that wouldn't work. Man, I knew it. I, I just, the plan worked last time. It was fine. And I just spins around and walks back to Zorgar. I knew it. I oh, knew he, it. Oh, he's still getting gold. <laughs> You're still going to give me gold? No. No. no you Shit, are goblins. Man. We're not giving you gold. This plan never gold. works. One of the goblins goes, See, I told you we should go with a different plan. This thing never works. Everybody knows about the goblins in a trench coat thing. All right, guys, call it off. Uh, and uh, you hear another thunder crash over to the west. Uh, and he goes, No, 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 off, off. And uh, up on the ridge, there's these two goblins holding a giant oh. piece of sheet metal. Uh, and they they kind of shake it again. And, and then they get the point and they, they put it down and, and they uh, back up quite a bit so zogar <clears throat> immediately just because he can casts uh find familiar which basically can summon a whatever like i want and i'm uh, i'm gonna be bringing out a poisonous snake so i don't know if you can bring a snake out but i also okay do you have a snake lying around matt uh by the way, your familiar is pretty much set in stone. I, I have. Does it? Because it says you could choose. I'm, I'm just going to rename right. this. Yeah, you can choose once, once and that it becomes your familiar. That's what a fam it's, right. it's your familiar. You, 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 it's your got a, you got a snake guy. A okay, snake boy. And what I would like to do is ca instantly cast invisibility on it. Uh, just blowing your spell slots. Yep, it's done. Well, I'm throwing my spell slots because <laughs> it's a one. It's a one. It's a one. Uh... Wait, do, 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 do you need oh, to, to, to roll for this? Have at it. Huh? So do you need to roll for this? Nope. It just clicks no. and casts. Okay. Uh, how does the, how does this work? He's just he's just invisible for how long? For until it attacks. Okay. Or timer on it, but your your snake your snake disappears. Uh, it was so confused by its sudden existence and all the existential <laughs> dread that that might bring, and then suddenly it's invisible. <laughs> Uh, it somewhere somewhere beyond your realm of sight is a very scared snake. Um, the goblins kind of look up at Iris. Go, we would just leave him. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah you so get out of here my mistake, you know. Y'all have a good day. The black man goes. He's you know. It's more up to him. But I was just gonna you know, like hurt you guys. I was going to cut you up completely. 
Oh, that's not that's not very nice. I don't like. No, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna yeah, have a good day, everybody. You know, yeah, you too. good luck with killing the wizard or whatever y'all were up to. That sounds yeah. like a lot of fun or something. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, you know, like have psychos. a good weekend. You know, get some R and R. Have a good yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, you too. Have a good one. I would like to do. Uh... <laughs> no, I can't. They start. They start. They start wandering off. Yeah. I love it. I remember that invisibility is a concentration spell. So, yeah, right. you're gonna let the goblins go. Does yeah. the concentration mean I have to keep looking at it? Uh, it? No, it means that if you get hit, you have to roll to see if it breaks. Oh, okay. And you can't cast another concentration spell because you're concentrating on this spell. Cool. Got it. As the goblins are walking away, Black Man just kind of leans and is like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey. Um, just remember, we let you go." That's all. All right. Well, uh, look, time is money, friend. I got to go. I'll see you later. Time Sounds good. Money. Time is time. Time is money. Time is <laughs> money. money. All right. Time is money. The, goblin, the goblins uh, depart, uh, th and there's no sign of them any anymore. Uh, you were you were left in the forest, and Fenethir just goes, well, that's never happened out here before. Somehow Anyways, which way to this, like, tower thing? Like... Right this way. Let's go. Let's go this way. We're just we're just okay. leaving. It's all just it's, we're all good to leave and go. Leaving sounds like a great idea. Okay. Uh, My snake is following me. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a way to bring yeah, him into the into the next into the next thing. We'll see if. Well, I would just say delete it until we need it and bring it back. Oh no, I can copy him. I copy and paste. Nice. All right. Uh, and so he leads you further to the base of his tower, his home. Uh, Fenethir, uh winds you along a winding road for, for a couple of hours until you see in the distance uh, three very large towers. Let me see if I can bring this up on, on oh, the map. Wow, that uh, like really far. And it looked like it's actually made out of trees. Um, Somehow these trees have come together and shifted to form one colossal tree with several smaller platforms down below it. There are three main platforms rising off the ground. Off to the right is the lowest platform that you can see. It's it's rised up and it's flat. There's nothing covering it. Above that, there's a larger structure that has a fairly large open air area in the middle of it, but there's branches and foliage covering that. And then uh, off off to the side is one more higher level that's a lot smaller. Um, and, and that one is uh, pretty secure. Off to the side, you can see that there are some uh, farmlands off to the west, as well as some small huts. And uh, the, war the road continues in front of you. What do you do? Uh, Angel Eyes would like to climb this tree here and get a, get like a vantage point. Okay. Get like uh, up high, sniper position. Uh, give me athletics. See what you can see. Uh... Oh, that's a 21, sir. All right. You easily climb the tree. I'm up in a tree. Uh, you... you are at the top. <laughs> I'm at the top. I'm at the tippy top of this tree. You're at the very, very tippy top. You're standing magically on, like, the, the smallest branch, like a ninja wizard. Um, you, you, you can you increase my vision. Let's see here. I can. Let us... Triple it. I'll triple your vision. Oh. oh, okay. You can see more see clearly anybody. the base of the tower. You can also see a small hut uh, north in front of the, the main tower segment. I kind of just like shout back, I don't see anybody. Coast seems clear. Uh, okay. And then uh, Iris grabs like part of the sheep's wool and just drags him. Now, what are you doing? Oh, it's so undignified. Uh, Fenethir goes and, and is and is actually a little bit happy um, to have for the attention. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dragging him along. I like it. Perfect. Zogar walking around trees. Any obstacle? Just to be tend that he's being prone. Uh, so so what you see probably first is this, is this small hut that's in front of the uh, the tower. As you come up this winding path, you can you can see it. 
Um, it has, uh, it's just a small building. It's got a little little moon crescent carved into the front door, uh, and it's got a little tiny roof on top of it as well. Has a moon Matt. crescent on top of the door? Yeah. The the closer you get, the worse it smells. I can redo my vision. It reset. Yeah. Are you staying on top of the tree? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay up here. Okay. Yeah, I, I had to uh, preemptively change your vision back, but okay, man, you hang out in the tree. I'm sad. Sniper, until I get down. Okay. All right. Uh, Fenethir stops to the path and goes, Right, well, we go east if we want to get up to the top. I'm sure that Noak is up there, probably lounging around in my pajamas, the absolute oaf. Um, Why would he be wearing your pajamas? Oh, he does everything else that's mine. He's just told in everything. They're very comfortable pajamas, although I don't think they fit him very well. I was a very slender elf. Wait, Wait a minute. minute. So glad yeah. you just made yeah. that right there is the place where Noke is, yes? Uh, yes. Probably. Well, I don't know. I mean, he could be out for lunch for all I know. He, he's a wizard about town. The main thing is no, we sneak just in there and we get his wall. There. Yes! Don't want to go just yeah, let's go! We'll we should it. charge in! Wait, that's what you want. Guns you want to blazing. I, I'm in a glory. Okay, glory. Yes, wait. Glory. While he does that, I would like to uh, cast a utility. Uh, again, you tell me. It says at will, mage hand. And uh, I would like to have it go to the door and knock on it. <laughs> yeah, All right, yeah, you can get anything that doesn't have a concentration on it, but and still maintain your concentration. I'll let you do that. Oh. Uh what what color is the hand? Is it green? Like your yes. Color magic? Okay, it's fine. It's green. Obviously. This giant floating green hand goes over to the structure, <laughs> makes makes a little that. makes a little fist. It cracks its knuckles just a little bit, and then makes a fist and goes knock knock knock. Uh, yes. And, you, and uh, I would like to take nothing really aim happens. at anything that opens the door. Can Nothing happens. Iris, tell what this bad smell is. Uh, <laughs> give me a perception check. <laughs> I would like to give a perception check too if I'm near her too. That's fine. Please, you can give assistance. You you roll as you roll as well. No <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything to me. It just smells bad. Yeah, don't Iris smell like shit to me. It smells pretty good actually. Um, <laughs> you know, it doesn't it doesn't smell like flowers, but you know, something cooking in there. Inside this small hut in front of us? With yeah. The moon on the... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Iris doesn't like it. Well, my magic hand has knocked on the door. No one has opened. That is a sign that someone's inside waiting. Uh, oh! Oh, that's the outhouse. Someone may have taken too much from the tavern. Uh, oh. Oh. That's what that's for. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, Zogar sticks his tongue out, smells it. Oh, it smells. But it tastes a little ripe. It smells peanuts. Oh, it's the bar, it's the bar food. It's the tavern. No. Yeah. You tavern, liked tavern it just snacks. a round ago. Um, mm. You already chemically liked it. Let's okay. go find this nook knock. Well, nook, nook and knock. There's... And Iris starts to wander over to this thing. You're wandering that way? Yeah, and she's still dragging Finithir. Okay. Finithir. Uh, in front of you, everybody else is sort of saying where they are. In yeah. in front of you is this sort of uh, stump, large tree stump with a ramp leading up to the first platform. You can't see anything there from your angle. Okay. Like me, just stays like just moves up behind Iris to stay near Iris, but also in Drag whatever shadows are possible to remain in. Drag the sheep over. Uh, as you get closer. <laughs> I'm gonna move you up just a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you notice that there are three orangutans hanging oh. out in the courtyard. Uh, it's a very round, sort of circular garden. It's very well maintained. Um, someone has put a lot of work into this garden. Uh, someone highly skilled. Someone who's made uh, gardening their passion. Uh, has really tried to make this a home. 
for these orangutans. Um, the orangutans are playing dice. And they each have great swords sticking out into the dirt right next to them. They don't notice you right now. They are very invested in their dice game. Um, uh, I, 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 I'm actually unsure what to do right now. Right. So uh, Angel, I just Angel is, okay, go ahead. Is Black Man still in self? Yeah. Perfect. Uh, can the platform above us be reached, or does it have to no, be like what you, you would have in, the only way to get up this, unless you're going to try to climb a sheer wall, is to uh, go up through the ramp. Oh man, because I felt like climbing that and tree might be nice. It looks like the, the tree thing, right? is over the the walkway a little bit. So uh, I figured that I'd be if you want to if you want to if you want to try that, you you can. I'm gonna roll for athletics for that. Okay. That's a twelve. You are able to make it to the lower branches of the tree. If you want to roll again to try to keep going, I'll let you. Yes. Okay, in the meantime, I think I think Iris is gonna try to be stealthy in her <laughs> scale mail. Five. Uh it's disadvantage, by the way, so uh you 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 grasp the tree branch and you're kind of afraid to go any further. Okay. Somehow I don't uh, like this tree. I think it's should... <clears throat> Because everyone's gone around the corner up the cliff side there. I've lost sight of everybody, so Angel Eyes is gonna climb down. Zogar's still next to you a little bit. I'm in the corner. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm, uh, I'd like to go into stealth. Okay. Uh, that's a 23 stealth check. Okay. Oh, did I make it with a 10? I don't think I did, but... you so They, they can't see you at this point. Okay. So there, and... there's, a high, there's a high difference, and you're very small. So you just are a couple of eyes peeking over the lip, and they're very engaged with the dice. Okay. And I would like to attempt to pick the lock on uh, this outhouse. Okay. Uh, Slide of hand check. Uh, that is a 21. Okay, and you have a, you have a thieves kit? Uh, no, the thieves kit would let me add my proficiency to it, but without okay. that, I still right. with 21. Uh, with a 21, you unlock the door. And you hear a... Oh, no. Um... Okay, uh, I would like to. <laughs> uh, 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 what I would like to do is is let me describe this. You tell me how you want me to. Do it. I would like, I, I would like to do the thing where where I I stand to the side of the door, like not in front of the door, like to the side of the door, and reach over and like slam, like push the door open and duck around the corner. Like I want to duck around the corner. I want, I want to like re stand here, reach over, just open the door and stay. And come back. I'm still in stealth. Right. I'll let you do it. Uh, it 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 works. The door the door kind of creaks open. All right, you're or you you was it more of a slam? How much force are you putting on this door? Uh, I feel like I would have I would have done a slam. I would have been like <laughs> and thrown it open. Okay. Uh, you do, and you manage to get out of sight in time. Uh, you hear a, uh, and and uh, sort of an angry, and and the door slams shut again. Oh, he's struggling in there. Okay. <laughs> All right. I respect that. I respect that. I'm just, I'm just gonna let him go. <laughs> let him go. All right. Somebody's struggling in there. We don't. We don't need. They're having a hard enough time. I'm gonna rejoin the group. <laughs> in my turn. And oh. Iris looks back as as they're approaching, and she knows that Angel is sorry, kind of being stealthy, and so is Black Mane, and she just looks back and is just like, like overly loudly. By the way, she goes. Shh. I'm just gonna motion to her like I'm stealthed. What do you mean? <laughs> Miss right. I rolled a ten in scale mail. Smashly at this point, give me a stealth check. Okay. <laughs> With disadvantage, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh god. That's a six. Uh these <laughs> The closest orangutan stops for a moment and, and kind of holds up a giant hand and uh, kind of turns around and looks and he, he can't really he doesn't know where that noise came from um, 
but he's pretty sure he heard something. And uh, the orangutans get up and they and they grab their great swords and just they just sort of stand there looking around and kind of shrugging a little bit. I the if if you could understand orangutan, they would go, "What was that? Must have been the wind." <laughs> Must have been the wind. Okay. <laughs> so I alerted them, but yeah. Okay. All right. Um. I think I Iris is gonna like be crouched down and just wait and see if they kind of go back to their bag. They do. Uh, but they keep their swords closer to them. Uh, they, they just sort of keep them on their laps and, and uh, they're a little bit more on edge now, but they're like, all right, whatever. Is the door uh, still open? Uh, the door the door is, is, is closed. The occupant of the outhouse uh, was upset that someone had tried to get in when there's he had the, said that he was... Yeah, so, so he, he closed it again for privacy. Iris is going to creep back down to Angel Eyes, like a little bit further away from, from their orangutans, and just kind of be like, okay, there's like three really big hairy guys up there. And they were like, I don't know, like throwing some cubes around or doing some stuff, but they oh were kind of scary. And you <laughs> and, and Black Maid have been all about like the murder things and stuff like that. And like, you know, seriously maiming people and making them. Uh, while you hear this, you are <laughs> coming from uh, the platform. Angelize is going to One of them crazy. saw a very large snake head just sort of poke its way up and go back down again. <laughs> Angelize is like, finally. Zergar, go eat an orangutan. I thought you'd never ask. So he just runs up here as fast as possible, and I'd love to do my first uh, combat if I can to the first orangutan. Everybody roll initiative. God yes. damn it. Right. He made me do it. God damn it. You did it all oh. on your own. I didn't shoot nobody this time. I didn't do I it. I didn't even alert them. <laughs> Gotta be a 17. Oh my God. Natural that was a beautiful 20. die. Sheesh. Natural 20 on the initiative. <laughs> I didn't start Natural this. Natural 20. I'm Natural having horrible 20. rolls today. Why does that say brown beer? Yeah, but you, 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 you're having great role play, so. Yes. Thanks. Thanks. Out. Indubitably. Gotta um, be noticed <laughs> before, before combat starts. Zorgar uh, still needs to run. Uh, we still need uh, some initiatives. Yep, we need we need Black Man and Zorgar. Uh, 17 was mine. I'm, I'm down to redo it. 23. Uh, no, if, if you, on the right, in the upper right corner, you see the little fist icon in the upper right corner? Right click it and it will it will bring the combat tracker out. And you can just always keep it as like a window on the left. Then I did that last it. time and it was beautiful. Yeah. I knew when it was about to be my turn and everything. Okay. Yeah. Well, before, there you go. before there you we, go. we get into combat, uh, you hear a, combat. who is that? From, from up above. And this head kind of peeks over the balcony down at you. It says, hello? What are you doing here? <laughs> Hi, yes, we're here for the wand. My my what my my polymorph wand. Uh, no no his polymorph wand. Who's his? The sheep. The sheep. Oh God. You found Fenethir, have you? Yeah, that's his name, Finny. Finny needs the wand back. Just so Wait you know. a minute. Well, are you saying that you are Noak? Yes, I, I am Noak. I am the master of this tower. Thank you so very much for finding Fenethir and bringing him back here. It's been quite troublesome, but now we can secure him. He's you not want a real to... sheep. He yeah, I'm, a I'm aware. I am quite aware of Fenethir. Would you I like checked. a reward for bringing him back? Yeah, that sounds great. Oh. Ooh, I right. do love reward. <laughs> oh. Send Fenethia over to my orangutans, and we can talk. Oh, wait a minute. Now, Angel Eyes is going to crouch up to Black Man. He's like, wait, 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 wait. This is a counter offer. Uh, Fenethia. I'll pay you double. Whatever he says, I'll double it. Then cut it in half and double it again. That sounds really good. Wait, That's wait, wait. Like right, right, right. As Iris is saying, this really good. Uh, Black man whispers to Angel Eyes. Did he say I'll double it? 
and then cut it in half and then double it again. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's math. exactly where we start. That is it? It's exactly where we start. Think about it. Think about it. It's, it's two, two doubles, fingers. though. It's two doubles. I'm pretty right, sure that's but like... if we have two fingers, and then we double double, double. And then we cut it in half, like and then we double it again, yeah. we are literally only doing a little bit more than we originally had. And then some! That's a lie. Oh, oh and then some. There's more. Yeah, and then yeah. there's more. Uh, but, but, I would yeah. like to grab the, the sheep and see if I can pick it up. Uh, okay. Uh... It'd be a strength, strength check. check, right? Yep. Sweet. That, that's a contested strength check if he resists. Got 15. Okay. <laughs> What's the strength on a sheep? <laughs> uh, the sheep kicks you in the face. There's no da- There's no damage, but it, it is not going for this. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's like gravity right. just pop. I'm going to look at black man and be like, all right, but. This guy says he'll pay us, and he's the one with the big tree fort. Yeah, but like, stop looking at me. It's like, my right tree now. fort. It's my tree fort. I told you it was my tree fort. He took it, it says from me. It's his tree fort. Is it possible that it might not be? His? Yeah, but you don't. It's not your tree fort right now. It's his tree fort right now. Yeah, Wait, yeah, right. I'm actually. No, no, calls fort. down. Did Did you guys hear what I said though about about paying you, when yeah, you were sending the sheep over? Tree fort, or it's like, is it the sheep's tree fort? It is. Who's in the fort right now? Right, like who is whose fort is this? Is what I'm at. Like, am I the one in the fort? Are you? Black Mean whispers to Angel Eyes. Yeah. Ask him if he took the fort from the sheep. <laughs> Did you take the fort from the sheep? No, I There's took the fort from my here. former master. Mm-hmm. He so wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't a sheep at the time. Yeah. So then, that is the dude. It was our our sheep's castle. Let me let me tell you something you, about Fenethir down there. Fenethir is the most terrible elf you have ever met. He's an he, elf? He is he isn't he was an elf before I turned him into a sheep. And I was his servant for 40 years. I studied under him for him to make me a master wizard like he was. And him, having lived hundreds of years, believed that there was no rush. I have a finite lifespan. I cannot wait years and years and centuries in order to learn the simplest of things. And he treated everybody bad, and he parried terribly, and there were no benefits at all. And we tried to unionize, and he shut it down. So I took the wand, and I turned him into a sheep, and everybody's happy now. Hold on one second. Uh, Iris wants to go ask the orangutans if they're happy. (laughs) Okay. I support this action. More. Uh, you can run. Up. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just runs right up to him. Yep. Uh, the orangutans kind of have their great swords, and they they look a little confused by this. What are you doing with it? What do you, what do you say to them? Whoa, whoa, whoa! She comes up like hands up, like like no threat, like. So he says, "You guys are happy. Are you guys happy? I mean, you guys were like playing dice or something. I kind of was watching you from like a, like right over there with our like snake eye. Which, by the way, you can just ignore him. He's not gonna eat you or anything. But he might try like later if you're dead or something. But I hope you guys are not dead because he said you guys are doing great. You guys doing great? I'm gonna look at Black Bane and be like, I know how this is gonna go. Watch this. Uh, yeah, the, the the orangutans, they they stand up big and they they kind of like." Hold their big orangutan bellies, and they scratch for a second, and then go. <clears throat> where, did, where did they go? They just scared me. Yeah, man, that's that's it. I'm gonna look back at another black man and be like, "Cause they're orangutans." Yeah, but like, I thought we could. Talk and to she slowly right backs now. away. You know, just like, 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 okay, they're not attacking me. And she walks back over to Angel Eyes and, and Black Maid and just whispers like, or wait, does anything happen when she disengages? No. Okay. No, they're, they're, they're did. content right now. I think he's telling the truth, though. Like, I just went up there and talked to those like orangutans that were like playing dice or gambling or losing their life savings or something. I'm not sure what they do with their life savings, but he seems okay. I mean, they seem okay. He seems okay. Sheep doesn't seem I'll okay. I'll give you one more minute before I turn you all into animals. 
Okay, he doesn't seem okay anymore. <laughs> <laughs> did he just threaten us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did just threaten us. And I'm not saying that there weren't times where I wish I was an orangutan, yeah, but they don't seem to be able to talk. They don't seem to be able to, like, I don't think this is a very good deal. Yeah, it's probably not, although I'd I just... be much taller. Well, that was Tobias. He's sort of an idiot. But if you talk yeah. to the other ones, they're very pleasant. But it, and, you and, can only and, speak and that, to me, I should say. And that half of wife didn't ask to be turned into a cat. Zogar gives them the bleeding What, what about the cat? Is this the person you pooped says, on? What's wrong with being an animal? He makes a good point. He survives for a really long time. You know, he's been around us and, you know, like eating yeah, people yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, or yeah, trying but, to. And he's been alive for a really long time. <laughs> Nothing, Zorgar. We love you. You're one of the good ones. Yeah, you better think that. <laughs> You really should get that looked at, though. All right. I just don't know if I like the idea of having been threatened. No, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't like the threat. No, and honestly, the sheep didn't really threaten us. He just said, uh, "Hey, there's going to be gold," and then he said he would give us more than double, and then some, and then a halving, and then some, and doubling that or something. I don't know. It seemed like a lot. Yeah, I'm just. I'm gonna yell up and like, there's still only two of us. And he never there's gave still... us an original price. Right. Uh, Fen uh, uh, yells. Let's kick his ass! Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> I, 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 I hate to say this, but I'm, I think I'm with the sheep. Whose ass are they trying to kick? The, 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 wizard, the wizard of Paws. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, do some work. Yeah, I think Iris grabs her shield and mace off her back and... Uh, it's time. So, right. Well, I guess it's time to go in. <laughs> so, so Angel Eyes is just going to hop up the ramp. Like skip and jump, so we're off to kill the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Right, stop God. right there. Uh, no kills. That's it. Get him. All right. Combat oh, begins. God. Angel Eyes, you were at the top. Boom. Uh, Angel Eyes pulls double barrel at the at the freaking ape number one. Shoots ape number one for nineteen. Does nineteen hit? Uh, sure a nineteen is. will hit in orangutan. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna hit. That's going to be 10 damage. You're going to pull the left trigger. Uh, 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 does a 10 hit? It does not. A uh, uh, 10 hit. Uh, that, uh, uh, he says that's bullshit. He's going to trigger a superiority die and add another D8 to the How attack for precision. How many dies do you have? We yes, a short rest. the answer to that question. Yes. So the 10 becomes an 18, and that's going to hit for another 5 damage. So how much damage was that? That, that's 10 15 that's 15 damage uh to ape one it's it's been it's been tracked ape one uh takes the cross bull boats in him and, and just goes whoa whoa and then and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna then i'm gonna take action 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 surge wow i can't say that uh then i'm gonna attack again uh 17 to hit 17 hits. for another for another 10 damage so that, that is a, that is a total of 25 damage on ape one uh this turn. ape one is down how does he die uh he just he just sits there like he's like he's like you know together apes strong as he's trying to rally his, his brothers and then he just gets fucking pelted by crossbow bolt after crossbow bolt, after crossbow <laughs> bolt and just, and apes not strong and falls down dead <laughs> and 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 uh, Angel Eyes takes his next step to get out of the way. The Won't other apes step. are not inspired by this, uh, but they are willing to fight. Yep, and that's the end of Angel Eyes' turn. Okay. Uh, Fantastic turn. Ape 2 uh, howls and runs his way over to you. Um, oh, himself no. right, right, right there. Uh, and mm -hmm. he is going to take a big swing with his giant greatsword at you. Doesn't bother me. Uh, a net 20 might. Oh, yeah. no. That is a 25 to hit. This is going to be critical damage. Uh, I respectfully decline. <laughs> For 19 <laughs> points of damage. Uh, uh, all right. uh, I will take the 19 points of damage, but I do it under protest. Okay. Can you describe what that looks like? Also under uh, duress. Just yeah, yeah. Out there. This this ape charges you, and he's got his uh, great sword sort of backhanded, and he's coming at you like it's a giant spear, and just thrusts it in. Uh, and that that is going to be quite stabby uh, through the <laughs> right through the side. 
of uh, Avenged Lies. Uh, I think it misses. Uh, I think it misses organs, but that definitely is is at this point it goes through you. You're you're a kebab. Mm. Is he speared on the end of the spear? Uh, it does pull out. Okay. Mm. Phrasing boom. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, somebody has to do phrasing. After Zorgar. <laughs> Zogar, Zorgar look, sees exactly what happened. Uh, Angel Eyes killing the first ape and then the ape going nuts. The second ape going nuts and going straight to him and shish kebab him. Zorgar is ready to do an Eldritch Blast. Rolling it. What's the distance on that? Got a 14. Does it hit? Uh, on which target? On ape 2. It does not. I'm sorry, it does. Damn. It does. It does. It hit. does. Yes. All right. So then I'm going to shoot with an Eldritch Blast. Skaboom! Doing 10 points of damage. Ooh. That is net. That was a max pointer. Green Ooh. flames envelop the ape. Yeah. Zogar looks and says, Take this, little monkey bat. <laughs> 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 it's not even Fenethir's turn, but he looks at you and goes, Seriously? Alright. Is that is that it for you? Yeah. I don't know. What else can I do you besides can move? move? You, you can move. That's it. Uh Blackman. Oh hi. Uh Blackman, uh Were we all at the door when all this was happening? Because I feel like you, we were you are where you door. are. Yeah. Damn it. I thought we were at the door. Because, yeah, no, that limits very much what I'm capable of doing. I tried up the ramp. I should have moved. Um, one, two, three. I guess I can move up as far as being next to Zorgar while it's still in stealth. And I have no long range weaponry because I didn't want long range weaponry. So remaining you, in stealth. You can, you can use your action to dash and get another three. I could, I could. I mean, it is a bonus action to dash. I, will I still remain hidden if I dash? Is the question. No. No. Yeah, no. I'm going to oh. stay back here. Because okay. I lose I lose half of my damage dealing capability if I'm visible to the world. Although, Angel Eyes did just get skewered, so... Yeah, I, you, you get you get, you get get the you get the, the extra... You get the... Uh, what's, what's the rogue thing? The sneak attack? You get the sneak attack if there's another person within five feet of the monster. You don't have to be stealth. Oh, well, cool, then, perfect, because I'm just going to use that bonus action to, you know, dash. Um, yeah. This is true. So I'm yeah. going to... Uh, dashing is, with an, is the, an action. Say what? Dashing is an action. Yeah. But uh, with a rogue... Oh, wait, uh, did you just become it with a rogue? Get, okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you can take a... Cunning action is what it is. You can take a bonus yeah. action on Thank each you. of your turns Proceed. to take, dash, yep. disengage, or hide. And uh, with that, I'm going to swing with the floppy hand. Does a 10 hit? It does not. Mm. Great. <laughs> oh, shit. It's actually so, shit. <laughs> so Black Man runs up and like Fair swipes with the right way, misses, and it's just like, hmm. Yeah, better it, in my mind. It's just like, I appreciate you being here, though. Here for you. Here for you. Uh, all right. Uh, Noke from his wizard tower. Uh, pulls a wand up on high, and it, it's, it is red and crackling, and he points it at the outhouse and casts, and this magic flows down, this beautiful blue stream flows down through the roof into the outhouse, and you hear the and the outhouse explodes is the best oh way that I, that I can say this. <laughs> um, and this giant bear emerges at the top of it. As he's growing, uh, oh no. <laughs> he oh splinters no. all the wood in the outhouse, uh, and Imbigan is, in, is, in cast, on, is cast on him. Uh, and, and the bear roars at you. Wait, yeah, we should I, check the outhouse. It's time for a second and it just disappeared. Oh, there. Oh yeah. my yeah, god! That's our, our vision range, yeah. There you go. Well, uh, 
Uh, I think Iris yells back uh, out to everybody like, Get up the platform! Go, go, go! And, yeah. Uh, Fenethir takes your advice and starts going, <laughs> and, and runs up the platform. Uh, right tape, too, uh, unfortunately. I didn't think that went through. Uh, the brown bear. God damn it, that's right. Uh, uh, charges up the path past uh, Iris. Right, up, right, up to Z movie, right? right up to Zorgar. Oh, God, no. That is like on top of you. Yeah. Hang on. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shoving you out of the way for a second. Just for, for, just for icon's sake. Uh, and and he, he's just like, snake monster, go. Um and he attacks with his claws. He takes a giant swipe at you. Oh! What are you hitting me with? Does an 11 hit? No. He attacks 13. again. Oh. For 14, which will hit. Yes. <laughs> yes. For 10 oh, points of know. damage. Sorry. A large claw <laughs> just batters you. Uh, halfway there to death. By the way, I've been to ask, how long did this journey take us? Uh, it's taken you the better part of a day. It, it is okay. not sunset oh. yet, but the sun's getting low. Okay. My snake is no yeah. longer is no longer in uh, stealth or invisible. Oh, no, it only your, lasts an hour. I'm gonna add your snake again. Okay, so your snake is visible and and near you. Uh, let Thank me you. add your snake to the uh, initiative order. Your snake got a twenty-one, so your snake will uh, will act on the next go. Cool. Ape three uh, hoots and hollers and runs down to assist. Uh, right up to to Blackmane, and mm. is going to attack him with his great sword, just charging at him. That is a twenty-one to hit. Oh yeah, that's 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 a good hit. Okay, that's what that is. Mm -hmm. That is six points of damage. He attacks oh. again ooh, with the great sword. Fuck. Oh, word. Oh, for nineteen. Also not so much. Uh, also, hit. for fourteen points well, of damage. Fourteen. Fourteen. Uh. Oh, sir, I don't like it. Huh. How how injured is he? Uh very. Not down or anything, but he ain't happy. Like and he just kinda looks at Angel is... Eyes and just like, oh, yeah, yeah. That sucks. I uh I think I understand what you were going through recently. I'm sorry Iris. To hear that. Iris. Uh can Iris tell how bad Black Mane is injured from where she's at? Uh Probably. But she has no way of getting to him without... You know, uh, there's no way of getting to him. No, there's, there, there's really not. You you could try to disengage from the bear and try to climb up the, the side of the tower. Mm -hmm. um, but that's going to it's gonna take your, your action pretty much. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, um, I think, I think, uh, Iris realizes that this is a, this is a, um, what does Channel Divinity do again? What is this music I've uh, done? It, it, it depends, it depends on what you chose as your thing. Your Channel Divinity is turn undead, it's not going to help you with anything. Here. Oh, okay. You also have Radiance of the Dawn. So you can use your holy symbol to dispel any magical darkness, which is going to help us. Additionally, each hostile creature within 30 feet uh, must make a con saving throw or take 2d10 plus 4 radiant damage. So hostile creature, so you, you, within 30 feet. So if you cast it from where you're at, it would hit the bear and the two orangut and the two apes. That's a very good point. Let's try it. <laughs> 
Okay. So I'm going to channel Radiance of Dawn, which is basically like gonna just beams of sun coming down from 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 the heavens to burn these creatures with radiant damage. So, so they have to. Yeah, they have to save. Oh, oh, oh my god! A con save of tw uh, twelve. All three of them. Okay. I rolled horribly, by the way. Yeah, that was bad. Yep. You should feel bad. All right. right so, well, that's, that's, a, that's a con save so, for us. Bad news, Baron. No, for that the good, bad hostiles. I was concerned. Bad news, Baron. Gets that good bad inspiration. Good bad inspiration for who? For you. For me. Really? Okay. Yeah, you get I am hit. very concerned Ooh. because it's literally against us. Right. No, sir. Who is making the saves right now? Yeah, uh, the, the, the bad guy. The two apes. Okay. Well, no, sir. I don't like it. We're dead. Then they have to make how much? Twelve. Uh, well, yeah, they have to make twelve. So, do any of them fail? Uh, ape three fails. All right, okay. so Ape 3 takes 6 damage, and everybody else takes 3. So everybody takes half damage, or just 3. and then We take 3 damage? No, the, ba the bad guys. <laughs> We're attacking the bad guys. Do I re-roll re re damage per creature? Uh, no. 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 Pain. No. Because your boy's about to die. All right, is that your turn? Um, That is an action, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Um, and I can still move around this bear, right? You can. Okay, I want to. Is that's you? Is you that... can you can hop onto the platform if you want to. Okay, I basically just want to put myself between, like, he's, try to position so, myself to where so it be. would, where he has to get through me to get to to <laughs> to Zorgar. Uh, he's gonna hit us both. That that you can't yeah. do. You can't put yourself be between him. Right, because um, he was next to him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, just consider me, like, next to the platform. How about there? That, that works. works. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you do that. Okay. Um, the end of my turn. Angel Eyes. For God. Uh, Fenethir stepped into my space, so there's no way for me to get advantage on 8-2. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, you can move through Fenethir. Fenethir is, is technically yeah, an I ally. Can't land, I can't land on oh, Fenethir. Yeah. I have to land. No, actually, to... Fenethir will give you advantage. Fenethir is in the fight. Okay. All right. So I'm going to attack Ape 2 with advantage. Uh, uh, that's a 24 to hit for yeah, that'll hit. 10, 10 damage. Then uh, I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use uh, the, 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 the bullshit superiority die yeah. and uh, uh, make that a trip attack. Uh, added D6. Ape 2 dies. Ape, Ape 2 just dies, okay? <laughs> he's he's dead. Yeah, he so didn't do it. Tell me like tell me what you do to Ape 2. Do tell so that, me. That, you... 14, that 14. Oh, you don't want me to, Okay. So, 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 well, he trips on his ass and falls down dead. Okay. And then it. it, 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 it Wait, you trip him and he, he just he, bongs he, his head? Yeah. I still have another. Did, 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 do I still get my other attack? Yeah, I, I guess you do. <laughs> All right. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna walk up here and come over here for advantage on ape one, and with my offhand, I'm gonna attack. With that, uh, that'll be a twenty-seven. Oh to my hit. god! How is Where what did these rolls, dude? All right, so yeah. so story time. Disco <laughs> has someone he plays with who's yeah, got this op bullshit fighter crossbow build, and he's been complaining about it. For, for days and days and days. And then I, I asked him if he wanted to be in this game. He was like, yes, but I'm I'm making this bullshit. And, uh... for, for, for Matt's first public DM, I wanted him to experience the true bullshit of Fighter Crossbow. <laughs> Fighter Crossbow is the most broken bullshit such shit. combination. This is only level four. This is only Wait, at level I, four. How Sweet do you have mercy. Two die twenty, and what is the KH one on the end of it? Why is it? Plus I shouldn't have given you a bonus feat. Well, uh, honestly, the only the only thing I took for the bonus feat, the bonus feat allows me to to to, to attack it at, at at at. Actually, I haven't used the bonus feat. I have not used sharpshooter. I have not used sharpshooter once Sweet in this game. I'll, I'll use I'll use sharpshooter next turn. 
and I'll show you what sharpshooter is. <laughs> yes, a lantern. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that I'll end my turn. I, thank you for reminding me about that feat, Baron. I had you know, you know what, you know, <laughs> it's the snake's turn now. What does the snake do? What does the snake, does the do, snake, a snake lot of familiar things. do? Oh, the snake. I don't know. It has its own. So snake when I read it, a fighter bow. the snake can't do anything in terms of attacking. Nope. It says, uh, the familiar acts independently of you, but it always obeys your commands. In combat, it rolls its own initiative and acts in its own turn. A familiar can't attack, but it can take other actions as normal. I don't know what other actions it can do. What do you want to do? Basically, the familiar is just an RP character. It's not meant for combat at all. Gotcha. Uh, all it does, it can pick up a thing and carry a thing around, but it's it's just a little RP utility kind of thing. He's not give it a, give it give the bear a hug on its leg. Okay, uh, the snake wraps around its leg, not tight, but a nice one. Yeah, no, very very comfortable, uh, very loving and intimate. Uh, Zorgar, what do you want to do? It's your turn. So we have to speak to any animal, right? Uh, no, you can you can speak to Fenethir. But the Fenethir thing says it could speak to any animal? No? Only to sheep. It was a modified speak with animals that lasts for way longer, but you can only speak to to, to sheep. Oh, man. Damn. Very damn. Okay. Let me think here. Because one fell swoop, I'm dead. Uh. Uh, yes. It's Battlemaster Dila. Excuse me? I'm answering a question. You see what happens by us streaming this is you've created a whole new generation of, of fighter crossbow bullshit players. Guaranteed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would Absolutely. never play this on my own. I play this only because it's Baron's first game. And I wanted him to experience it. It's the only oh. reason I ever play this. Alright, what do you do? Mm. You are you are right now right next to uh the bear, by the way, so you will have disadvantage on any ranged attacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna scratch that. It's a giant and in, embiggened in bear. You can't fair. miss it. It's that's pretty, it's pretty yeah. All right, I'm gonna still do because I have nothing else to do. I'm gonna do poison spray. Okay, there we go. It's a con thirteen, so right. so just do normal. Cool. How do I do that? Just uh. No, I, I do that. Uh, bear fails. Bear fails. Bear fails. Harold Nate. What? For four, four. four points of damage. Uh, it, yeah, it feels bad when he's over here rolling like, and he takes thirty points of damage. I'm like, ah, uh, great. Uh, <laughs> the, bear, the bear is roaring, and the acid kind of gets in its mouth, and he's like, ah, ah, ah. it's like a bitter taste, and he's he's upset by it. It's enough to cause some psychological damage. Um, what, <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, if I move it, that's a thing, so I can't do anything. There's no blocking. There's no getting ready. So that's pretty you much it. Yep. You circle around him if you wanted to and yeah. stay within range so he doesn't get an attack of opportunity. Basically, if you move out of range, you're disengaging. Can I just uh, run around to the back of him? Uh, hmm? let's, let's see. Let's see. Uh, well, I will do one, an athletic two, three. Yeah, you can, you can do that. It's fine. I'll let you do that. All right. Oh. Black men. Oh, hi. Uh, since Ape 2 is down and Angel Eyes is still within range of Ape 3. You have advantage on Ape 3. Exactly. Which is why I'm going to roll with Rapier. Rapier. Ooh, and that's a 21. Natural. Oh. Okay. So it's not a nat 20. I wish. I wish. But since uh, we have advantage, since we don't need advantage, uh, that gives me the opportunity to roll the sneak attack damage as well as the regular well, no, no. damage. Did yep. you roll twice? Did you roll for No, advantage? I rolled for the rapier. Yeah, but you should roll twice. And you have an advantage. 21 to hit. Yeah, but you should. You get oh. two rolls because you have advantage. You might crit. You might yeah, crit. No, just the, you might the crit. second one was a 10. I would have loved <laughs> okay. it. Okay. All right. It would have been great. I don't want to. I didn't want to take the chance. I was like, no, we're good here. Um, What's your so damage? So for the primary damage, we're looking at nine, and then for the additional d six of damage, we're looking at five. So fourteen solid damage, and then 
Hmm. Okay, and then I would also like to roll with the short sword. As the okay. Backup. Uh, Dave is not looking great after the last attack, by the way. You stabbed, yeah, you stabbed it damn good. He has a six, so yeah, nothing there. Okay. Uh, Since the, that was my bonus action, I am done. Turn. The, the, the eight kind of staggers a bit. Uh, it's loosening its grip on its short sword, it's, or, or the great sword. It still has it, uh, but it is a bloody mess at this point. Noke, yeah. from up Angel, top, want to hit him. Me want to hit him next uh, time. Uh, is, is pretty pissed at you for doing that and for messing with his... Uh, beautiful, beautiful orangutan boy. Um, mm. That's gonna suck. He casts Ray of Frost at you. At me? Yes. Nokes a dick. Hang on one second. Just want to make sure that you know. Nok knows. Nok knows. Nok knows he's a dick. He knows. I just, just didn't want there to be any questions or doubts. All right. Curiosity is like, he he, he no, flicks his wrist and casts with the wand at you. And uh, he's doing so with advantage since mm. he was given. Thanks, viewer. And he gets a nat 20. Uh, that's pretty damn good. I'm going to take. Can go. We're going to take, take a nap. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> take that. Uh, critical damage for 18 <laughs> points of damage. Yeah, we're we going to sleep. We're death saves. Um, this is everybody? No, this is, is this me. is this is just a black main. He has crossed this giant ray of frost and has effectively one shotted uh black main. Um Here. Okay. That is that is Noke's turn. Fenethir uh starts charging Ooh, the tower. So it's like it's like wait, is Black Mane just like frozen there or like what's going on? No, Do he's 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 down. He he's he is now so his HP is out, he's on the ground. He's now gonna have to roll death saves. Um, every turn, he's gonna have to now. roll a dice, and he'll either pass or, or or fail. If he passes three times, then he gets back up. If he fails three times, he's dead, dead. So you can pick him back up, um, and I'd probably advise it. The brown bear. Uh, oh. The snake has disappeared. Iris is now directly in front of the brown bear. And he attacks with his mighty bear claws, with his bare hands. Smashly, he attacks you with his bare hands. His bare hands? No. His bare hands. His Finally bear, came back to hands? bite you in the ass, Smashly. Go hands. get your bare hands. I'm my bare hands. Uh, if any viewer is not familiar with this, she she does this constantly with this joke. And now we can use it on her. Yes, he's attacking me with his bare <laughs> the clap. Not very well. Does a 14 hit? Uh, 14 Ooh. does not hit. He attacks again. And misses misses again. He's really he's he's pretty clumsy now that he's so big and like magically been in, in enlarged. Uh and and he doesn't know how to use his big old bear paws. At a little Iris hiding behind her shield. <laughs> uh the ape. Ape 3 very much still knows how to swing his sword. He takes a look at Angel Eyes now and swings with his great sword. Well, 24. High 24 hits. For 12 points of damage. And he attacks again. For 24. That hits. For 13 points of damage. And Angel Eyes goes down. Uh, the what? ape the ape roars victorious and then turns and stares at Iris and just goes, Whoa. Okay, well. Uh Iris kneels on the ground and and says a prayer to Odor and says, Bring my friends back. And she casts a prayer of healing on the entire party. Holy shit. And everybody heals 13. Oh. That'll do it. D DJ's gone, but but we'll let him know when he gets back. When he gets back. So, Disco, you heal 13. Dano, I don't know if you were I'm full health now. But DJ. Yeah, it, 
she's probably back off the ground. Okay. Uh, people are back, back up. Anything else? I'm back. DJ, I brought you back to life. I just brought you and Disco back to life. <laughs> um. Yes. I'm looking. D to see DJ, I heal 13. You were back up. Oh, yay. You're Thank welcome. You. I just saved Much you and Disco's life. You were both on the ground. You saved all three of us. Anything else you want to do? Uh, one second. I was trying to see if there was anything I could do, but I don't think I have any bonus No, you, you don't have any bonus action. Roll between his legs! I don't, have my <laughs> spiritual, I don't have my spiritual weapon out yet. Angel eyes. All right. I'm going to stay here and keep burning. So, so I'm going to use, since you've reminded me, I'm going to use my sharpshooter feet. And what Sharpshooter does is it allows me to take a, a minus five penalty to my attack roll, but add a free plus 10. Hold on, hold on. We got to gotta back to up. the damage. We got to back up. I didn't realize. Chat just reminded me. Prayer of Healing is a 10 minute cast. There's no way that's getting off and saving everybody. Uh, well, the benefit of having a newbie DM is that I don't know these things. And if, if you don't know something and I make us move past it, you can do the same thing to me. So we're going to roll with it. Okay, from now on, You though, magically I'll... got your 13. Yeah, okay. <laughs> right. uh, so I will roll my attack on... This is this is on Ape 1 here. Uh, 18, so does a 13 hit. Uh, does a, a 13 hit or an 18? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's a, it's a 13, so I took a minus 5 to hit. Okay. Uh, so does a 13 hit. It does hit. 13 hits, all right. Uh, then I get a free plus ten damage to whatever this is. I rolled a, I rolled, I got five, so that's that's fifteen points of damage. Fifteen points of damage. Uh, and then the orangutan's head flies off. You shoot this thing directly in the forehead, and it it doesn't even lose momentum. It just it just goes. It just gets out of there. Uh, and you've got this this orangutan body standing there with a great sword. Um, somewhere. You can feel in the deepest part of your hearts that a thousand conserv conservationists have cried out in terror. But he is dead. Uh, I, I, I should have rolled. Yeah. rolled an advantage on that, but I, I don't know. And then I'm going to turn my attention to Big Bear, and I'm going to do the same thing with my offhand. I'm going to take the sharpshooter with my offhand. So this will be a minus five to the hit. <laughs> Uh, that was a 13, but, so so thir 13 becomes an 8, but I'm going to use a superiority die. Of this course. This course. Goddamn shit. And I'm going to make a precision attack and add a D8 Expected. to that. Add a D8 to that. Aren't you supposed uh, to so, like, so, use the extra so, die before yeah, the done. Whole... No, that's not, that's not exactly how it works. Uh, it, that's it, it how is... it works? You call it afterwards? Yep, yep. Uh you, uh, you can expend one superior die to add it to the roll before or after. Or after? That seems yes. so broken. Yeah. Oh, broken. I feel like that uh, was the point of the... How do you get this? This this is the... You just have to say you're a fighter. That's all you have to do. You're you going to have, have a whole bunch of people coming here going, well, in Pathfinder, you wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> yep. Uh, so 13 hits. So he's got a 10 base damage already. Roll his damage uh, for another four. So that's 14 points of damage on Big Bear. Uh, Big Bear, Big Bear takes it and and uh, not happily. Uh, that has caused a large gaping wound on him, uh, and and blood is starting to pour out, splashing all over Iris, just Got like a game. waterfall, just just <laughs> drenching. Uh, it's Christ. it's it's some Princess Mononoke <laughs> shit, just yeah. just coming down. Yeah. And the, and uh, yeah, uh, that'll that'll end my turn. Okay. Uh. The snake. snake is still humping the bear's leg. It's humping? I thought you said hugging. It is now humping? No, it's humping now. All right, yes. the relationship is progressing quickly. Zorgar, yes. what are you doing? <laughs> the snake is at second base. <laughs> the snake is at second base. <laughs> yep. You better watch out. Okay, so <laughs> Zog Zorgar, Zorgar, he, uh, he finds that this is an advantage because not only did he get healed by Iris and his party members have wiped out the apes, but he has he's behind the bear do i have an advantage roll for that or no 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 no, no. uh for, what are you trying to do just being behind him i don't know he doesn't well, what, what, are you, what are you trying to do with with the to, that you would use I'm just gonna spray his ass i don't know uh you you 
you it's a normal attack at this point because you're, clo right, you're close range but yeah yeah you don't There's get advantage on it spells. roll it mister <laughs> what is your con save uh what, what did i what did i need 13 or more to hit he rolled it too so you got it Ooh. I'm the poison. <laughs> no, come on, <laughs> three points I'm of damage. These... <laughs> roll, uh, roll, roll, it, roll. it it just kind of sticks to the bear's fur and, and just mats it a little bit. He's got so much goddamn fur, uh, and this little poison spray <laughs> just isn't getting through to the skin at all. <laughs> this is um, really bad. You, roll. you smell melty fur. That's that's about it. God damn it. This is really bad rolls. He Black said, he said this is really bad rolls. Hey, yeah. branding. Well, it is. I've been having nothing but bad rolls. Did you take an action to eat something? No. Good, because I want to eat one of the the good berry tart that I ordered earlier. Okay. Mm. Uh, you take out this delicious. Uh, it looks like a miniature pie uh, uh, with with little little holes around the side and everything. It's got a beautiful turned crust. It's very flaky and golden. Um, the person who made this cl clearly put a lot of care in into it. Uh, and as you eat it, uh, how do you eat it? By the way, this is this is about palm size. Okay, so I, like I just like take a gigantic chunk just, out of it, cause, oh. like because food, like and then just like just basically I'm scarfing it down. So, to the surprise of everybody around, especially Noak, who is like, "Is that guy really eating right now?" You've just pulled a Skyrim and you've shoved food in your face during a battle, uh, and yet you feel better about your situation. Uh, in your connection with nature and your place in the universe, and uh, you just feel soothed. It's just, it's just a good time. We're out here. We're killing orangutans. We're, uh, we're escorting a sheep. They gotta know? go. Oh. What else do you want from life? You heal two points. Yeah. Healing is better than no healing. And then I just look at Noke like, yo. And then, <laughs> um, I'm nowhere near the bear, but I move close to the bear, right next to Iris. So that I can be near and dear to our friends. So that when I roll with this rapier. And if I hit, I still get to do the, you know, the sneak attack. That's 16 to hit. That hits. Perfect. Because now I'm going to roll my damage with the rapier. And that's going to be a fantastical 7. And then my additional d6 for the sneak attack gives me another 4. So that's 11 damage that uh, I'm dealing to... The gentleman bear that is enough to kill the gentleman bear how does the Perfect. gentleman bear die uh with that rapier uh black bear just kind of or black mane just kind of just crouches and just like jumps up straight and like stabs it right in the butt <clears throat> just like uh like right up into the butt it's right, ass. Right like just right up it's ass. Ass. Just, like, right into the <laughs> right into the and uh that's a finesse twists weapon it. Just twists it <laughs> oh, and then just like did you bop it did you boot uh, it as, as Actually, he did like turn it and then technically he pulled it when he swiped downward as 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 you as you withdraw um you have kebobbed a impacted bear turd uh that was yeah. causing the bear a lot of distress in the outhouse um it's very hard. <laughs> was the uh, turd transformed into bear poo too? Because it was human poo when it was impacted. He's been a bear for a while, so he's got a bear digestive oh. system. It's it's bear poo. Oh. It's impacted bear so, poo. Uh, now on yeah. your sword. Uh, but the bear is dead. Oh, a bear doesn't shit in the woods. It uses an outhouse. This bear does, yeah. <laughs> so like, wow. I take it and just like kind of like flick the... You get inspiration. I just kind of who gets inspiration? Uh, I get this inspiration. goat gets inspiration for that joke. Nice. I kind of flick the massive uh, hulking bulk of that non in the woods nonsense and just kind of flick it back at the bear and just what doesn't come off, I just kind of like wipe it off on, <laughs> on his thigh. Like, this is yours. This is rude of me to try to keep it. And it's like in, in, in the back of. Black Mane's mind, he feels good that he got to give uh, Noke a bit of like relief before he died. Like, obviously he's gonna die, but 
at least he felt better for a brief moment and then it was just like oh oh it's like oh oh and 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 that's that's what it was uh as the bear died it you you think it may have been crying tears of joy uh to be saved from its misery uh, you have no idea how long it was constipated for um no clue roll inside check <laughs> okay cool let's do it um insight 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 where is it at damn it <laughs> I'm trying to find it. It's hiding from me right now. There it is. Make me do this. That'd be a 12 for insight. Uh, once the plug has been released, uh, an additional <laughs> geyser God, fucking damn it. just flows out. Uh, just a, the slow-moving uh, mudslide just, just coming down that. the dead bear. Um, obviously, it's just slow-moving. Yeah. Black man oh. moves. Like obviously not gonna sit there. And yeah, no, it doesn't. It. it doesn't splatter out on anybody. Uh, Great, I'm still covered in blood. Welcome uh, to bad rolls, yeah. everybody. But you're not. Covered we got in, bear uh, shit. Yeah. Bad rolls. <laughs> Angel, Angel eyes from his elevated position just looks down at Pooh Bear and goes, "Oh bother." <laughs> Did you just say Pooh Bear? Uh, I'm not giving you inspiration again, but that, that would have gone. Yeah, they already right. got it. Go. You can't Damn do it, it if you aren't being uh, there. Like, oh, my God, dude. Wherever you go, chasing those outhouses. I mean, come on. Uh, you you hear from up above, Jeremy. What? He, what? Jer uh, he shouted, Jeremy. Um, Right. Noak disappears from the window. Jeremy's not speaking in class again. <laughs> and he withdraws <laughs> inside the tower. Thank you, Smashley. You're welcome. Uh, you did, so I don't have it. She walks so you can run. Wait, uh, who withdrew inside the tower? Noak did? No, nope. Noak did. Uh, Fenethir is standing at the base of the ramp going up to the main tower, and he's going, let's go, let's go, let's move, let's move. Uh, no, no, Noke's been at the edge of the center tower. That's where he shot you from with the ice beam before. Okay, cool. Forgot about that. Uh, Iris. Um. The immediate enemies are down. Okay. Can I wander over to Finneth here? Yeah. A bit. Oh, that and I just want to, like, whisper down to Finneth here, like, do you really need this tower? Because, like, we could just, you know, like, burn the whole thing down if you really just need everything done we could do that you know what i got a spell right here that could probably do that you know like let me just let me just go ahead and like you know let's just let me think <clears> about <throat> this for a second and we could probably just burn the whole place out i mean it's made out of wood right you don't really need it you're, you're saying this to fenethir yes to the uh, fenethir looks up at you and, and as much as a sheep can look horrified this sheep is just Mouthing it like, what is wrong with you? Seriously, that's my house. We can't burn it down. Besides, all the money's in there. Don't you want to get paid? That's a really good point. Food is good. Uh, I'm going to wander over to Angel Eyes. You've used your movement. So it turns out he doesn't want to burn it down. <laughs> I didn't think so. I thought we were just supposed to kill the Wizard of Oz, remember? Wizard of Paws. I'm done. Angel Eyes, yep. it's your turn. All right. Um, I am going to use uh, uh, my uh, uh, second wind uh, as a bonus action and recover uh, 14 hit points because it's not enough to do all this damage. I need to show that I can heal myself too just to really rub it into me. Wait, how are you healing? healing? Uh, second wind. It's a special fighter ability. Fighters. I get the feeling that he's going to ban fighters. Moving so I'm going to go game. one, two, three, four, five, six. And the door up ahead, is it closed? Open? It, it is closed. All right. Uh, uh, then I will uh, use the last of, well, I, I could get there and then I just end up blocking the door. So I, so I will, that was my movement, that was my bonus. And as my action, I will hide, which is a, ten, which is a to go stealth. Uh, a 10. Okay. Oh, but I know. There's I'll nobody make my, to see I'll... you, so it's okay. All right. So I'll go stealth. And that's that's my turn. So this whole thing is a cautionary tale, is what I just heard. Um, yes. 
the snake, uh, unfortunately, the bear died before it could finish. Uh, <laughs> it's it's love. It just finished. Um, just finished. What does the snake do? Uh, go to the nearest person to finish off, which is Black Mane. So Black Black Mane, I'm gonna let you let you do this. Right? So, you're sending a snake familiar that I know is yours. But it me. has its own mind. It's doing do it what? itself. It's not me. But you you summoned it. Now, well, I was there when you summoned it. But like, why are you sending it to me? It's doing it itself. It needs to finish. It's horny. If it's not done, oh it's going to keep God. following. Damn, so. <laughs> Come on. Black like man wants parts, obviously. So he also doesn't want to kill it because... It feels like it would be in a front. Oh my god, Kamkazi. So Zorgar. So unhanded, uh, unarmed, Black Mane just wants to slap the taste out of the snake's mouth. Like, get away from me. What is wrong with you? No thank Do you. It. Yes. Okay. Slap the horniness out of it. So uh, do I need to roll I, for that? I, or? I need you to make a strength check. And I need the snake to make a strength check. Uh, Daniel, roll me a d20. Okay. God damn it. But even though, okay. Even though, you yeah. roll a d20, DJ rolls, a d, rolls his, his strength saving throw. That'd and uh, 17. We'll it's see. A two. We'll, okay. DJ easily overpowers the snake. What do you do with the snake? The snake flies. Would, no, I mean, he, like, would, would you the snake? I get the feeling he was talking to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, what are you yeah. doing are with you the doing? snake that you've got a hold of? I the snake by its scruff. Well. <laughs> and yeeted at Zorgar like, bro, this is yours. Why? <clears throat> bro, this is yours. Why is bro. it coming uh, to me right now? I don't appreciate this. This The snake... Um, g- DJ, give give me an athletics check. <laughs> I am proficient, so uh, let's see what that is. That's seven. Solid seven. Proficiency should mean you get a banda, right? Or no? I'm not sure. I've always been curious about that. All right, no, you get a, you get a just bonus add the number. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, right. Is that with mm. your proficiency bonus? Oh, uh, yeah. DJ, I'm going to give you inspiration on this. I'm going to let you have advantage because he just tried what? to hump you with a snake. Appreciate that. I didn't. My snake did. Like yep. Yeah, that was not anywhere near as good. It was it was a four that time. So, okay. yeah, the seven. Is gonna have to be the move. Uh, the snake lands in the busted out outhouse somewhere. Oh, I'm okay with that. Yeah. And I just look at Zorgar like, why are you sending a snake? I didn't so, do it. That was the snake's fault. Zorgar, it is your turn. Okay. Oh, wait, do, do you want to use your movement? Wait, hang on. No, it wasn't Black Man's turn. Never mind. I'm sorry, Zorgar, go. So we're still fighting and trying to get to Noak? You are. You're still in combat. Yeah. All right. Uh, Noak's still got to get these hands. How much, uh, how can I move? Let's see. During combat, you only get, what, 30 feet? Or I do? Uh, correct. One, so what, it would be up to where Black Man is? Yeah, nope. but you can use a dash action and get another 30. No, I don't. Yeah, you can, is what he's saying. If you don't use your action, you can use that action to move another 30 feet. Mm, well, yeah, I gotta do that. Okay, then I'm gonna dash forward. I'll get up to... Yeah, yeah so just move here. your guy to like 12 spaces, yeah. So that that's one movement, that's one, and then you dash and move another six. Oh, what, six is 30 feet? Six yeah. is 30 yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah. Five feet oh, I each. I didn't know that. Okay. Black man. That's it. That's it. Yay. So black man just kind of is. I mean, can't be in stealth because that's just silly um, to try to move the amount he needs to move. So, all right. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to finagle my way through this. One, two, three, four, five, six to get. Why? It's not in a wall anymore. Two, three, four. Five, six. 
get there and then with my dash how, how, how much longer does how many, how many more feet does dash give six yeah perfect i'm gonna use my um like six squares yes Another yes yeah, 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 yeah. all right two three four five six there we go okay uh we're all making a wonderful target for a fireball yeah probably a bad <laughs> idea Fenethier. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's better. That's much better, Black Man. It really is. For me, it's way better. Fenethier runs runs up closer to the door, and it's like, we have to get going right now. Go get my wand. You are going to die. Stop it. Uh, Iris. Uh, Iris runs up to the door and tries to open it. The door is locked. Uh, can she tell who like the strongest is in the party, or does she know off the top of her head? You've been adventuring for a while, so yeah. Yeah. So who's the strongest in the party? Well, uh, by okay. size, I mean probably Zogar, but but who has the biggest uh, strength? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. Which you also, you, know you also have two people who can pick locks. I mean, thieves' tools. I was just literally looking to make She's sure that I still had those. That. She's not cool, just about she's, she's not very cool, cool, cool. bright, so she just wants to know who's the who's the strongest, who's who's been the strongest. Uh, cool, 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 cool. I am the strongest. Okay, so <laughs> she just looks back at Angel, Angel as it goes, goes. Hey, come up here and boss this thing down. Yeah, you have to use your last uh, thing of movement and take a step back, or I can't get in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. It is Angel Eyes' turn. Conveniently enough. Angel is gonna walk up, and he's gonna he's gonna act like he's about to beat the door, and then he's gonna poke down and and try to pick the lock. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like what you did there. Good choice. Uh, that is a nineteen, and then I'll go ahead and just use my bad inspiration to add another six on there because why not? I've got it. The doors are already I'll get open. It again. You, yeah. you, you, the, <laughs> the door opens and you open the door and you just keep going and you manage to remove the entire lock assembly. <laughs> I, I turn around nice. and hand Iris like uh, the whole doorknob. <laughs> I just okay. keep the doorknob. I'm just going to keep, Iris is just going to keep holding it like, yep. okay, what's uh, that? And then, uh, we'll have more than I asked for. continue my movement. Uh, three, four, five, six. You have entered a large alchemic, alch uh, alchemical laboratory. Uh, you can see um, lots of scattered books and potions and notes just everywhere. There's ingredients shelves with lots and lots of ingredients. You're not quite sure what they are. Uh, there's a study area in the side. It looks like somebody's been summoning something on the floor. Um, as well as a couple of uh, chests that look like that they're disused. This looks like a door here immediately to the west. Yes. Um, I use my movement to pick the lock that I didn't need to pick, or my action to do that, my movement. Uh, so all I got is a bonus, so I'm going to go ahead and heal for another 14. No, I'm just kidding. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Smooth. Zorgar. Zorgar is a, it has the ability from the Find Familiar to telepathically speak and communicate with his snake that is 100 meters away. So we are 100 meters, if I believe. Uh, you're way from now. Yeah, th th that's just feet. That's just like 40 feet. That's way less than 100 meters. Oh, excuse me. Map, feet. Oh, feet. 100 feet. 100 feet. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, so, you're in range. So I communicate and, and I'm listening to my snake because he he was just thrown and flown so far and he didn't finish. And my snake is not happy about it. And he's asking me to finish. He's saying, please let me finish. So I, I can't do that to my familiar. I can't let him not finish. So I have sent him to Fenethir. So Fenethir now will get a humping snake uh, for, uh, until <laughs> whenever. I've made a huge mistake. So ah, the snake uh, is now heading over. This will be the final episode of bad rolls. I'm... 
<laughs> He's heading over to grand oh, opening, it's, grand closing. It's been a good run. <laughs> you have another round. He, 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 even if he dashes, he can't make it there this turn. You've got you've got another round before you have to deal oh, with it. Oh, no worries. He's taking his time. He'll get there. <laughs> He's honing <laughs> and angry. <laughs> you, you've got time, so, uh, Matt. You've got time. Well, that's going. Fuck, Fuck me. That's Fuck. what the snake is thinking. Yep, that's exactly what the snake is thinking. I, hate I was gonna upload this to YouTube. I was gonna do so much things. There was gonna be so much content. Um, are okay. you gonna move? Yes, I'm, I haven't even done my action yet. That's just to telepa te tele telepathy. That doesn't even count as an action. So uh, let's move. Let's move uh, one, two. The door's open, right? Yeah. Three, four, five, six. And as soon as Zorgar walks in, he sees the alchemy lab and immediately knows the whole entire like you know plane because he's a warlock he, he he this is what this is his bread and butter this is what he's been around all his young young life and then some during his apprenticeship and then some so he sniffs through his with his tongue give me an investigation check Sounds please good. never make that sound ever again yeah, i will definitely do it again i will definitely keep doing it an 18. Um, this is an incredibly well-stocked alchemical laboratory. Uh, they have ingredients to make any kind of magical potion that you could think of. Uh, and a lot of it seems to be centered around transmutation. And as uh, Fenthir said earlier, doing a wizard's favorite hobby, which is turning things from one thing into another thing, because that's what wizards do. So essentially my character, but does he know these potions? Like what does he know and what does he know? Um, he, he, he knows that they are not, they can be combined into, into different combinations that could be harmful or beneficial. Uh, they, you've got enough stock here to do pretty much any manner of, uh, hmm. up okay, to a high so level of magic that you could want to try to do. What I need to, and I'm guessing the next turn, unless I use dash, but I wouldn't have to, I wouldn't be able to do it till my next turn. I have to, I can go closer to these books or these things that I see in my area to see if there's a recipe I can find of sure. transmutation. Yep. Okay. So that's how, so let me dash if you don't mind. So, or that was already my action was uh, the no, uh, no. investigation. No, it's a free check. Okay, sweet. So let me head over again. Uh, one, two, three. We can't do diagonal, right? It's not you diagonal. can do diagonal. It's fine. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so you, I would you, like to. I can't investigate again, can I? You can, can use your action at, at this point to uh, to try well, to. I already you know, did. It was a dash. Yeah, that was a dash. Um, yep. All right. So what you find are are different notes that are. Um, mostly concerned with documenting the process of of polymorph uh what happens to people how long they are able to stay polymorphed uh, when it's true polymorph uh what animals seem to be more compatible than others uh and there's also some really pretty scribblings uh in there um, that have the word guz on them they're just little child scrawlings <laughs> that guy yeah. drew on the book <laughs> great um Zorgar, Zorgar sees that and scuffs and laughs inside, inside saying, <laughs> Little impotent fuel just drew a love of these precious recipes. Uh, and then he continues. Uh, he doesn't see. Is there any way I can look further? Or no, that's pretty much it. That, that's all that's there right now. Okay. Then I will be done with my action. Black man. <laughs> uh, Black man's just going to enter and stand behind Angel Eyes. Just kind of. Look and see if there's anything interesting for like maybe gold or you know some credits. So perception. Okay. And that's a four. Uh, it doesn't look like anything to you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. This place is dumb. But a whole bunch of junk. <laughs> this place is silly. Why are we this is here? not silly. This is our gold mine here. You understand? You don't talk to me. You sent the snake to finish. It did, it did it itself, not me. No, 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 no. You called it. You made it. It 
came to me. And because I made it doesn't mean nonsense. I can control so like, it. S -s 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 still, I've got something awesome. No, it didn't have anything awesome. That's why it's in the outhouse. Or it was in the outhouse. Either way. I didn't let it finish to see if it was awesome or not. See? I hate right both there. of you. You just admitted it. I didn't admit no. shit. <laughs> Disgusting. You, Whatever you think. Uh, with bonus action, uh, he's just gonna flip Why off Zorgar. <laughs> he's gonna flip off Zorgar like, no, I want no parts of this. At that moment, uh, you hear a massive explosion oh, no. somewhere off in the distance. Uh, oh, no. It sounds like splintering wood just crashing, like uh, like a tree has been struck by lightning has just exploded, and you hear. <laughs> off in the distance a few seconds later the roof caves in all around you and in drops what the fuck slide into the stealth just because one sees is that a dragon <laughs> with the bed on it you're, you're still you're still in combat uh, uh yep, in, in drops can I roll for that and yeah. that is uh Give me, give me one second. Twenty-two. In drops Noak, riding like he's riding Falcor, a bed that has been turned into a screeching dragon. Oh my God. Uh, Noak is brandishing his large wand <laughs> and uh, like like a rodeo, just holding it high, going, "You've said it now. Go, <laughs> bad dragon wormling." Bed dragon wormling. Wow. Bed dragon wormling, who is now the rolling for initiative. Wow. Uh, Fenethir was standing on the platform outside with, with Iris. Uh, Fenethir goes, Oh, shit, that's bad. And uh, <laughs> just just nopes out of there. He's, is he's it gone. towards the snake? Um, <laughs> the snake is. The snake is stuck in the ruins of the outhouse. The, the snake's not going anywhere at this point. Uh, the adult crystal dragon is not what that should say in the uh, in the roll. So I had to reskin uh, something. The bed dragon wormling uh, with Noak astride turns and, and faces all of you. I'm going to make sure I'm not actually on top of you. Um, no, actually, that, that worked. Um, we're going to have Noak's icon sort of off to the side right here, but for the purposes of combat, he's actually square in the middle of uh, the bed, okay? Just pretend. Just pretend he's there. Uh, he turns and faces Angel Eyes and uh, lets out a very creaky wooden roar that sounds like a ship tearing apart and casts his splinter breath. He opens his mouth up wide and then sprays it out in front. And this should be also hitting black mane. You each need to make a, de a, uh, a dexterity save, DC 13. Nineteen. Ten. I should have saved my bad spiration. Uh, Black Mane takes 13 that. points of damage. That's with a save? Jeez. Angel Eyes takes 27 points of damage as a hail of splinters rips through him. Well. Nine, nine. God damn it. What happened to both of them? Oh, we just took a lot of damage. Iris, it's your turn. Okay, so can I tell how badly injured both of them just got? Uh, you're still outside. Right, the door's open, but I can see them. Um, you, yeah, you, and you said the roof blew off, right? Like collapsed. In, yeah, so. yeah. So, uh, all right. You, <laughs> um, give me a perception check. Okay. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, you you can tell how much damage they took. Uh, Black Mane looks looks pretty messed up. Uh, Angel eyes is not doing good at all. He he is uh he's still Angel standing. Has, has one hit point. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Iris uh 
kind of freaks out. Alright, so she goes one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and uh, she's just going to touch Angel Eyes right on the butt and heal him. <laughs> what was that sound that came? <laughs> that would be uh, that would be Deku. That, that was perfect timing. <laughs> BRB, I'm going to go check on the dog real quick. Tell Deku I appreciate them. All right. Tell them what? Sorry, I appreciate them and not. their timing. Cool, cool, we'll do. All right. And then she is going to, as a bonus action, going to cast Shield of Face on herself. Okay. Which lasts for 10 minutes and is a concentration. Angel Eyes. Um... Approximately, it, 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 uh, what is the dragon? Is the dragon down the, down on the ground? The dragon is down on the ground. Uh, on, on the, on. Yeah, okay. It's you know, and it's got a little dragon bed feet, and it, 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 it's a wormling, so it's not a full size dragon. Correct. If this were an adult dragon, we'd be get, we'd be dead already. Right. It's it's this, um, it's it's like a queen size bed has sprouted wings and a tail and a head. <laughs> All right. Um, since I'm right next to it, I would like to use my full movement. To attempt to climb up oh the dragon uh, to where Noke is. Uh, this is this is a living, living dragon. You're gonna have to give me a strength check. Okay. Uh, that's a natural twenty, motherfucker. Hmm. I came back at the perfect time. Uh, you easily climb up. The dragon uh, actually rolled a two on that. So you you easily <laughs> scamper up the dragon's tail. You 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 step first on the pillow that's on the end. It's very soft and fluffy, and you can use that to sort of scamper up its tail up onto the bed next to Noke. And uh, now that I'm next to Noke, I got, I'll move my guy over here next to Noke. I don't know that I can like layer him, but yeah. Uh, if you move, if you no move Noke last, he should be on top. Try it. Mm. I see. I'm on top of the dragon right now. Okay. Oh. Why, why? Why isn't your guy going on top of the dragon? Well, he's on top is. for me, but oh, it, okay. it doesn't matter. All right, we'll we'll just put him off oh. to the side, and we'll say that they're both on oh, yeah. top. Oh yeah, it, they're they're both on the bottom on the uh, uh, yeah. display. Um, <laughs> and then a lot of trouble here, on top of bed. Up here, head to head with. The 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 Noke, I would like uh, to grapple him and basically just bear hug his ass and prevent him from using the wand. While riding bed. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, 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 I want to wrap my arms around him and hold his ass. Oh, um, while riding a bed. Uh, dragon. I'm going to say back. that your previous thing was a grapple against the dragon. Well, that, 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 was, that was the movement to climb up the dragon. You made me do a strength check, but I still have my action. All right. All right. Grapple him. Yeah, I used all six of spaces of movement to just hop on. I'm easily swayed. Okay. So strength versus strength. Uh, that's a 16 for me versus his strength saving throw. He's a wizard. I'm hoping he's weak. Uh, he's rolled a 16. Uh, so uh, just like with AC, match succeeds. Okay. So so he so basically he is grappled now. So we we are we are entwined at this point. And on his turn, he has to try to break free or just stay. I mean, maybe he likes it. I don't know. Uh, but, all right, you you have now grappled him on top of the bed. Um, Zorgar. I think <clears throat> hopefully I can make this save. I can make this work. Uh, what I would like to do is uh, I'm a, I'm allowed to move and then do an action, of course, right? Yep. Uh, am I is the, am I engaged with the dragon? Does the dragon even know I'm next to him? Because yes, you, yes, he does. Yeah. So if I try to break away, he'll see that. It, he you will. can disengage. Absolutely. You can okay. disengage, which is your action that will let you break away without taking an okay. attack of opportunity. It, but who is it looking at right now? Uh, it is currently looking at Iris and Blackmane, but it crashed in through the roof. It saw everybody pretty clearly. Okay. No, but I just wanted to make sure of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move around to the side here. 
So it's almost pretty much behind it once again. So I'm in its blind spot, hopefully. And what I'd like to do is cast Magic Hand, which gives me 30 feet range, which is just enough range to go to Snoke. And I would like to grab his wand from him and bring it back. Is it how much does it Magic weigh? Magic Hand cannot do that. Yeah, it cannot. Uh, it's it's not strong enough to try to get a weapon from somebody. It says uh, it can't carry more than 10 pounds. How much does the freaking yeah? yeah but you, you, you it's, it's it's held on to by somebody else. Yeah, he's getting it, it squeezed. Can... All right, right I got it. I'm, it, got, I'm it not. I'm not gonna. Carry ten, it only has 10 pounds of pressure it can apply. So like yeah. you gotta think about how strong a person is that they can carry a lot more than 10 pounds. Yeah. So if he's well, then can I right tickle now. him? You want to tickle the the dragon? No, no, and try to make him drop the wand. Uh, yeah. You cannot reach Noke from where you are unless you want with to. With the magic hand. With, with 30 feet? Yeah, on a Okay, yeah, you can you can tickle Noke. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. Give him the tickle. This guy's being grappled on the bed. Slash Someone's coming tickle. to tickle him. Um... <laughs> uh, I feel like this is. What, what check is this, Matt? I don't even know at this check. point. Uh, give me a performance check. Okay. That's, uh, <laughs> I like that. No, How do a you Warlock perform in charisma that? Based. Yeah. That's a 16. <laughs> That's a 16? Um, now hit him with a pillow. <laughs> he, 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 he was uh, grappled previously. Now he kind of loses his footing a little bit. Um, he's and uh, he, he retains the wand, uh, but he is giggling. He's still holding on to it? This thing Damn. is like his life. He's not going to let go of it because oh. you're tickling him. Like, hee, hee, hee. Uh, uh, actually, uh, because he's grappled, it's the same as like being prone. He's, 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 he's incapacitated. So all the, the check would have advantage. What do you so mean? I can roll again? again? Roll again? You can roll again if you want. It's not going to do a difference. We're going to try, though. If you, you get, get, if you, if you get a, a 20, something might happen. 20. Nope. You, you, you got, got a, a dirty 20. 20. You got a dirty 20, though. You got, you got a, a dirty 20. Um, Noke pees a little. <laughs> Black mane. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I like it. I know, I know, DJ. I have no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> There's grappling and tickling happening on the bed of. This is how I imagined the first game that I streamed as to long go. As, okay, as long as there's no slapping. Audience, uh, I'm sorry. We're, we're fine. Because there's my my net. My only question and, and I have is, what if if I did the tickling to the dragon, would it have been the same outcome? You want to you want to tickle a wooden a, bed? a wooden bed? No, no, the dragon. Yeah. yeah, the, the dragon, is a bed, bed, bed dragon, dragon is a bed. Um, uh, different strokes for different folks, right? So, something else would have happened, yes. It, okay, okay. It I wanted to know. Mm. Uh, so, Black Mane just goes into his bag and pulls out a tinderbox and just looks at Nook and says, did you drop that wand or I set your bed on fire? Uh, I'll wait. In a, a, I guess it's a persuasion. <laughs> from from behind, no angel eyes just opens his eyes wide. Yeah, yeah. Huh? worth it. How loudly oh. are you saying this? Uh, kind of like like a whisper. Enough for I... Noke to hear me is as, as as quietly enough for Noke to hear me. And no one and like no one else beyond the distance of between me and Noke. Okay, there's a giant screeching wooden dragon bed. Uh, okay, so yelling. It's creaking around. Yeah, so so it's going to be a little bit more than that. Uh, but no response. Never burn it down. See what I care. He's kind of glances at Angel, Angel Eyes and says, Hey, I'm, I'm um, sorry about this. And he uses the tinderbox to set the dragon aflame. Um, it's a match, right? Uh, yeah. small container holding flint, fire, steel, and tinder. Yep. Used to kindle a fire. So, uh, anything Very with good. abundant exposed fuel, which a bed just so happens to be. 
It takes an action. You have to use your action. I'm, yeah. I'm down with using my action for that. All right. Uh, roll me a a d6. Ooh. He also probably has to roll a attack hit, like a That's a two. Attack. It's a two. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm I'm going to let this hit without an attack hit. So he takes two points of fire damage. Cool. Uh, it, and and, it and on fire? It, the the portion that you have lit, it's just a small corner, because it's a, it's a match, uh, is is still smoldering. Good. And there's my free like action. Like a tiny there. corner of the bed is like smoldering. Hey, tiny tiny corner of the bed is a tiny corner of the bed. And with my bonus action, uh, I'm just gonna hide again because why not? Okay. Since I didn't actually attack, I can't. I don't know if I can use my bonus action to attack. No. When I did attack in the first place. So yeah, let's just yeah. Uh, let's get back stealthy. Uh, Noak is going to attempt to great break free from his grapple. Okay. Let's see here. With his pea-covered pants? Yeah. He has That's rolled good. a twenty on his saving throw. I just, you know, he does an he does an ability check on a saving throw. He's, oh. he's trying to break free. I do the saving throw now. Okay. Because he, because he's literally, he's taking his action to try to break free. Okay. This will be his action, whether it succeeds or fails. Yeah, the joys of of newbie DMing. Um, You're doing fantastic, though. True fact. Hang on, I'm just trying to find this in the in the sheet. I mean, we're surrounded by sheets. Mm-hmm. They're grappling in the sheets and everything. Video of grappling. It just says it must it must succeed on the strength or strength check. Yeah, yeah by your strength check so. has got to beat my yeah, it's got to beat my saving throw. So you just roll like what is the strength modifier? All right. Give me so a, whatever give strength me modifier. Give me a second. This is very embarrassing for me. Uh let me let me roll it. He's rolled a nine. Right? And then my... Uh, I rolled an eight. Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh. Disco didn't do his 900 points of damage. Are you going to use any superiority bullshit? Uh, I can't for this. I'm so it's happy. Uh, so, Noke, Noke breaks free. That is his action this turn, though. That's fine. Is he still covered in pee? What, see what he's what he's doing. Uh, he, he, he only peed, peed a little bit. It's only yeah. just you I'm know. Actually just you tickle, very tickle, curious as to what a bad. bed pee would look like. Um, no, no, no pee, not not the bed peed. Oh, okay, cool. I was like, oh no. The. Hang on, I've got to roll for the dragon. Uh, the dragon uh, turns to assist its master and goes after Angel Eyes. Uh, he bites down. I'm on top of the dragon. Oh, so is no. this freaking positioning just confused me. All right. Yeah. Well, he he tries a little bit to kind of do this, but he can't quite reach, and so he then turns to Zorgar. Oh. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> that was an 18. <laughs> 18 damage or 18 hit? 18 to hit. 18 hit. Oh, yeah, he's got it. You got it. Uh, he bites down with giant wooden, uh, like, like you know, those those fake little dinosaur or crocodile wooden things where it's just like rows of triangles for teeth. It's, yes. it's, it's like that, and it clamps down on you really, really hard like a spike trap for 16 points of damage. Oh, no. Am I stuck? You were not. Okay. No, it's just it's just a nibble. Yeah, and, well, not really. I have seven points of hit points left. So does that mean I'm prone or no? No, or no, what? no, no. You just took damage, Iris. What is the diameter of this guy? Uh, this diameter is. Shit. Um. About thirty feet. Okay. I want to 
Yes. From wing to wing. I'm playing it. Okay. Is the corner of the bed still quite uh, somewhat on fire from where TJ set on fire? Yes. Okay. And that's like up in the air, right? Uh, oh, no, oh, oh, oh. no, it's on the ground. It's on one of his feet. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna try to shoot a firebolt out of my hands. There you go. Okay. That missed. <laughs> it missed. Uh, okay. <laughs> five is okay. Definitely missing. Good, good five. effort. Good effort. Yeah, great effort. Um, and I'm actually gonna like back up over here. All right, that's fine. Uh, Angel Eyes. All right, Angel Eyes is gonna shout down at everybody. Kill the fucking dragon, and he's gonna grapple Noke again. All uh, right. So that is a nineteen. You succeed. Okay. So 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 no so so Noke is grappled and oh, yeah, that's uh, a really good point. Sorry. Chat yeah. brought up a really good point. Where did that hit? Because if it hit a flammable object, it gets set on fire. Um it it would if so it would fly by and hit hit the wall, but this this entire structure is made out of living wood, so it's not gonna catch fire. Okay, cool. Uh and that's that's all I'm doing on my turn. I'm trying to keep Noak from killing us and doing anything else and let everybody else kill the dragon. Um, it's my turn. Noak is grappled once more on top of the dragon. Okay. Zorgar. Shout again. Kill the dragon. <sighs> Stop fucking around. Kill the dragon. So tickling the dragon wouldn't be your favorite thing to do right now, huh? <laughs> no, Daniel. He did say it has a different outcome. You never know what happens. You know, uh, what, what would have happened if you checked the shed outside? You'll never know. Well, we did know. We checked the shed outside. Did you? Just like well, real life, Daniel. You'll never know. There were multiple mm. sheds. In fact, the shed blew up and turned into a bear. Maybe well, we did hear the noise that we're out. We didn't, Maybe it's a you know. Snake. I'm not. My other snake supposedly is because it was very, 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 very wanting. Uh, well, let's get back into the stuff. Uh, destroy the snake, huh? Destroy it. All right. Let's do this. A, uh, let's do a poison. Poison spray. Okay. Yeah, wait, hold on. Is Eldric Blast a type of fire? No. No. So it's, no. It's necromantic energy. But it doesn't require the other person to do something to do damage. It just, you just roll a hit and you hit them. Hmm. You keep... Okay. Well, then uh, let's see where we get this. Let's get it to Eldrick instead. Here we go. Slap it. Ooh. That's a three. <clears throat> or an eight, That's sorry. Uh, that, that will not hit. Well, my life is in shambles. Uh, I am uh, just going to smile and wave. Well, we know you have bad Black rolls. Man. Yep. <laughs> just literally. <laughs> well. Know me? Yes. yes. Perfect. I didn't hear black mean, so I was like, all right. Oh, sorry. You're good. I'm gonna, since I'm stealthy, swing this rapier at the Achilles of this dragon. Because yep. why not? Closer. I'm not already close. Nope. I mean, I can be pretty quick because I'm still stealthed. Um, there we go. Done. Now right. you have an advantage because of Zorgar. You do. Exactly. And we're going to roll that. The first one is a two to hit. And the second one is 17. So no, we're going to go with the 22 to hit. I mean, either way, but you never know. I'm sorry. So 22 is the okay. The higher that, the that hits. Perfect. So I'm going to swing with the Lapia. That is a seven. And then the additional D6 because sneak attack. It's a three, so it's a ten damage on the Achilles of the bed dragon. How much damage? 
Uh, ten. Ten? Yep. On an ankle. Okay. And then... I want to go into stealth, but I also like the idea of just, like, swinging with a short sword. Because it's right here, so I might as well it, swing it, with it. it. You don't need stealth. You get the extra damage because we're all in contact. Uh, exactly. it, stealth gives you nothing. And in, in that in that last attack, when you when you uh, stabbed it, a chunk of wood came out from where its Achilles tendon would be, but it's solid all the way up. You realize that this thing is, is literally just solid wood. Indeed. So, uh, yeah, that's an 11 to hit on that second swing. Uh, an 11 will miss. Yeah, how's that feeling? Try to kill the dragon. Uh, I did take a chunk out of its Achilles, though. Sorry about that. Angel eyes. Uh, Noak is going to try to break free of the grapple again. Mm. Strength check. He rolls another nine. I rolled a 21. Okay, so he stays grappled. Uh, the dragon. Do a little roll here. Does the dragon get disadvantage, or just attackers get advantage? No, just attackers get a, get a advantage. Okay. Um, the dragon turns to Zorgar now. And it was already looking at me. So it's looking at me again. It's been watching whatever happens with its master. So it's still looking at you. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna go ahead and bite again. Oh fuck. Twenty five. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. What's the damage? The damage is seventeen. Yeah, I only have seven, so I got zero now. The dragon roars triumphantly and then turns. Iris. Is it on this edition of D and D? Do you go to zero? Or do you go to negative? Um, zero. yeah. You can do zero, overkills yeah. if you want to, but I'm not. I'm not going to run it that way. Okay. Okay. Um. So Zorgar's passed out, right? Yes. Okay, and <laughs> you guys are making this really hard. <laughs> Um, My rolls suck. <laughs> well, hold on one second. And Angel Eyes is grappled with Nook, right? On top of the dragon. Yeah, I, I Nook and I are in, are engaged in, in in grappling on top of the dragon. I'm keeping Nook busy and occupied so that you guys can kill the dragon and Nook can't fuck us over. So we're fighting one bad guy instead of two. Mm-hmm. Smart. <laughs> it also makes it problematic because any AOE spells are out of the question right now. No, do it. We, 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 if we don't kill it, he's going to kill us anyway. So You guys are in a rough spot right now. Well, I'm going to move right here and then... Do, do right, a scorching ray. Yeah, well, hold on. I didn't mention it, but the dragon did take additional fire damage on the last go. Okay. Or firebolt, rather. Firebolt, you can't jump. You're out of spell slots. Firebolt. Eh. We're going to do burning hands and the... And... The, the dragon's big enough that it's going to absorb all of it. All of it? Okay. Yeah. Then that's the damage on burning hands then. What just rolled? It needs to make a dex saving throw 12. Or it takes half. How much dexterity could a giant also wooden dragon fire, have? By the way. The dragon rolls an 11. Uh, oh, and it bursts into flames. It takes all eight points of damage. What does fire do continually? Uh, 
uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's more of a DM thing. From what I understand, I don't think they ever put in official rules for it, but as okay. far as I understand, it's uh, so so it will have aggressive damage over time at this point. It was already taking a little bit of damage per round based on the little smolder that was on its foot, uh, but at this point, it is going to be um, a flame. However, um, I did realize that because of the positioning, uh, that it's been tricking me, Angel Eyes and, um, yeah, and Nook, Nook are on are, top, are on top of it, so so you guys anyway. need to roll, well, I yeah. guess you're saying well, It depends on how, it, it, did the whole thing go up at once, or is the fire going to move through the thing? That's uh, Based on the cone shape, I'm going to say that the, the, the bed is actually not that super high profile of a bed. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go through it. Okay. So what do we got to do? Dex 12, was that it? Yeah. Uh, that, that's a 23. Holy crap. Noak passes you as well. <laughs> so, uh, four points of damage on each. So I send you a little bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Angel eyes. I'm going to hold here. All right. So, with Noak still in, in my grasp, uh, it, it, we're grasped until he breaks free. Um, uh, to moving a grappled creature, when you move, you can drag or carry the grappled creature with you, but your speed is halved. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag Noak's ass uh, off, off the. Oh, I can't move. Uh, drag Noak's ass off the dragon. Okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna like fucking go and like hop down. I'm gonna carry his ass with me, and. Um, And, and then. I'm trying to see how shitty I want to be. And, uh, then. and then I will, and then, and then I will, uh, and then I will do my dash action to do another three spaces of movement. One, two, and I'm going to carry him out of the room. Um, you'd be me. disengaging from the dragon at this point. Uh, do you want to take the hit? I can't. I can't take the hit. Okay, then, then I will. I will I will use the I will use the uh Yeah, okay. I just got I just got to I just got to stay him. I'm off the f fire just not burning anymore and I'm just holding his ass. And that's it. This is what I can do. Zorgar. If you got a big spell, use it. I'm dead. Oh, well, that's not dead, right. But uh I'm... so you need to do a saving oh. throw. How do I do that? Where's that? Uh Troll probably D20. Yeah. Where's that on this button? On here. Lower left hand corner. See the little D twenty icon? Oh. And then yeah, go up to the very top is the D twenty. Oh I see it. I see it. Yep. I got an eighteen. You pass. Nice. Uh you need two more of those to pop back up. Okay. Uh black min. Is occupied. Yeah. Hmm. It is your turn, DJ. Perfect timing. Probably not. Sorry for the delay. It's okay. Uh, so fire. Uh, Angel Eyes was grappling last I saw, and he could not yeah. go out of the room because out of the dragon. Yeah, I'm, I'm right next to you. Uh, I saw that uh, part. At, at the at the start of your turn, I'm gonna say, take the wand. Cool. So I, uh, yeah, I'm holding Noak. Noak's got the wand just down in his hands. Oh, perfect. I'm, so I'm going to gonna... yell, yell at Blackmane, take the wand. So, uh, what do I need to roll to just grab at the wand? It's going to be a strength Perhaps check. Snatch it from him. Strength check. Uh, yeah. And, and his saving throw should be with disadvantage because he's sweet. Yes. Uh, well, uh, it, well, it's either one. Either, either Blackmane gets advantage on his check. Or no gets disadvantage on a save, whichever one you want. Uh, I, I'm going to save you the trouble because he just rolled a one on that. Whatever you can do is going oh, to is going to win. I rolled a 14. Uh, you were able to pry the wand from Heck Noke's yeah. fingers, and um, this is what it looks like. Ooh, whoa! That's fancy. Give me a uh, an Arcana check. And you're in range of this uh, as well, Smashly, so you give me an Arcana check as well. That's a 13. That's a 
Somehow I get the feeling it doesn't look like anything to me. What did you check? You got a 17? Yeah. I got a 13. Uh, okay. So... Uh, 17 was for... To, was to, to Black Mane, you get a bad feeling about this wand. Um, <clears throat> Iris, you realize that that wand, being, having grown up around wizards, having seen a lot of magical artifacts in your time... Um, you know that something is not right about that wand. It seems to be modified in some way. It's not conventional. You know that no wizard would ever make a wand like this. It seems to be cracking along the sides, and energy is sort of spilling out of it, like little wisps coming out of, of red light. Um, the the wand looks dangerous to you. Okay. Iris, do, can I take like an action to yell at him? Yeah. Okay. Iris yells at Black Mane, like, Get rid of it! Throw it out the window! <laughs> if, if she yells that, I'm going to say, Use it! Destroy the dragon! Get rid of it! All right, you've got an angel on his shoulder, uh, Black Mane. I will let that, that taking be your bonus action. What do you want to do? Uh, Black Mane is a fan of not messing around with things he doesn't know about. He does not know enough about uh, wands and what they're used for to uh, to feel comfortable trying to use it. Keep in mind, like, Iris has a look of terror on her face right now. Oh, uh, like, she is she is terrified that you're That was noted thing. when she yelled, throw it out the window. Uh, is there a window near enough to throw it out of? Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's a window there's, right over there's, by Yeah, there's, there's large gaps all around the perimeter of the structure. Yeah, I'm just going to eat it out that window. Which particular okay. window? Uh, the uh, window that is on the bottom right, like one square connected to angel eyes, it looks like a window next to the door. The uh, the wand is yeeted. Okay, it's out the window. I don't. I, I, I was not gonna play around with that thing. It just felt wrong. Uh, no, no. <laughs> let's add a little scream when you do this. Looks at angel eyes like, hey, I would, I would love to try to take out the anything, but. One thing I've learned on the seas is if you, if you get a feeling in your gut, you go with it. I, I didn't want to take chances with that one. Uh, Noak is is absolutely howling, and he's thrashing even harder now to try to break his grapple. Can I punch him in the head? <laughs> no. Is this still my turn? It is not. It is not? Okay. No, you've you've used your action in your bonus action. Uh, unless you want to move somewhere. Um, I'm one square closer to Angel Eyes. Okay. Just because I want to help him deal with the other dude. Okay. Uh, we're going to we're gonna test the grapple again. He has rolled a 20. Oh. Not a natural 20, yeah. a dirty 20. All right. Strength saving throw. Uh, that's a 16. Shit, he breaks free. All right. Uh, he breaks free and uh, he starts he starts running. All right, so but he has got to be in contact with us, so he would take an attack of opportunity from both from Black Mane and Angelize. <laughs> Angel Please do. Um, he's not in contact with Black Mane. Well, no, Black Mane was next to me, and he was yeah, in my. I got next to Black Mane specifically. I got next to him specifically because he was grappling. Yeah, Hang on. Noke was technically in my space because I'm grappling that, him. That's so. that is okay. We'll we'll run with that. Uh, so take it now. You each can have an attack. My roll. Oh, is a nineteen. I, I rolled an eleven. Running towards the door. Uh, the nineteen will hit. Uh, oh, why did I roll to, to hit again? And I was like, that is not possible. Ooh, eleven. Eleven points of damage. You're. Aimed uh, at his Achilles because he's running. We don't like that. That that trips right. him up a bit. What? All right. <laughs> what are you doing? What are I'm you gonna doing? use my last. I'm gonna use my, my last superior to die. Right. And I'm gonna add the D8 to make it a tripping. Okay. Uh oh, bad roll. Does a 13 hit him? A 13 hits him. All right, so now, so, so now he has to roll a he has to do a strength saving throw. I hate all your shit. <laughs> That's a seven. I told you. 
uh, uh, so he fails. So he goes prone. So he is not running anywhere this turn. And he's going to take, for his trouble, a, pff, a whopping five points of damage. I really hate you. All right. And he's prone. So now anybody that uh, hits him when he's down gets advantage. And it's no longer his turn? It is yeah, no he... longer his turn. He can't do anything else. Uh, <laughs> Although we still do have a dragon to deal with. Fenethir yes. jumps off the uh, middle platform, or the, the lower platform, uh, and takes a little bit of falling damage. Uh, and he gets stuck in some bushes. Uh, he saw the wand fly out the window. He tried to dive after it immediately. He did not think it through. Oh. Oh, man. Um, you just hear it. <laughs> uh, the dragon... Wait, yeah. So on its turn, so it's on fire. It should take its fire damage. Yes, Daddy Disco. <laughs> Apparently, fire damage is five damage. Just five. We're I wanted good. to bring a very specific experience to Baron on this first. Savagery is what I'm the max yeah, DMing. Yeah, right. Uh all right, so he takes a little bit of fire damage there. Uh he he his wings are sort of catching flame as well. They haven't burned away, but it's it's progressing across the length of him. Uh he turns to Iris and uh bites. I thought we were fucked, DJ. Bring it. Same. I really thought that's where that's where we ended right there. His his splinter breath is on a roll recharge, and uh, luckily for you, he keeps failing. Uh, that is a twenty four to hit, which I imagine does. That hits. The wooden jaws of doom Ooh. clamp upon Ooh. you for twenty one points of damage. What? Wait, wait, roll it again. <laughs> I'm, gonna <laughs> use, I'm gonna use warning player. You get, that's oh, your last, last one, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, actually. Yeah, that's the last one. This still hit. Dragon there seems confused by what people even are at this point. He just kind of goes, ah! Oh my god, did I dodge it? Was loading for oh my god, okay. It's your turn. Cleric bullshit. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a firebolt right at Nook's butt. Like okay. at, at, at the dragon or the or or, or yeah. and... and Nook who's on the ground and gets <laughs> I'm just at... listen Iris is doing her own thing. Okay. Um. Is like and he's on the ground right like he's tripped up on he's, the ground. He's so tripped up on the ground. Do I get advantage for that? Uh, yes. actually, if you use, if no if if you use a ranged spell, you get disadvantage. He's harder to hit. It only he's gives you advantage on melee. Ground. Yeah, he's a smaller, compact, compact target, so he's he's harder to hit for with with uh with uh range spells. I'll just I'll just say it's regular since he's not moving. He's stationary; he can't dodge at all. Did I hit him with eleven? Uh, you did not, so it doesn't even matter. You okay. suck. You suck so then bad. I'm just gonna stay here and do not wait. Actually, I can move. I'm gonna move closer. To you know, me. you know what you should have done. Kill the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't play D and D to be optimized. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. You were a basic That's strategy at this point. Everyone, when you play D and D, play D. Optimized. Yeah, the more people play classes like yours, the more I will start fucking around more. <laughs> like, hey. legitimately, I will start sabotaging shit. Angel eyes. It's, it's like fuck. Like that. That's well, frustrating. It's your <laughs> turn. Oh, okay. Um. So I, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stand right over this dude with advantage. And I'm gonna fucking coup de gras his ass with uh, with a, with a crossbow shot to the back of the head with advantage uh, for 25, which I'm gonna assume hits. That oh. hits. Uh, that's, that's gonna take <laughs> nine. It's gonna take. It's gonna take nine damage. Then I'm gonna point the uh, the offhand at him and do it again uh, for 23 damage or for 23 to hit and an additional two damage. So that's a total of 11 damage. And uh, uh, the crossbow bolt goes into the into his head, and he goes, "Oh!" 
skull, but he's got a very thick skull. He is still alive. There's just a crossbow bolt in his head. Yep. And then I'm going to step over him with my movement and step right here and block his way from escaping through the door. And end my turn. Zorgar. Well, Zogar still passed out, so let's do a uh, D20. That is an 11. Ooh, that, that passes, so you need one more. Uh, let's see here. Black Mane. Oh, yay. And the dragon is still here and being silly. I... And... Oh, wait, this other dude. Oh, see, I can't go to the other dude. Dragon. Any tool I'm closest to and that would give them an attack of opportunity, which I don't need in my life. Yeah, I'm just going to swing with the lop gay. Add the dragon. Add the dragon. Uh, you don't have an advantage because they're guys down. Yeah, that's going to be a seven. Uh, that will not hit. Yeah, and I'm going to use my uh, <laughs> my uh, bonus action to, to hide immediately. Thanks. Okay. Um, Not in the situation to be doing any frivolous swinging. Noke stands up, sees Angel Eyes blocking the door. Uh, kind of turns a little, sees Black Mane behind him, and immediately yep. jumps out the window. He's going to take an attack of opportunity. As he's as he's whizzing by, go ahead and attack him. Me? No. Uh, no. Me. That's going to be Angel Eyes. I was hoping. God damn it, 11, that misses. It does. Uh, however, you hear a loud thud and... Oh! Uh, from down below. Uh, he's taking a little bit of damage from his falling. Um, and and uh, he, he is now prone on the ground outside. Uh, Fenethir is stuck in a tree. The dragon uh, turns now to Blackmane. Uh, being quite upset with being lit on fire earlier. I thought I was still. Yes. Are you? I'm the only one visible to this dragon. Yeah. Well guys. then, uh, yeah. we're going after Iris. Sorry, Iris. Oh, it's okay. I want to be alive to like you know help because yeah. But I'm pretty much like I'm, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna get. You can you can still you can still attack that. somebody who's stealthy. Does a twelve hit? Nope. The dragon misses. Iris hides behind her shield. Iris, what do you do? Iris uh, cautiously sidesteps towards Zorgar and reaches down with a hand while still holding up her shield to protect against the dragon and reaches down with... Hold on. With cure wounds and gets this man off the ground. That's nice! That's eight heal. Eight, Daniel. You're at eight HP. Eight Big ol' eight, dude. He's back up. Anything else on your turn? He is off the ground. Ah, uh, that is all I can do because I am still maintaining Shield of Faith. Angel Eyes. Where is the wand? Uh, the wand is on the ground about five feet away from uh, Noak. Right, so it's oh. between Noak and Fenethir there. Right? Yeah. All right. Um, Angel Eyes would like to use his magnificent dexterity and do a somersault off the bridge. And land where the where where the, where the wand is. All right, the acrobatics. That's a twenty-four. Jesus fucking. Uh, it it is incredible. You think that uh, in a nearby tree, some squirrels hold up tens. And then, um, did, would did that take my full full movement? N uh, no. We'll say that that was half movement. That was, that was mm -hmm. close. I, I would like to use the free action to pick up the one. Okay. And then I would like to use my action. Well, can I do an arcana check and see what I understand about the one? Yes, go ahead. Fuck. That's a two. <laughs> that's a two. This, huh. this wand is a may big. actually be a fishing rod. Okay. <laughs> Then I will use my action to break the wand. Okay. Since I don't feel like I can use it. Uh, this is going to take a strength check. 
Oh, oh, you mean the thing he really has a ton of? <laughs> it's just... Oh, that's a 17. Good. Uh, it's, it's pretty reinforced. Um, if you had to guess, based on how it has cracks all over it, it's almost as if someone had tried to break it before, and then it got reinforced. Okay. Um, that's my action. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. Any turn? Uh, Zorgar, you're up. You've got eight health. Excellent. Um, I'm guessing the dragon saw me get healed. Uh, dragon, dragon did. Yes. Do I have the ability, or am I in range of those potions you spoke of? Or can I get it if I move right here? Like, are there potions of this polymorphic? Or there are potions uh, based on, on the chart to to the right. Yeah, on that table, you can get to it without triggering the dragon. Perfect. There's a, so I'd a like, purple potion on the desk. I'd like to uh, do the action of grabbing it and throwing it at the dragon. Okay. <laughs> cool. What does that do? Uh, what is the action is that? No, I'm going to let you do it. I'm trying to figure out effects right now. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> he goes, mm, try this one on for size. And then throws it. The best part about D&D is when you do stuff that you could never do in, like, video games or something like that. Like, oh, there's a potion on the thing. I'm going to throw it at the dragon. <laughs> I was thinking about it afterwards. I'm like, didn't he just say that everything's full of potions? We could have just thrown it, and it could have turned into something small the or big. Dragon looks at you uh, as, the, as the potion kind of, like, hits it in the head, and this purple liquid kind of drips down it. And it just go to, and and uh, looks really pissed off that you have thrown this potion on it. And there is no other visible effect. Oh no! Okay, uh, <laughs> there's no way I can do an Arcana check on the dragon to see if it did anything. Um, you can. Oh, okay. Uh, I should have done the Arcana check before I threw it, but it's okay. I'm learning. Let's do it. I got an 18 or 19 excuse me the w wood under the potion is starting to bubble a little bit and shift <laughs> okay um that's cool i don't have any more actions i think i'm done there black man also okay. i think i'm on attacks on the dragon now i think yay because that sounds great um I'm gonna do the whole Rapier thing on the left because I mean it just seems to be mostly decent, and that's a thirteen. Okay. Uh, that hit? Did you roll twice? As you thrust, oh, I didn't. I do have advantage. As you thrust forward, you make it's Rapier, so so a lunging thrust, yeah. Mm-hmm. You go forward, and you sort of trip off guard uh, because the size of this thing has suddenly massively shifted. Um, it is now shrinking rapidly. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> and you, you, you impale a pillow. The dragon uh, <laughs> kind of goes <laughs> up at you. A very wooden high, high pitched squeak of a, of a roar. Uh, it is now currently the size of uh, one of the bears that you saw earlier. Cool. And even rolling with advantage wouldn't give me that. You 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 roll also roll roll damage roll damage as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is going to be a five, and then since I rolled with advantage, that would have given me a sneak attack, and it'll be eight total damage. Nice job, Dana. Appreciate you. Uh, Shrunk the, the dragon. Made the small. Uh, this but, you know, this does a lot more to the dragon than it was doing before. 
even though you seem to have hit it in the same way, because it's smaller in size, you're able to pierce it with a lot more force. Uh, that seems to really hurt the dragon. Perfect. Because I'm going to move in and with my bonus action, swing with the short sword. Okay. And that's going to be a 17 to hit. That hits. Perfect. And that short sword damage is a an 8. Nice. Uh, the dragon is really badly injured. Feathers are starting to pop out of all the pillows. The bedding is ripped. Uh, you think you see a spring sticking out in in one side. It, it, uh, it's it got almost no fabric left on the sheets on its wings now. Uh, this, this dragon is really, really messed up. Is it still on fire? Um, it is still on fire, too. <laughs> oh, that makes me it's happy. It's like the only amount of damage I've done this game is this fire, so I'm, like, really invested in how much damage it's done. <laughs> Is that the rest of your turn? Uh, I have no other capabilities. Uh, Noak climbs back up to his feet and tackles Angel Eyes, trying to get the wand back. Does he go? And he's 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 rolled a twenty on strength. Or is he still fighting with? uh, He's fighting. I rolled. I rolled a 13. Oof. Okay. He gets, wand? he's able to get the wand back. Um, uh, right. You said tackle? Or I, I said he tackled me. What? So he's, he's, he's trying to get the wand. That was it. It was going to be a strength right. check for the wand. Okay. Um, so he has gotten his wand back. Uh, I don't think he can do anything with it this round. Uh, he does hold it very securely to him, and, and he's just kind of bracing himself looking at you. Uh, Fenethir has managed to, to finally fall out of the last few branches of the tree and uh, wanders over, ready to charge. <laughs> the dragon lets out one final screech and just burns down finally in flames. It, it finally yes. is, is engulfed. It looks like a little bonfire, and it collapses into this smoldering pile of wood, which is starting to catch to the floor as well. It's now spreading on the ground since the walls are living, but the floor is not. Oh, God. Can you show or draw where the fire is currently? Uh, the fire is currently in the exact position of the dragon, but underneath it okay. is is catching flame. Iris. Uh, Iris looks over at Zorgar and goes, Good job with the, the purple goo stuff thing. We gotta go, though. And she starts running. Uh, that's hard to see the squares. And she's trying to avoid the flames. And it's dead, right? Uh, it's dead. Six, and then I'm gonna use my bonus action to keep, keep, keep trucking. Actually, I think she's gonna be right up here. And what does she see going on down there? Like same. Like, uh, she like... sees a slightly scruffy sheep uh, that was once beautiful with a with a nice blue bow and everything like that. Uh, with twigs and leaves sticking out of it, running towards uh, Noak, who is clutching his wand, and Angel Eyes, who is doing whatever Angel Eyes does. <laughs> this goes chewing. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Angel Eyes, what are you doing? All right. I'm going I'm, to... Um... Oh. Um... um... Done with this grapple back and forth stuff. I'm gonna shoot him point blank in the face. Uh, it's a 27 to hit. That'll hit for seven damage in the offhand. 24 to hit two, so it takes nine total damage. And then that's my turn. How, how, how's he looking? He is looking terrible. Uh, he doesn't even look like he has a strong hold on the wand anymore. Uh, he's having trouble standing. Okay. All of these adventures have uh, have screwed with him quite a bit. Zorgar, it's your turn. Um. Perfect. 
What I'd like to do is... Hmm. I'd like to try to stop the fire. How much of the fire? Is it, like, just starting, or is it really bad? Like, real bad? You've got a bonfire on the floor. It's it's a... It's a pretty good-sized fire. Uh, it's... It, it, if you were to ask, it is currently 15 feet across. Uh, that's pretty hot, huh? Uh... I'm going to, is there any way I can inspect and take as many of these like recipes or any of these tomes or any of these so I can be able to have gain more knowledge? A, a round is about six seconds. Uh, you're not going to be able to investigate everything. If you want to go over to one table or another, I'll let you look around to it. Uh, or you can just grab stuff. I would just grab stuff. I'm grabbing every potion I can within my vicinity. Okay, then I'm going to say that's going to take your movement rushing around to all these different tables as well. So that'll be your turn is just stuffing stuff in your pockets. Cool. I don't know what you give me, but I got, I got potions. It's such a dangerous thing to do. Bye, Lou. <laughs> yep. Blackman? So the dragon's dead. We surrounded by fire and uh, the dude is still outside fighting with angel eyes. All right, cool. Then I am gonna one, two, three, four, five. There's also a window right there. I mean, yeah, but like, can I see out the window? You can trust. You jumped. Jump. The guy jumped out the window. You can. You can trust me. I'm gonna I jump out the window. That it's right outside the window. Third. <laughs> they won't let me jump straight out the window, which is. It's about twenty feet up at this point. Oh God. I nope. do have one question. I have one question. When yep. you die and resurrect again, or not die, when you pass out and resurrect again, do you get your no. spells back? That no, not okay. a rest. Nope. Thank you. So me trying to yeet myself down is not going to work. Or do I have to run like an acrobatic maybe? I mean, if you want to do acrobatics, try to jump on top of no, if you can try. Or uh, no, athletics. There it is. You know what? Yeah. Do acrobatics. Do acrobatics. It. Do it. I got 14 on the athletics roll. Okay. Uh, let me roll. It's not bad, DJ. It could work. <laughs> 14 is one of those numbers that you successfully la land on top of Noak and knock him prone. And he is. Uh, he he goes down he goes down screaming just with a thump, which was a quick thump. Um, you take only one damage. Uh, most of that was absorbed by Noke. Uh, as this yeah, happens, the wand goes flying uh, right to Angel Eyes' feet. He's down. Uh, it's up to you as to whether or not you want to take that thing or something, because uh, he's not doing anything. Uh, can I use my bonus action? Like, oh wait, that was just movement. How much is movement? That was just movement. Do an actual action. Could mm -hmm. to grab this fucker. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, rapier downward. Should I be rolling with advantage since I'm on top of him right now? You can. Uh, he, he's prone. Yeah. Perfect. He's looking Neither at you. Going... One of those was any good. That's an eleven <laughs> on the highest of them. So you 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 threaten him pretty good at this point. He is scared yeah. to death by you stabbing at the ground on either side of his head, and he's going, no, please have mercy, have mercy. You sent a dragon to try to eat us. A bed dragon. It's not my fault you charged me. But we don't have to kill him. I mean, look at him. You he's all, like, maimed and injured and stuff, and just, you know, just hand us over the wand. I mean, right. technically, the wand is at Angel Eyes' feet, so we're, we're good there. At this point, we are out of combat. Okay, good. Yay. <laughs> Combat complete? Combat is complete. Right. Noke, Noke is very nearly dead. He has been disarmed. What do you do? So I, I talked to the sheep. How do we turn you back? Because we uh, don't want to trust him, I'm sure. <sighs> Fenethir smiles and goes, oh, I thought you'd never ask. It is quite dangerous to use that wand. I will say he has modified it in some unconventional ways. Uh, but all you have to do is take it, 
pointed at me, swish and flick. All right, Angel Eye is going to bend down. And Iris jumps down there. All right, it's already at my feet, so I'm going to pick it up. Wait, 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 wait. Angel, no, 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 no. There's something very wrong with that thing. Can I do something? I would love to try something. What do you want to do? I'm hanging. I'm just, I'm just holding it. <laughs> Before you guys do any of that, I'd love to run. <laughs> Some <laughs> fall, and then all the potions all at once fall onto the, the, the sheep. <laughs> Did that happen? Trying to kill us all. Just. Uh, uh, Fenethir starts screaming. Um, uh, <laughs> going. Oh! oh, it burns! The chemical burns my skin, my wool. It's so bad. And his flesh melts. Uh, and what? the wool melts off of him, and he starts to just melt into a, a pile of goo. Uh, from which a dozen mouths start lunging out uh, and eyeballs start popping out in different areas and it's it's almost changing locations like a mouth will emerge and bite and it'll come back out and he turns into a gibbering mouther Angel, throw me the what? <laughs> what's a gibbering mouther the I don't want to know uh, the the mouther makes a uh, lunging bite does Angel throw Iris the wand? No. Nope. And then it collapses uh, into the acidic pile and for some reason turns into a puff of glitter and uh, and just kind of disappears. Wait, can you, show us the, can you show us the gibbering mouth there? Do you have the image? Uh, yeah. Hang on. Oh, there it is. You got it. It's in there. Yeah. Pe people deserve to see. Oh my god. Let me let me grab its let me grab its its character right <laughs> so you can I'm not see concerned. this. I have not been there concerned for a long time. Sweet mercy. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. And then uh Fenethir is dead. Uh, Black Man just looks at uh Snake Guy and just is like how are we supposed to get paid? Well, didn't he say that the money was inside? Come inside and help me put out this fire. As this you place say is that, ours, baby. I'm, I'm the moment that to... you say this place is ours, the top platform just explodes in a giant plume of purple and green and blue magic. You were saying? We just... uh, can check later. Coins don't melt. Are we going hungry again tonight? I'm not dead yet, says Noak. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to Iris. And I'm gonna hand Iris the the the, the wand, not throw it because it's dangerous. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm walk over and hand her. But as I'm walking over, I'm gonna step over Noak and just execute his ass with my crossbow. And you do. Noak is no more. Uh, I step over Noak, hand Iris the wand, and roll curtain. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we get I hope we still get paid I hope we still get paid and the uh, the camera zooms out on uh, a whole bunch of people standing around a pile of goo sheep and a man who's just been assassinated thank you for joining us on bad rolls <laughs> we have completed a wild sheep chase wow. it, it took about an hour oh. longer than we thought it would uh, which I'm very sorry to our guests for uh, uh, right. uh it rolled just around on just a little bit long, uh, but I hope that you guys had fun. Uh, Chad, did you enjoy yourselves? I hope that you did. Um, hope that you come back in two weeks for, uh, well, I'm hoping to stream before then, but uh, in two weeks on the 27th, we're having another session here of Dungeons and Dragons with a different cast, although Disco Lando will be involved with that one. Uh, big, big thank you to the flagship. How did, did you guys have fun? Yeah, yeah. I love this although, campaign. Uh, nerf Disco, please. Yeah. Like, yeah, this goes OP. Hey, I thought hey. his character was OP because this is a very similar character. I think you were playing a Dragonborn last time you were playing a Rogue Deed. And I thought your character was OP, but what the fuck, Jared? Normal, <laughs> nor normally, I play I, 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 I play like you and Daniel do. 
Normally, I play with just subverting everything and, and fucking around and looking at the industry. It was when, when Baron told me he had a hard time moment. I'm like, all right, I need to make sure that I'm doing everything to try to get this, keep this thing from being an eight hour game. So I put the I put this guy in there to try to speed this up. Oh, uh, it did well. Yeah. I would say that. Yeah, I, I would say that. That's exceeded. For sure. That's a pretty <sighs> but, solid but, success there. No, I, I never. The real. The real, the real, like, applause here. Like, Baron, how did you feel being a DM? And and we enjoyed it. You fucking killed it. Thank thank you. I I had a lot of fun. I love D&D. I'm really excited to do more D&D and to not be a super noob DM anymore because I was super embarrassed when I didn't know how to handle the the grapple rolls earlier. Uh, oh, but other than, everybody has to become a DM somehow. Other than that, if everybody had fun, then the no complaints here. If you have fun, I have fun. No, it was did, amazing. Honestly, Baron, I would say, like, you did something that most DMs struggle really hard with, which is you steered us towards the, like, the campaign and the objective that you wanted us to experience, like, the, the, the stuff that you had prepared very mm. well without making it feel like we were being forced down that path. So, mm, good. I, I want to say, like, you, you absolutely nailed that portion, which is literally, like, the hardest thing you can do as DM, because True. everything else you can pretty much look up. But that right there is super hard to do to like because honestly, you're gonna have people trying to eat cats and and, <laughs> and immediately like that. and you're just like or or just kill the approaching messengers and stuff. So you did a great job. Thank really you very much. Job. You made me, made me cry. Uh, sure. But I'm, I'm glad you had fun, and, and I hope that we I can find another uh, hopefully shorter one shot to do with you guys in the in the future. Um, yeah. Anytime. Yeah, and you guys are, are welcome uh, to to just sign up for any uh, one shots that are that I'm doing apart from Flagship Friday as well, if you want to. Um, chat, there is a link by the way to the Bad Rolls Discord server. If you want to join yet another Discord server, uh, then you can, and you can follow along with our campaigns and the schedule for them, uh, and also sign up for any um, non-streamed games that I might want to practice in. We're gonna draw in just sort of a general cards for that, so I can get more experience. Um, we appreciate you. DJ, where can people find you? And thank you so much for being here and uh, lending your, your D&D royalty to his campaign. Ah, hello. I'm DJ Knight. You can find me pretty much everywhere at DJ Knight and yes, you in there because I didn't want somebody to go there, get my username, and then do something silly. Uh, I play primarily space and sci-fi games here on Twitch. We've been stuck recently with a game that I am sure uh, that the community here on this channel would love. Uh, Cult of the Lamb. And Daniel mentioned it before, and I was like, that sounds cool. And I started playing it. I literally want to play nothing but that. And the, <laughs> judging by the lamb in the chat from Malice, we had had a family lamb emote of a flaming lamb for years in my channel. And it is it could not be more perfect for this game because you literally play a lamb that uh, has to make a cult. Sacrifice people. Like... This like is, Animal this Crossing, is up my alley. if there was uh, the ability to sacrifice people, like murder people <laughs> in their sleep, or like beat bosses that just like have a uh, very like eldritch or like Cthulian, like that, think that. Oh my and that's God. the enemies in this game. But also, you kind of have to. I, I have a reason to stream video games again. This sounds amazing. Yes, you do. You literally need to play this game. Oh, and there's Twitch integration. So people can. Uh, when you get a new person to indoctrinate, you can basically set a raffle up for the viewers to become that uh, follower. And there's like a totem that like uh, people can use channel points to make more powerful, which gives you the ability to grow. There's like help or hinder situations that happen pretty regularly. It's just all around. Yes. And it seems like it was built for Twitch and it was also built for this channel for Bad News Baron. That's why I'm talking so much about it right now, because I love it. And I for a fact that Baron will love it. And I'm play. pretty confident that the community here are going to be fans of it as well. So obviously you can find me at DJ Nat on all the things, but yes, go. If you haven't done so, bug Baron to go get Cult of the, the, Cult of the Lamb or one of you could be extra awesome. And would, would you on Steam so that way he doesn't have to do anything and he just finds Cult of the Lamb does. Would but, you please plug uh, Black Dice Society as well since it is super relevant to what we're doing here? Oh, I was so not going to do that. But on the, typically on Thursdays, I am on the official D&D channel in a uh, game called Black Dice Society. It is a Ravenloft campaign. So there is 
horror there are many horror elements i play a human ranger Lycan. named desmond uh who le recently got upgraded his wolf form is way more awesome and he gets to do legendary actions so ah <sighs> Fights are way more fun than they used to be, and uh, I don't die as much, which is kind of impressive because he's die a lot. Like it's a, he's a ranger, but when I go Wolfie, he's not. Also, if you saw Cypher Tear in the chat earlier, she is also in that campaign. Uh, it is just a fantastic time every Thursday. So we were off last Thursday because of we did a the, our first live episode at Gen Con, which all of us were in attendance for. Uh, but also, the vid went. And caught the cast. So uh this week we were we were dark, but we'll be back should hopefully be back next week. More Black Dice Society is gonna be awesome. I'm super jelly. And uh, uh wizards if you ever need anybody else in here. Oh, just oh and I just realized the thing. My character in Idol Champions has a wolf named Frost. It is a black wolf, which I just so happened to have gotten a black husky puppy that we named Deku, but I can bring him onto the the game and say, Hey look. I found this puppy somewhere and it could be frost. So the excitement is real to tie real life into the game. And that just lets me even further know that Deku was meant to be in this house. I'm talking too much. Sorry, I'm shutting up. It is fate. DJ Knight, you've been awesome. Fate has decided. Smashly. Hi, I'm Smashly. Um, I play games. You can find me on twitch.tv slash Smashly. Uh, we're getting ready for Path of Exiles having a new league coming up. So we're actually going to be doing a private league again for it and we're gonna be doing like a whole point system and everything for it and i'm super fucking stoked i i literally like i can't think about much else right now i'm so excited for path of exile it's been a while since i played so that's what's happening for me smashly had the option this entire game of using a giant floating ghost hammer i did and i never and she didn't it. and she didn't do it prop. but i wanted you all to know that she had it available i had a prop for it and everything look at it Oh! Did you have your bare hands though? Daniel the I Demon. Did. I did have a bare hand. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a horror theme variety broadcaster no. here on Twitch. I've been playing a lot of uh, Cult of the Lamb recently. I was very thankful to have preview access and play it before it came out. Uh, we're nearing the end of the game, so definitely if you catch me, you'll be seeing me play the game and uh, about to be beating it. But what else? I'm going to be uh, checking out more Pokemon Go. This weekend is community weekend, so definitely I'm going to be checking and covering that on the IRL backpack and so much more. And Disco. Uh, I'm Disco Lander, and I'm the only one here that's not an MLG Pro streamer. Uh, so I don't have a, a channel or an account that's worth following. I, so, so I, you uh, do have a D&D &D stream uh, that I'm on, though. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. Like Twitch I feel like Pistol of Twenties is a thing yeah. though, so yeah. you can yeah. try that, but we don't agree. Yeah, yeah it's on hi it's on hiatus right now, so I don't. Yeah, but it exists. Yeah. yeah, I do do a D and D stream on my thing, uh, uh, usually every two weeks. Um, the the game everybody's talking about the game they're excited to play. Um, I just heard about a new game that that hasn't come out yet. It's on its way. It's called it's called Raw Men, and it's about men in yeah. diapers. Yeah. Men in diapers. Yeah. Who, 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 who throw who throw so so uh, uh soup at each other uh, yeah. uh and 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 there's a matzo ball weapon and that's all i know about it but that's all i need to know about it so i'm looking forward to playing that when when the next opportunity uh provides itself so keep an eye out for for, for ramen and i just and, and i'm gonna use the i'm gonna i'm gonna yield the rest of my time to demand an answer to a question from our dm did the snake finish God damn it. That's a good question. Did it, did it finish? No. Did he find his spherical meat medallion? Um, later that evening, if the party were to wander around the property, uh, you would have noticed a small group of buildings over on this side. Uh, and the paint flag key that you recovered earlier from Guz would have opened the storeroom inside you would have found a well food and things that are being stored but also a nice cot and a whole bunch of of easels and paints laid out with drawings all over the uh the walls and everything and um one of those pieces of art that would have made you just just hate art in general is that bad uh could be interpreted to be a snake and um well, I hate you right that now. place 
became a little more Jackson Pollocky that night to a little snake that wandered in. I hate you right now. All right, I'm done. Thanks, uh, everybody. Good. Anybody streaming after this? <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I am. I was going a to, but... more Jackson Pollock? Matt, I'm done with you. Uh, all right. Uh, we will... I'm sorry, there, there was nobody swimming, streaming after this? I'm not. Nope. DJ? No. Nope. Okay. All right, then that is it for us. Thank you very much. This has been Bad Rolls and Flagship Friday. Thank you so much for joining us. This was a wild sheep choice chase. This is a, an available uh, one shot that you can download and go through yourself. If you ever, ever want to DM or get your friends to DM a game or something like that, you can play through the same thing. It'll probably go a little bit differently than you, for you, uh, but it's called a wild sheep chase. I hope that you enjoy it, and I hope that you come and join us next time. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye